I hope we never change. I like the fact that, that I've been here almost 12 years. And it's like, Elle, you need to turn your mic off. Oh, oh. <laughs> Sorry, Chris. Sorry. Certainly my bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jewelry makers. Oh, we have got a super Sunday for you. Oh, it's the last day of your jewelry maker exclusive weekend. And you know, like how celebrities, we all line up, oh, we, we, they all line up for the red carpet, and there's that, that big celebrity at the end. Yeah, the big one, the big celebrity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one everyone's been waiting for, the paparazzi are ready, poised yeah, to yeah, take yeah. their photograph. It's Debbie Kershaw. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> what a disappointment. I'm sorry. <laughs> you were expecting like no. Jennifer Lopez or do you know Jennifer Lopez is the same age as me? How depressing is that? You're better than Jennifer Lopez. <laughs> Thank I you would choose you over Jennifer Lopez uh, any me, day. Why are you laughing in the gallery? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I hand on heart would choose you over J Lo. Oh, thank 100%. you. One hundred percent. I'm just saying, Debbie from the block. I, you're a lovely person. I don't know J Lo personally, but well, that's very true. <laughs> but, but you know, I mean that we don't know her personally. Not that I'm a lovely person, but you are a lovely person. Oh, thank you. You are. Ah, you're one of my favourite people. Oh, thank you. So that's exactly how I want to spend my Sunday. Yay! Yes. And look, and we look gorgeous today as well. I'm uh, loving your blouse. So, oh, thank you. It's new. It's new. Do you it's treat yourself? You've been shopping. Treat myself to a new blouse. Like a little like a garden. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a garden like today. A little, little fairy. Do you know what I want? Everything on that desk, please. I'm me. I'm me. Those bags. One, one, one of everything for Debs, please. Can I have everything on the desk? The I malachite, know. the pearls. It's what a show. I know. Can we start? I mean, these are coming <gasps> up in this hour, jewelry makers. <laughs> Yeah, you've been eyeing up these, haven't you? <laughs> Purple Edison pearls, and they're absolutely colossal, full of luster and all the things that we want with our amazing pearls. But I want to show you your deal of the day first. Uh, because honestly, how many do we have, Hayley, sorry? 88, Ooh. so mm. that's a good quantity, to be honest. Because what we are talking about are the largest perfect round pearls in jewellery maker history. What, well, the, those are the deal of the day? Yeah. You've got to, like, these will be one pearl per oyster because of the scale of them. They are, uh, let me tilt them forward towards Jimmy. Look, look how perfect they are, Debs. <gasps> you know, oh. and I know I have said this so many times and I know there'll be jewellery maker viewers who are watching who are rolling their eyes when I say these words, but it is what jewelry maker does, and what jewelry maker does best yes. is pearl buying. You know, yes. you know, you, you know. If there was their, their one claim to fame, for me, it's pearls. What well, all day long, you know, we see pearls from Asal, we see pearls from Yoko, we, we see pearls from Mickey Moto. I've seen pearls at the jewelers that I used to work at back in my twenties um, that were like five figures, five figure sums, and they weren't as beautiful as this. No. Genuinely, I think it's one of our greatest strengths. So, and, and we've had customers who have bought pearls from us, and, and if you're watching, this is one of you, please do text in, who have bought pearls from us, taken them to a jeweler, say to be knotted or to buy a clasp, and the, the actual jewelers have said, I'll buy them off you, I'll give you two and a half thousand pounds, and customers said, no thank you. No, thank you. And they were right to turn down that price point, by the way, because that it would be that would be a steal at two and a half thousand pounds. Yeah. The deal that you are getting today on your deal of the day is unmissable. If you are a pearl fanatic, which I think the world is now, aren't they? Oh, I mean, who was I watching the other day? Oh, I was watching the documentary about Vogue magazine. Yeah. And a couple of the male designers were there. I don't, it might have been Mark Jacobs, and they were talking about this, that and the other, and I only watch it because I like to see what everyone's wearing and their jewellery, and he had pearls on. Of course. He looked amazing. Yeah, amazing. Like, he was just quite dressed down, sort of jumper and like a jacket, but he had these pearls and he looked amazing. Yeah, it was the pearls that made the outfit, wasn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. So like, now even the guys are getting to wear them. Yeah, Why not? I love that. Now there's 88 jewellery makers, so that's at 10 o'clock. I, I wanted to open the show talking about those because if there is one purchase that you make today it's it's got to be the pearls yeah and look at the box 
They're, I know, it's absolutely incredible. This is, they're, they're heirloom pearls. They're, they are the pearls that I would lovingly want to pass down to my future generations, you know? Yeah. Um, so 10 o'clock jewelry makers, but it's not just pearls. We've got so much coming up on today's show. Your eight o'clock hour is all locked and loaded on the website. So all the W's at jewelrymaker.com. You know what happens, don't you? It times out at nine o'clock. So make sure that you are uh, checking out your baskets before that. Your early bird this morning is a stash of these beautiful <gasps> oriental bags aren't I they lovely those. they're so nice with like a drawstring and you get all these different colors pinks oranges reds and we're taking them to a price point that that you know so they are giftable you know when you make your fabulous pieces of jewelry how you present them i think is as important as the content jimmy's nodding profusely there yeah it is isn't it because it's about the whole experience oh absolutely so we're going to take these to a very very giftable oh. price I mean, look how lovely that is how, how many beautiful. are there? 12 on the, on the website already, they're at £24. So that's already a great price. That's amazing. It's £2 each, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Um, but we're going even lower, jewellery makers. And we've got a massive quantity of those as well. And you can colour coordinate them to your jewellery. Oh, I love them. Or the occasion, maybe. How they're nice so boho, them? I love them. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, that's true. Hayley said, yes, there's big quantity, but people will buy more. How many? 400. But I think people will get definitely twos and threes because oh, you so. just put them in your drawer and then you know when you make a piece of jewelry a pair of earrings a bracelet or a necklace whatever it is gift bag ready to go so good for your reputation as well it looks so professional yeah and they're different you know other people will have organza bags yeah and then you get one of those out for one you of your like nicer pieces yeah like, Oh. putting yourself on a pedestal there Hello. aren't you um so do shop ahead in fact i can see all your names you are dialing ahead for these already so they are going to an amazing early bird price tag um okay from number 30 onwards the prices are all set um, but we'll be dropping some of the ones previously as well, jewelry makers. But don't let that put you off checking out your baskets because even if you check out prior to a price crash, everybody pays the final low anyway. It's one post and packaging all day. Nothing is debited from your account until your order is ready to be shipped. So that's what I mean. If we drop the price, you still get that lower price point as well. What else is coming up on today's show? Well, let's take a little look at our menu. Um, so there's the early bird. We've discussed that, jewelry makers, at nine o'clock. Debs, you've got the most beautiful angel project. Oh, I love these. I've still got some of these from the first time we had them. Little jade angels. Oh. I think they're amazing for so many things, aren't they? I mean, I think a bag charm is epic yeah. for something like this because you can have it with you all the time. Um, a lady was saying to me on my social media yesterday that she made two for her son and his girlfriend when they went traveling. Oh, lovely. Keep them safe. That's lovely. Yeah, isn't that lovely? So, yeah, these are amazing and so easy to make. Yeah, even I can make them. So there you go. You know it's easy. If I, if I can make them, then you know they're easy to make. What's that? We've got yellow or red jade eye options in those as well. And the fact it's jade as well, because yeah. jade is, is considered very protective too. Yes. Yeah, I bought these the first time I think they were launched. That was some time ago, mind. Yeah. Um, and Willow's got one literally just sort of hung by, the, by her bed. You see... Yeah. Tiggy's is long gone, so I need <laughs> Tiggy's is long gone. I don't know where that could be in the abyss of toys. Um, but I will find, I'll have to get Tiggy a new one, obviously. I'll make a one. We'll look after our baby. Little Tiggy. Little Tiggy. Um, oh, something just went ding. I'm not entirely sure what, what that was. Um, what else is coming up? As I said, 10 o'clock, you have got your amazing white freshwater pearls. 88 available. I do think they're going to sell out in a heartbeat, jewelry oh, makers. Yeah. Um, and to go for the remainder of the hour, because I think there's going to be a really fast sellout that one, um, we have the finest, the last stock opportunities of the finest quality malachite. That is bullseye malachite. We've got some stunning cuts, some stunning shapes. Also, can I just say that's a really lovely combination, malachite Ooh, and those yes. pearls. Mm -mm. So you could definitely uh, team those together. So that's your 10 o'clock hour. 11 o'clock, we are launching launching something that is brand new. The first ever, and I'm going to tell you, 10 grams in an ingot necklace. Amazing. And you get everything. You get the chain, you get the pendant, 
Um, now I'm going to talk to you. This was made hugely popular. The ingot look, which is basically like a bar of silver, mm -hmm. um, was made hugely popular by the likes of Cartier, yeah. the likes of Bulgari, um, and Corum as well. They did big, um, around about the 1970s, 1980s, they sort of erupted onto the scene. Still a huge trend at the moment. Jewelry maker, we've got our own jewelry maker sort of stamp. I'll talk through what each of those actually mean. So this is launching jewelry makers for the first time. Look, you can see the ground white there, can't you? Um, at 11 o'clock today. Then at 12 o'clock, New tool, anyone? Yay! Brand new engraving setup with Debbie Kershaw tool. I love this tool. We're not going to have enough, says Hayley in my ear. Oh. We've only got 150. Do you know, I mean, I've in, I wanted to show you, you know, I'm not a big one for putting people's names on things, but I'm, I use these tools far more yeah. for putting the eyes in there, like the little, you know, if I make whale earrings or if I like, when I made that flower, like all of the details on that, I used it. Yeah. You could also polish with it. I'll show you it all in the 12, but it is a cracking little tool. The fact that you can engrave now here at Jewelry Makers, you I mean, you used to have to pay per letter, right? Yeah. For engraving? Yeah. So, which can be quite expensive. So, um, the whole, you know, everything is very personalised now, isn't yes. it? In the world of, well, not just jewellery, you know, you personalise pictures and cards you and do. all sorts, don't you? You know what's you? great about this is that you can use your own handwriting. Yeah. And that's like a big thing. So, if you were doing a bangle, you could write a message on the inside in your own handwriting mm. and you can always look at it, you know, if you, especially if you're gifting. Do you, know, do you know what I saw? And I'd love to do this actually on a piece of... Um, stilling silver or something mm. like that so um it was a lady i actually i had my, my, had my, my toes done while i was away well i had my toes done Ooh. so as you do um my nails yeah um <laughs> my nails not my toes my, no, my nails <laughs> and i was chatting to the lovely lady and, and i just like oh i like your tattoo and she said yeah so she had this tattoo and it was like little stick it was like a little stick family Aww. um but they were all different slightly different in their drawing and she was like oh my children drew them yeah I love so that. her children drew themselves and then she had them all tattooed as children i thought i was like that's so cute but you could do that because you could trace a little little drawing yeah um, and you could always reduce it if it was too big yeah. and then you could actually then trace it with the engraving tool onto a I piece of drawing idea. so that's a massive selling point if you're making to sell yeah but also you know me and personalization I love making things tell a story so yeah. this tool can do that and there's no wires or anything so you're not going to get all caught oh, up okay. it's battery operated oh so it's quite straightforward to you really straightforward yeah because I think I'd love to get Tiggy's uh, little stick drawings tattooed because yeah. they're hilarious they've literally <laughs> got they are hilarious it's like a circle two legs and feet there's no body <laughs> arms come out the head nice um she can't she's her, her words i can't draw noses mummy so there's no nose and i can't draw bodies so it's literally just a head with legs oh. and arms it's brilliant i'd love to get that's that joyful tattoo. yeah <laughs> like mr potato man I always remember a Daisy, scary. Daisy did a, 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 I mean, Daisy's 17 now, but she won't be watching or she'll kill me. When she was really little, she did this picture of me and she said, you see that? You see those two things there? And I went, yeah. She went, they're the holes in your face. And I went, what? <laughs> you mean nostrils? And she went, yeah. The, hole, the, <laughs> the hole. holes in your face. <laughs> Brilliant. I was like, that's lovely, darling. No. Thank you. <laughs> I bet you'd have it tattooed, though, if you oh, still I had would, that drawn. Yeah. I bet you'd engrave it, wouldn't you? And then if I'd you had put a line, there. I'd go, holes in holes my in face. Holes in face. <laughs> There's the holes in your face. Shall we get cracking, jewelry Yay. makers? Do get your messages in. Do come and say hello. We'd love to hear from you. Don't forget your early bird. The Oriental bags are absolutely flying. I can already see on pre order, and there's lots of multi buyers as well. Um, okay, let's go. Let's start with. 14. Oh, a bit of mother of pearl. Yes, please. By the pair. Deb, oh, these are a bit of you. I love these for earrings. Yeah, they're, they're just crying out to be earrings, oh, aren't they? Oh, they're beautiful. Look, carved mother of pearl. Literally just secure those onto a shepherd hook yeah. and, away, and a job done. Yeah, absolutely. Job done. Oh, my goodness me. Or imagine, you know, like your dealer day pearls. Oh. Imagine... A, um, a necklace, but one that's not connected, so it's more like a scarf. Oh, that would be... Oh, one on each end. And one on each end. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, she's back. Yes. She's back. 
Um, <laughs> I think you're all lovely. Oh, bless oh. you, Margot. Bless you. I, th- I, th- I, th- I think the jewellery maker team are. Yeah, they are. R- lovely bunch of people. Hello, Miss Janet. Hello, my lovely... I can't read it from there, it's... darling. You have to put it... Um, hi, gorgeous girls and team jewellery maker. Hope you are feeling better, Debbie. Settled in for another super <laughs> Sunday with new, new tools. tools. Of course, you've been poorly oh, as well. I'm sick of being ill. Me too. If that was my husband's fault because um. he brought a lurgy home from the office <laughs> and he was really put like Al, poorly. I was just talking to you outside. What are you doing? Yeah, Al, what are you doing? What are you doing? And so then I got it, then Dylan got it, and uh. then Daisy got it last. Yeah, there's a lot going around at the moment, isn't there? Because I was ill last week as well. But thank you, I do feel a lot better. Nah, she looks amazing too. Hello, Andrew. Hi, gorgeous. Uh, a gorgeous early bird. <laughs> I got a must- <laughs> <laughs> Where <are> you put... <laughs> <laughs> Hello, darling. <laughs> Hi, Andrew. <laughs> Hello, darling. What? I'll try again, Andrew. I'm, I'm going to get you in trouble, aren't I, otherwise? <laughs> Hi, gorgeous early bird show. Please, can you give a birthday shout out to my special husband, Hamza? Happy birthday. Um, he will be so thrilled. Thank you from Andrew. Everybody, can we all shout happy birthday, please? Happy, Happy birthday! birthday! Oh, sorry about that, Andrew. I wasn't reading where your <laughs> punctuation was, and I was going to get you get. I was going to get you in <laughs> trouble then, wasn't I? <laughs> sorry about that. Um, okay, we've got loads of amazing deals, so I would encourage having a little look at the website. Um, now these, what has these ones? These have closed at that thirty nine ninety nine. Today? Oh look! I literally just pop them onto a onto a shepherd hook and away you go. Ah, oh, they're gorgeous, aren't they? Oh, I like it. Chris is saying put them back to back so they're almost like a locket. I'll put a labrador oh, right in the yes. centre or something. That's a nice idea, Chris. See, you know what? You are destined to be a jewellery maker, Chris. Destined. We these have closed where? Thirty nine for really, two. That's amazing. That's really good. Okay, but they are limited, so it's going to be on and gone, first come, first serve. And given the fact that the mother of Phil, the nice and lightweight too, seriously, yes. for all that work, nineteen ninety nine. That's a no-brainer, that one. It's a tenner That's each. amazing. And even if you don't like sold big out. earrings, two pendants, beautiful. They've sold out, Debs. Oh, well, I'm not surprised. They've sold out. Should we do a mega closeout deal on some sterling silver? Yeah, loads of you are shopping ahead on these, so we need to bring it forward. Okay, now um, I shan't get them all out because Lauren won't like me very much. <laughs> so um, <laughs> um, basically, you have an enormous amount of your various different spacer beads. Um, 14th birthday mega bundle. Hang on, we have. We're not 14 yet, are we? <gasps> uh oh have these been bought for our birthday and we're playing them now oh well shh, 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 shh. but it's we're not we're 13 right aren't we yeah so are we playing the 14th birthday mega bundle how many months <laughs> ahead <laughs> Let's do it. Do it. Go on. Yeah, well, oh. well, well. You snooze, you lose, Wayne. Sorry. Oops. <laughs> We're doing it. That I, you know, we tell you that the birthday takes like a year to plan and oh, yeah. buy for. Yeah, we're just randomly bringing it. What is it? Six, seven months ahead, <laughs> early. Um, anyway. Drawing a blank here, Joe Makers. Are we 13 or are we 14? I've what? <laughs> <laughs> we are 14. Oh, see, it's one of them, isn't it? Am I 45 or oh, 46? Ah, oh, 
Yeah, we are 14, Lawrence you know just why? said. You know why? Because I, we I've weren't been on on that 14th birthday. We were on together on the 13th, 13th birthday. birthday. That's why you're thinking No, that. it's not only... I just think it's because I'm getting old now. <laughs> and I literally don't know what's Look, going on I'm anymore. digging you out of the hole here. Help me, what? help me. <laughs> <laughs> what's my name? Yeah. Oh, Chris wasn't invited to the birthday, so he doesn't know. Were you not? Oh, I wasn't invited. No. You were. Oh, okay, yeah. No, probably not. Um... Okay, close out deal. Look at we need sterling silver spacers. They are an absolute must for us, Stash. We've got different shapes. We are 14 Debs. Oh, okay. <laughs> I've been away, okay? I don't know what day it is, don't no, ask me. No, no. We've been away and Debs, I've also uh, uh, yeah. And also we've not been quite right, have we? We've no. been not for years, El no. <laughs> we've been a bit <laughs> we've been a bit squiffy for a period, haven't we? So you know you know, you'll let yeah. us off, won't you, jewelry yeah. makers? Now you get tons of them. Four hundred pieces, in fact. Oh, that's good. It's very good. Yeah, you get some lovely kind of faceted ones. They're all different shapes, different sizes in there as well. Not just your generic circles, not just your rounds. Um now we could, given the fact that this is a lot of sterling silver. Um, we could absolutely stop here, but mm -hmm. we're not going to. How about 10p? Really? 10p per piece of sterling silver. Uh. Whoa. 10p per piece of sterling silver. And if you'd see the bullion market, which I'm going to share with you a little bit later on, the price of silver has gone zoop, over the last few months. It's really crazy. Yeah. Um, so make the most of the 39.99 deals and 400 spaces, which you know you're always going to need, don't you, jewelry makers? You're going to be different. It, the spaces I use more than anything, I think, Debs. Oh, me too. And I think even these would even last me a while. And I yeah. use spaces in literally everything. Different shapes, different designs. Yeah, Debs, they might last us until our 15th birthday. <laughs> <laughs> what, in two years' time? <laughs> There's a bit, there's a, like this uh, Instagrammer or whatever you call her, and she there's a there's a video that she's done, and she, there's one of her, and she's literally right like, singing at the top of her head, uh, Vanilla Ice, and she knows it all word for word, yeah. and she's like, yeah, and in the car. Next minute, she's te sending text. She goes, "Am I 45 or 46?" <laughs> that is me. And me. That is me. I don't yeah. know how old I am, but I can sing any '90s <laughs> banger. <laughs> No problem. <laughs> you don't need to know how old you are. Who no, cares about no, that? No. Um, <laughs> make sure you check it out. How many did we have left? They're flying out the door. That's what they are. You've got lots of different shapes. I don't know if you can see. You've got some which are kind of a little bit um, geometric. We had big quantities of these, but again, they're all they're all disappearing. Can you see how they all differ in shape? You've got some which are a little bit more. It's just, there we go. There you go. Keep on dialing through. Um, they're available until the top of the hour, so make sure you make the most of that um, 14th birthday deal. Um, let's move on to head pins. Featherweight head pins. We need these, Debs, don't oh, we? Oh, yeah. Oh, look, you've got white uh, anti tarn strips now. Yeah. I don't know why. Oh, I don't know why either. Do you know, you've reminded me, I've probably got two featherweight head pins left in, in any colour. And I've got a lot of stash. Because I use them all the time because of pearls. Yeah. And little micro faceted gemstones, you can't get the regular size through often. You need to be shopping then, Debs. I do. These are the long head pins as well. Oh, they're good. Yeah. yeah so like you could, if, if they're too long, you can basically cut them in half and it becomes two, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, they're an absolute must to any jewellery makers. Um, for example, your deal of the day that's coming up a little bit later on, if you want to make matching earrings, mm -hmm. then you're going to need your head pin. Solid 925 sterling silver jewellery makers, you get a pack of 20. 11.99. That's really good. That's super good. Yeah. You do need featherweight head pins. Um, it's a terrible analogy, but I use it every single time. Not having things like head pins is like a baker not having flour. Yes, that's true actually, very yeah. true, yeah. Yeah, or a seamstress not having a needle or thread. It's got to be done, you need to have your findings as jewellery makers. Make sure you check it out though, um, or a builder with no cement. <laughs> we, could, we could go on for days with this, couldn't we? We'd go on for days, come on. A, <laughs> a race car driver without a car or without petrol. 
Oh yeah, without, without pe- petrol. Yeah. yeah. Come on, Deb. Do you got any? Oh god. Um, a doctor without a stethoscope. A. Uh, in an, I'll get back to you in an hour when my brain's kicked. In. Okay. Jimmy, you got any? A vicar without a Bible. A vicar without a Bible. Oh, that's a good yeah, one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very good, very good. Um, <laughs> Debs are still thinking. Still thinking. Oh, no pressure, Debs. Um, Just think, pick a profession. Pick a profession. <laughs> Just choose a profession. Um, it would be like a cameraman without a camera. Ah! Oh, hey. She got there in the end. Oof, the a window cleaner without a squeegee. <laughs> <laughs> we'll stop there, shall we? A you squeegee. need your friend. <laughs> <laughs> you need your featherweight head pins, that's uh, general jest. Um, hi Kathy, hello to Anne, hello to Anna, hello to Durham, hello to Anjum, stocking up a stash. Um, Heather and Maker and Nicola and Hillary and Tina and Bristol. Yeah, make sure you do check out. I would love to do an hour here on Jewelry Makers of all your essentials. That would be amazing. In all the different colours. Yeah, yeah. Wouldn't that be amazing? But sadly, it's actually, they arrive and then they disappear. Yeah and then they disappear. Um, I'm going to leave those with you because we have more to bring you, including number six, more essentials. More essentials, these are your shepherd hooks. Ah, so those e- those uh, mother of pearl earrings, here we go. Just open that bit. The last three auctions, you can make a lovely pair of earrings, yeah, absolutely. I think if you're going to get anything in sterling silver, it needs to be your shepherd hooks. Yeah. Because especially if you're making to sell or you're gifting, because so many people are allergic to base metal. Yeah. And also as a designer, it adds pennies onto your piece and it just gives you it's so much better for your reputation. And people would ask me that all the time when I was making to are sell. Are they silver? Are they sterling silver ear- yeah, wires? Absolutely. And really for the price that we do them for is worth adding those in, 100%, in my opinion. Hundred percent. I was mentioning yesterday um that I bought myself a pair of holiday earrings from Zara. They're costume jewelry earrings. Yeah. I think they cost me about twenty nine ninety but they're big like they look like birds of paradise <gasps> i saw those ones yeah yes so i loved them but i could only wear them once because my ears were literally i was like oh, itching Itchy. my ears because they're base metal mm. um base metal whereas these won't ir- irritate or shouldn't irritate your ears wait a minute i'll have to get one of the jewelry makers yeah that's a good idea get our debs to change the post change the post for me um wait a minute that's 4.99 for five pairs a pound a pair that's good that's a really good price. You're yeah. so right with what you just said there, Debs. So many multi buyers on this. Well, you would, wouldn't you? Because you know you're going to use them. Um, David's got two. Georgina's got two. Angela's got two. There's Tonsi there. Lucy, Northamptonshire, Renfuchshire, Elaine, and Fife, and Sylvia, and Maker, and Maker, and Yvonne, and Larissa. That's a nice name, isn't it? Larissa. Yeah, that's a lovely name. Um, Durham, well done to you. Uh, Maker, I can't keep up. Cheryl, Maker, Cornwall, West Midlands, Tunsey there. We don't see them that often, do we, jewelry no. makers? So when we do, we go crazy for them. Make sure we snaffle them into our stash. Um, okay, coming up next. Do the, do what, sorry? Oh, some earrings first. Wait a minute. Oh, look at the box. It's going to be good. (laughs) They'd go lovely with this strand. They'd go beautifully with that strand. Do you want to see what's in the box? Yes, I do. Yes, 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 yes. Now, it literally comes like so. Mm -hmm. Now, I am going to talk about the rarity of purple pearls during that strand opportunity. But I want you to visualise the perfect, perfect, near round, naturally coloured purple pearl earrings to go alongside that necklace. They are, and I'm I'm always very cautious using the word perfect when we're talking about pearls, Mm -hmm. because they're organic gemstones. Mm -hmm. They're going to have characteristics. However, look how beautifully spherical they are. I'm gonna just move them from there for a second because then you can actually see them better. These are very, very, very last, oh, look at them. Last of stock opportunities. They're half drilled. Wow. So literally you could just put them on to create a a, a post and Uh turn them into gorgeous stud earrings. It could be the most incredible ring. 
It's turning our studio lights pink. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the quality of the actual pearl that you're getting. Um, I know that Debs loves this, but when we look at a purple pearl, consider it the impossible pearl. Um, and that's because, and this isn't the most, the prettiest of pictures. I'm just going to show that one photograph if that's all right, Hayley. Because I want it explains why purple pearls are as rare as they are. Most, well, a pearl will produce their color from the inside the same color as the inside of their shell so as you can see the bulk of this what looks to be a clam well it is a clam i think um is not all purple however just at one section of that of that clam oyster whatever it is that mussel that might be producing the pearl there's a high concentration of color on the uh, actual shell itself but also most pearls will actually uh form um not on the exterior on the circumference of the pearl they form and it's and it's always a, a a word that people chuckle at but um they always the pearl forms in the gonad of the actual oyster itself so to get something with this strongest color is incredibly rare some might even say impossible because the pearl has actually managed to sort of travel to the exterior of the actual oyster itself and that's how it's getting that natural intense purple color and you can see the headline of that photograph everyday clam opens to reveal a rare purple pearl um, so they are it's a nice title isn't it the impossible pearl very few will actually produce this rare purple color and you're not just getting one you're getting two two that are perfectly shape matched color matched yeah, amazing all the five virtues match to perfection and we bring them to a jewelry maker price we've shown you photographs of there's, there was a, do you remember producer Ross took a photograph of the jewellers, I think it was Pragnell's in Stratford-upon-Avon, um, and they had some pink pearls, not purple, but pink pearls, a photograph of them. They were £500 for a pair. Mm. £500. Are they wrong? It's us that is wrong. Shall we do something totally crazy? Perfectly matched, natural, not dyed, purple pearls. Oh, I think these have sold out already. Oh my goodness, seriously, oops. Seriously, 49.99. That's amazing. That really is yeah. amazing. Yep, yep. I mean, the box alone could cut, it would cost that in most jewelers. I think they've sold out. Well done. I'm so sorry. Yeah, you get the box. Get everything. All you need to do is literally turn them into stud earrings. They would be, I think, if you saw those in, I don't know, Pragnell's in Stratford-upon-Avon, for example, you ain't talking 50 quid. No, crumbs. You know, no. you're adding zeros to yeah. that, for sure. Yeah. For sure. Have a look what purple pearls are in the Oco of London. One single, oh, but in fact, I'll tell you, there's some pur purple pearl earrings that are £8,000. <laughs> eight thousand pound you've just got them 50 quid well done amazing absolutely incredible the deals yeah like i said it's what we do and what we do best now i'm going to bring the strand in and i'm going to ask Hayley to go sort of back to the beginning of this uh, presentation so why are purple pearls so rare hopefully we've covered that a little bit they are it's rare because of where they get, achieve their color they have to form on the circumference of the actual oyster now there is a couple and i do mean a couple a handful of pearl harvesters in China that have that have created a hybrid oyster um, that actually has the inside of their oyster has this purple color but they are incredibly incredibly rare and very difficult and it's only a couple of pearl harvesters that can actually achieve it now much time is invested into actually uh, culturing a pearl a freshwater pearl whether that be salt water whether that be fresh water and it isn't a guarantee um, it isn't a guarantee that they will have this natural color. I need to emphasize the fact these are not dyed. Um, most any harvest of pearl can be bleached and dyed. That's not a problem where you can match them to perfection. Um, the color can be the, the orient, the overtones, the undertones, they will all be matched because they're basically treated. These are not treated jewelry makers. They are totally and utterly natural. So it can take, and this is not an exaggeration, years to, to achieve, to acquire enough natural purple pearls to make that full necklace. But let's skip forward because um, 
back in just post post pandemic i actually went um i went had the opportunity to go over to tucson um where i really was introduced to purple pearls um and they were talking about sort of the papayas or the peaches but it's same applies whether it be papaya or purple they are rare those kind of color saturations um and this we were speaking to one pearl supplier and they were saying to replace pearls like this in the current climate isn't impo isn't impossible but it is very expensive strands of this grade are likely to retail for around ten thousand us dollars i think it's really key for me to mention here jewelry makers this is pre-pearl mania you know, it is post pandemic where the price of pearls and the accessibility of pearls went through the roof, but it is not, it's pre the world going nuts for pearls and the prices of pearls and, and Tahitian pearls being bought outright for the next uh, decade or so. I'm going to flick forward. So we knew even then, on the back of the pandemic, um, that pearls were skyrocketing or on the, uh, you know, they were on that uh, sort of a, a tipping point of price accelerating dramatically. Um, and that put supplier carries on to say, uh, we were taking these to Hong Kong, uh, not just for the Asian market, there was a huge demand uh, from the West as well, from the biggest jewelry houses in New York starting to buy these too. Everybody wants these pearls and the pearl farms can't provide them. Um, they are from, there's that what I just told you about from the same source, just a few different families. Um, moving forward. That photograph there, um, there was a, a, an invite only occasion. I didn't get the chance to go, but Dave and Jake did. Um, and it was so, something like gems of a museum or something like that. So, for example, see that red necklace? That's Sophia Loren's uh, necklace. Um, but if you look at, at lot number nine, those beautiful pearls, they are natural purple pearls and they are displayed because of the rarity of the natural purple pearls. Let's oh. never lose sight of the fact that you are getting something that is displayed at an invite only jewelry event. Um, skip forward once again, we did find, we did find some purple uh, pearl necklaces actually on sale. I have to say this was actually quite a competitive price as well. I think it's $1,250, by the way. This is what, three years ago, yeah. pre-pearl mania. And that's wholesale. So a jeweler would have bought that. They'd have timed it by four plus VAT. So you're talking about 5,000 pounds approximately mm. for that necklace, which isn't bad. That's actually not that bad. Go to Yoko of London. There you go. Uh, this is the, uh, uh, I think, GIA or, or something similar. Talking about the strong purple pearls, they were saying um, strong pinkish purple near round pearls ranging from 11 to 13 millimeters in diameter. Unusually intense color and large size for the pearls immediately drew our attention. Moving forward, there it is, Yoko of London. So if you want natural purple pearls, freshwater pearls, same as yours. All right, they're a different, a different shape. Do you want to know how much that necklace is? Twenty-two and a half thousand pounds. <laughs> yeah. Is it the gold? Well, a little bit, yeah. But the bulk of that price point is in the pearls. And by the way, they've actually reached out to us, Yoko of London, because they're really struggling to access purple pearls. And they're like, I see you do. You have some purple pearls. Like, do you want to sell them to us? No, because that means I'm take we're taking them away from the audience. Now, we could stop here, jewellery makers. We're not going to. How many do we have, Hayley? eight Ooh. every single one of those will sell today i'm so certain of that these are some of the biggest that we have in our entire vault look 10 to 13 millimeters similar measurements to what we heard of from one of the gem labs that was talking about the the rare strong purple pink colors you've got beautiful luster to the surface i know our graphics don't say it but i would i would quantify those as metallic pearls would you all agree yeah i would You've definitely got a silver overtone oh, to those. gorgeous. <coughs> if we were to hold it here at £2,800, that's still a great price. I don't think you're going to find many jewellers that even can bring you natural purple pearls. I think you'd struggle to find a jewellers that will bring you one purple pearl for £449. Yeah, I'd agree with that. We are not stopping here. This is the piece, this is the kind of strand that Debs, which makes me 
say that we should have 18 karat gold here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. There's nothing wrong with silver, don't get me wrong. But pearls of this grade should be on 18 karat gold. I agree. And I think for the price, if you think about what you're saving when you get your pearls with us, yeah. that leaves room for yeah. you know getting that, getting that class. But it doesn't have to be an intricate one, but I just think that... It deserves. That. Oh, it's complimenting the rarity, isn't it? Definitely. I mean, I mean, Debs, you very kindly knotted my my mother-in-law's mm -hmm. pearls for me, mm -hmm. and I bought a gold clasp. I'll tell you, it was it was sixty pounds that yeah. gold clasp. Not that much no. for an eighteen karat gold clasp that I would one hundred percent be putting along pearls like this. And I agree with what Debs is saying. The amount that you're saving on your pearls gives you that wiggle room. These are ultimate legacy. The bigger the pearl, the rarer they are. These will be, these will be one pearl per oyster as well. Remember mm -hmm. how they form? They form on the circumference of the oyster. Imagine how colossal that oyster has to be, firstly, <laughs> to be able to house a 13 millimeter pearl. Um, and, and you're right, Haley was just saying, when you wear them, you see that wonderful glow, that luster. Um, it transforms the look immediately. Real legacy. Now we can bring you white pearls, we're going to it deal, um, during your deal of the day. We can bring you, still to this day, we can bring you a coir, but you know that mm -hmm. a coir pearls are actually dying out. Mm -hmm. Is that gonna have an impact on, impa uh, on Edison pearls? Most definitely. Um, now, this is the final day of our red carpet event. We're gonna take it lower today. They are irreplaceable at this price tag. They were irreplaceable at 449 pounds. They're irreplaceable oh. at the first price that we brought to air. Heather, massive congratulations to you. Um, I mean that, yeah. This is why we have some of the finest jewellery houses in the world, in the UK, literally here, saying, OK, where are you getting your purple pearls from, please? Um, and the, oh, the, like I said, they're irreplaceable. We can't replace them at the moment. They're like, OK, well, can we buy yours? We'll buy them at a premium. No, because that means we don't get the opportunity to bring them to our audience. If, if jewellery maker wanted to make a quick buck, yeah, of course they could do that. Yeah. We could have gone to Hong Kong. At the, well, in fact, we did go to Hong Kong at the beginning of the year. And we could have taken, you know, uh, um, the pearl riches that we have within our vault, couldn't we? And made a huge chunk of cash if that was what Jewelry Maker was all about. But it's not, we were, it's not much of a live show then, is it? No. If we're doing that, if we're selling to the trade, um, we're just another wholesaler then. Sally, well done. Combria, well done. Marie, well done. Heather, well done. Um, I've got Surrey there and I've got Kirsty in Australia there as well. Natural, emphasis on the word natural. These are not bleached, these are not dyed. Natural. Edison pearls. Edison pearls are um, the pearl that were the pearls that were. I don't want to say invented. That's the wrong world uh, word, but. They, were, they wanted to ra ch challenge mm. the beauty of your South Sea Pearl. You don't get purple South Seas. You don't get purple South Sea Pearls. Look, one on a pendant. Let's go back to that. One on a pendant. And this was some time ago. This, this PowerPoint's about three years old, by the way. So that will probably be about £3,000 now. Mm. I'm not qualified to value, but the, pr the price increase, if, if that pendant was selling and we were following the same trend that pearls are right mm. now, that would be selling at around about £3,000. And that's one single natural purple pearl. Read the script at the bottom. It says, um, these are, sorry, this, I can't read it from there. This one is for the pearl collectors out there. A gorgeous, lustrous, cultured Edison pearl of 13 mil. Hold up. Look at your graphics. Natural purple Edison pearl 13 mil. There you go. And they're talking about one. Hangs on an 18 inch anchor chain of solid 14 karat yellow gold. The pendant is removable and features a rope style uh, bail. The cultured Edison pearl is natural in color, not dyed nor enhanced. Um, there are some minor blemishes on the surface, typical um, of, of a pearl of this type. You've just got that times multiples. Mm and it's not $1,100. Well done, everybody. I'm gonna leave the final, what is it, two? Two or three? Um, 
There's two, yeah. So Sonika, good luck to you. Sorry, good luck to you. Christy, good luck to uh, Kirsty, sorry. Um, good luck to you as well. They're amazing. And if you love your pearls, remember your deal of the day. Now, or do you know something? One of the things I made, you'd be proud of me, Debs. One of the things <laughs> I made for my holiday was a pet pearl pendant. Oh, good. It's not hard, let's be honest. No, but good. But I did make a piece of jewellery for my uh, for my travels. I got a little bit of jewellery maker glue. Mm. I got one of these. Oh yeah, brilliant. A peg bale. Simple, simple. In sterling silver. I got my jewellery making glue. You can use those spacers however you... Oh wait, wait, they're not just spacers. Are they pegs? They're pegs that you can, you can actually set into your pearl. Mm. Little gemstones in there, so you could what dremel your pearl? Yep. Garnet, topaz, and tourmaline. But here's the star of the show, jewelry makers. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, hello. Isn't it lovely? Oh, it's gorgeous. And at one staggeringly beautiful fireball pearl. Just literally glue it into the post. Hello, Sally, ladies. Uh, that's a great offer, and it's lovely to see you back, El. Bless you, Sally. These prices are out of this world. Trust your quality. Bless you, Sally. I, I, honestly, hand on heart, and I would not say this if I if I didn't genuinely believe it. I would not buy pearls from anywhere else other no, than Jewelry Maker. No, I just I just don't trust. I I I know I'm going to pay more. I know I'm going to pay more. I know that. I might not get this well. In fact, if I'm paying similar prices to Jewelry Maker, I definitely ain't getting the quality elsewhere. No, no, no. I genuinely, thank you for that, Sally. I genuinely would not buy pearls from anywhere else. No, me neither. Now, this is one of the simplest makes. Mm. It will take you five minutes, Debs? Yeah, but not even. Not even. Because you, and it's great that you've got a longer peg because there's different um, drill holes in, in these pearls. And you want to be able to put the, the most amount of peg inside so that you've got that security. But if you need to trim a little bit off, you can. Yeah, but I'd no rather drama. have some to trim off than it be too short. Does that make sense? Yeah, because totally. That's a, that's a really substantial size pearl. Yeah. So it needs a peg of that size. Look how lovely Look it is. Look at that. Literally glue it into place. I'm going to get some of these because they're perfect Christmas gifts. You don't have to use the gemstones if you don't want to. If you haven't got a Dremel, you don't have to use no. those. But they are framed in sterling silver. You could use them for a different project if you wish. Look at the quality of that. It's stunning, isn't it? You're like, Hayley, if you got given this as a Christmas present, would you be happy? I should be super happy. Yeah, it's a, it's it's stunning. It and, is and don't forget, you go to Monica Veneda. No disrespect, I always credit Monica Veneda. You can get baroque pearls, not fireball pearls necessarily. They're not this big. And they're nowhere near the price that you that's on your screens. Seriously, we're at forty nine ninety nine. What is that? Sorry, I've just looked up. Forty nine ninety nine. Is there a quantity of these? Thirty. Okay. I mean, you can get costume jewellery that's this price, yeah. like you were saying about the Zara. I mean, I really like Zara jewellery. I think it's very um, imaginative. Yeah. Uh, I like the design, um, but it's costume and it's pricey. We're going to go lower. Than this. Ooh. Look at the split pay, £16.99. pence. It's gonna be, it's gonna be one of those, grab them whilst you can. I would. Yeah, can I just say, we've got multi-buyers here, one of which um, I know, I know is, is, is a jeweler. Um, do I blame them for multi-buying on this? Definitely not. We could stop here. We're not going to though, jewelry makers. We're not going to. Do you think said jeweler will buy will sell these at forty nine ninety nine or thirty nine ninety nine? Well, obviously not. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, this is another thing with your Brock and your fireball pearls. They've they've erupted, and Lady Gaga does have her. But she, there's another photo after this. Here she is, for House of Gucci. She's gorgeous, isn't she? Mm. Flip forward again. There, look at her earrings. Wait a minute. Oh, yes. Ooh. Now that's a necklace. Oh. That could be in that little museum piece with Sophie Loren's necklace, couldn't it? It's deserving. I'd push that one over. <laughs> <laughs> Can you push it in my direction, please? <laughs> Sorry, Sophia. <laughs> You've only ever seen these in a strand. Oh, oh, here at Jewelry Makers, you like the fact that they're actually individual, yeah? Well, when I, like I said, when I was at Tucson, they only sold them individually. Yeah. You didn't see strands of fireballs. Um, I, I, like you, would be multi-buying on this. I mean, how gorgeous is that? And she looks amazing, doesn't she? Like a really simple, tailored suit. But what do you notice about her first? Yeah, pearls. The earrings, yeah. don't you? Yeah. You notice those pearl earrings. Stunning, absolutely stunning. And even if you've never made a single piece of jewellery before in your lifetime, um, it's literally just a touch of jewellery making glue, a bit of hypo cement or E6000. That's all, isn't it, Debs? Yeah, absolutely. You just pop a little bit of glue, wait for it to cure, it's done. It's done. Done, done, job done. Don't use, don't use super glue. No, because it discolours the pearl. The pearls do not like super glue, so use hypo cement or E6000. Um, they go all, all green and it's yeah, not nice no. and the pills don't like them. There's too many chemicals in there. I've only got seven of them left, as if it's on split pay. That's ridiculous. <laughs> That's ridiculous. So you do get the peg bale, um, you get the fireball pearl, which is the star of the show, obviously, and then you get those gorgeous gems. It's going to sell out not long until we bring you your early bird, your oriental bags. They're going to sell out, aren't they? Hang on. Pop that there. <laughs> Sorry, Hayley, I don't actually steal, I promise. Um, number 17. Oh, these are lovely. I bet I went very Welsh then, didn't I? <laughs> oh, these are lovely. <laughs> these are lovely. Oh. Okay, jewellery makers, talking about gifts, I'll show them side profile. Ooh, they're lovely. Aren't they? They're yeah. very nice, aren't they? I can't do your accent. I love your accent. <gasps> Bit of uh, aquamarine, everybody. Cashmere aquamarine. You can see that quality of colour, can't you? Yeah. Cashmere aquamarine. Um, and the reason why they um, emphasise the actual location, because we know, all know of the legendary cashmere sapphire, don't mm -hmm. we? So um, other gemstones like peridot is often referred to as the cashmere peridot or the cashmere aquamarine is because it has that same richness of colour that we, we once upon a time saw in the cashmere sapphire. These are a finished pair of earrings. Um, you don't really need to do anything to these. You can maybe pop them in your lovely little early bird in your Ooh. oriental bags. You can get them in one of our fancy boxes if you want to. Um, look at the quality of those. I'll pop them in the ear as well so you can actually see. Um, but they're an eight millimetre round. Seriously at 49.99 for, for aquamarine. There's a really good amount of silver on the back of those as well, isn't there? Like I was just looking um, from over here and I can see it from over here. Oh, they're lovely. Yeah, gorgeous, aren't those. they? Those. A beautiful azure blue. We're gonna do what? For your red carpet event, the final day, we're going to take an extra £20 off that price tag. Oh, they look even better in the ear. They look like, you know when you go swimming in those pools, like in the middle of yes. mountains and things? You see those crazy look, pools. Yeah. It looks like one of those. That's like lit up from the... You need those because the they bring your eyes out like incredibly. That's what jewellery can do for you. Do they? Yeah, like your eyes are going ping. Look at us. <laughs> You've just ruined it. Ready, 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 ready. I'm ready? Big... Ping. <laughs> Wait a minute, because I'm, I'm slightly crying now because I'm laughing. Oh, hang on a minute. No, I'm all blurry eyed now. We're at 29.99 because I'm laughing. Right, ready? Hey, I'm literally crying, look. Uh, little... <laughs> so, do you know what I mean? That how jewelry can bring out your features. That really does bring out. 
Ready? See? <laughs> See? <laughs> you tell I'm not comfortable with that at all. Um, make sure you check it out, everybody. £29.99 pence only. They are stunning. We've got a message. Um, hi Julie, morning ladies, just joined Elle, you're looking lovely and tan from your holiday, thank you. She is. Um, what are the green bracelets um, to the left of you please? Um, they're coming up at 10 o'clock on the back of the deal of the day, we're talking about bullseye malachite Julie, they're beautiful aren't they? Absolutely gorgeous, can you see that perfect bullseye? They're, and they're on every single one, sometimes referred to as peacock's eye as well, which I personally think is a bit more romantic. Um, so yeah, but it's the finest quality, the eye of the Malachite basically. They're coming up in the 10 o'clock hour. Um, so make sure you don't miss out on those. Um, okay, let's do first piece of, 13. First piece of jade of the day, type A, imperial white. Uh, I'm literally <laughs> crying. <laughs> Oh, it's a peacock. It's Isn't it lovely? Be oh, they they lovely. have to be one of the most beautiful birds, don't they? Yeah, they blow my mind. Like I look at them and I'm like, how is that real? I mean... It, it, they're also quite funny, the fact that like the males go, hey, look at these feathers. Yeah, they do. They shimmer, don't they? <laughs> yeah, I, I think they're quite funny. But they show off. They're very um, symbolic as well, the peacock, yeah, aren't yeah, they? Yeah. Why is it always the male birds are so much more attractive than female birds? They have to attract the females. The female doesn't care about attracting a male. <laughs> There's a conversation to be had there, isn't there? Um, look at that, so beautiful. Now we are looking at once upon a time. Um, um, <laughs> once upon a time. <laughs> Chris has just said he's not exactly going to start showing his carpentry skills. He hasn't got anything else to do. <laughs> carpentry skills. All right, that little peahen. So you what? I can lock up a good shelf. <laughs> I'm a whiz with a kitchen cabinet. <laughs> Give me a router tool and I'll show you what I can do with it. <laughs> oh, dear. Can you put my IKEA furniture together? Oh. No, but look at these feathers. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind about that. We've got a minute. Oh, We've God. got a minute. Sorry, I'm so distracted. And I also need to, if the bosses are watching right now, I apologise. I know, here's me holding one of the rarest gems in the, on the planet. <laughs> um, also, the colour that once upon a time was, re was reserved for the emperors of China. And um, we're doing peacock shimmies. Um, £79.99 pence only. Beautifully hand carved as well. And the purest of whites. Loving that. The peacock. I love that stance as well. In all seriousness, they are they are stunning. What's that? On the necklace to my right? Yeah. What, speaking of Ikea shelves? Oh, it is quite similar. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see what you mean. Yeah, so you can literally just suspend um, it from, uh, from carving. So you can include this with your deal of the day. I think that would be amazing oh, too. Yes. Beautiful. Well done, everybody. Sorry about that. I didn't do that jade anywhere near the justification that it should have had. Um, but we had a giggle. We did have a, gi a giggle. Now, so much to bring you today, jewelry makers. You've got the most unbelievable little jade angels coming up in the next hour, which are the perfect gifts. Really, really sentimental gifts and super easy um, to put together. Your deal of the day is uh, coming up at 10 o'clock. We've also got bullseye malachite. We've got um, a brand new tool. We've got the brand new launch of the ingot necklace, which is very exciting. But first, it's your early bird. <laughs> Um, 
I think we're all of the same uh, same in the same thoughts when we're actually thinking you make you spend time creating your beautiful creations don't you sea beads you can take hours if not days mm -hmm. knotting you know it's a very um, lengthy process whether you're silversmithing whether you're wire work wrapping whether you're beading whatever it is you take your precious time and time is absolutely invaluable isn't it so when you are maybe gifting or selling whichever it might be um, I do think it's as important and it's also comes at no surprise to me that you know for example we don't just bring you pearls now of this quality just in a strand we bring them to you presented don't we you but you get the box yeah. as well like those earrings that we had a few moments ago it's not just oh there's a lovely high-end strand of pearls here's pearls it's the whole experience of actually opening them um and yeah, bangles, there's another one. Yeah, we, uh, we, we, we bring them to you boxed. We bring them to you presented beautifully. So, and I think these, um, and I think the bags are, are, are perfect for that. If you make a brooch, a pair of earrings, a stretchy bracelet, a necklace of any variety, uh, whether it be, I don't know, a Marla necklace or a knotted necklace or whichever, Debs, mm. you're not just going to go, ER, <laughs> ER, you want the experience of them absolutely, opening it. Absolutely. And I just think that something like these bags speak to the artisan yeah. making. You know, you've gone to a, a gallery that, that showcases lots of different designers or, you know, you've, somebody's made that with their hands. Mm. You know, you've gone to a studio and asked someone to make it. When you put it in something like this, mm. you're giving it a personality. Does that make yeah, sense? Yeah, 100%. Because they're not just your generic no. chiffon bag. And listen, I haven't got a problem with chiffon bags. No, when I, mean I had either. my jewellery business, um, I used chiffon bags. Yeah, of course. Because they were cost effective and they look nice. They do. They did look nice. However, these this is so much more because it's almost got like that satin effect. Yeah. And I'm going to show you each and every single one of them. I'm just going to slide them towards me if that's okay. Um, because even down to, and obviously they'll be fuller when you've got something in them, but even down to the little toggles that you get on the end oh, um, of the drawstring. I mean, look at those. And I know there will be, you know, a lot of our jewellery maker audience don't just make jewellery, you craft. Yes. You know, so you might uh, sew, you might make cards, you might uh, paint all of those things, you might make soaps. I walked past, um, I popped into our local town yesterday after work and there's a, um, like an artisanal market. So, nice. and as we walked down, they had they had uh, wax melts. Nice. They had somebody else who was who was selling um, paintings. There was somebody else who was selling samosas. There was somebody else who had cakes. There was somebody who had um, all different types of these wonderful crafted things. Mm. And again, presenting them. Um, so you get a beautiful dusky rose. Hello, Denise. Uh, these are beautiful gift bags for the Christmas tree. What a great idea. Oh. It's a lovely idea. Oh, yes. You could when you do your table presents. <gasps> Love a table present. Ooh. Instead of crackers. Yes. Far classier. Very, and let's yeah. be honest, crackers are so expensive, aren't they? And rubbish. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna say it. Sorry. Some of the, those retailers that make crackers, you need to do better. Because like they're like what would you reckon? About ten quid. You know, like even your local supermarket. Yeah. True, they'll make them better, they'll be more expensive, but the, the, what, it's rubbish inside, so then I don't see the point. I, I don't make see the my point. own. Yeah, I'm going to make my I own. I have a cracker year. and then I have a table present. Yeah, I do that. So, table presents are. Ooh. Oh. You could put a little soap in there, you could put yep. some potpourri in there in, in your sock drawer. So many of you have all ready shot. I love the orange. Look at these lovely colours. We're already at what? That's amazing. Two pound per bag. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Haley's saying. Oh really? Haley went and bought a paper gift bag from one of the card shops. It was three quid. And she said, "Oh, it's a designer. What was it like? Like William Wordsworth or something like that?" Three quid. Who recycles them? Yeah. yeah, I do. I always do. Yeah, you got it, wouldn't you? Hmm. Look at all of these. Look, Look at, at the, the colours. colours. Oh, I love the colours. I'm going to be here oh. all day though, because there's twelve. The red one's nice. Oh, the teal the one's one. nice. Teal. I like I'm, I'm not one. displaying them very well, but you get the idea. 
There's a gold. Loads and loads of you have already shopped ahead on these. I can't display them. <gasps> oh, I like that colour. I like that green. I like all of them. Shelfy step things? Yeah, we did used to have those. Oh, do you mean... Uh, oh, hang on, I'll tell you what I'll do. <laughs> hang on. Ah. That works. <laughs> we are not stopping there. We, thanks, Jimmy. Right. Um, I can't see your names as of yet, but I know there's loads of you there. So, oh, there you all are. Eight pounds and 99 not. pence. Are they? That's... That's seventy-five p. Oh, I think I found my favourite. I like this. Look at that colour. Oh, that's the. I love that pink one. Oh, these are gorgeous. Yeah, there's twelve, so you could do one for each month of the year. You could do an advent that. calendar with these. Oh. Oh. I can't display them all. I'm running out of time. Out of space. I'm running out of space. <laughs> By the time I, yes, Jimmy, Jimmy's like, try this, <laughs> try this. Oh, uh, is that what you were looking for? Here we go. Yeah, you'd fit a marla yeah, in there, wouldn't you? Yeah. Yeah, right, let's. Oh, that would be perfect for a marla, wouldn't it? Who was that, Charmaine? Charmaine, yeah, they'd be perfect for marlas. They need something in them to be happy. Yeah, you do need something in it. You need something in it. Do you know what I like about the size of these? Yeah. I bought something once, I can't remember what it was. It was from Etsy, so it was like a, a you know, artisanal maker. And um, inside the bag, I got a business card, and the business card, she'd press some flowers, dry flowers oh, onto. Oh, that's a lovely and idea. And then the actual piece was in um, a beautiful piece of tissue paper, and it just, the way it was presented was so beautiful, it made me even more want to buy from that person again. Because, you know, I think it makes all the difference. It really does. You could hang them from your hair. They've thought, they, <laughs> they've, they've thought about it, how it's actually presented and yeah, offered. Yeah, absolutely. And I think the same applies when you're actually sort of uh, um, gifting as well. Yeah, definitely. You know, um, yes, okay. That's the biggest strand I've ever seen in my life. Half the stock has gone. <laughs> I'm just asking, answering Charmaine's. Here we go, we have a Marla. And you have gone for the biggest Marla that we've probably ever created here. So, you know, if this fits it's in, enormous. Charmaine. If this fits in, then I'm going to guess yes, your normal traditional Marla necklace definitely would. Yeah, it fits in there, no problem. Tons of room. And, and I bet you it's going to sit beautifully. <laughs> Look. <laughs> There you go. It's a Marla for a giant, that one. It is. It fits in there easily. Perfect for Marlas and knotted necklaces. Half the stock's gone, jewellery makers. There is a bit of a queue on the phone lines. It is busy. You get all these different colours in total, which I have ter uh, displayed so terribly. But you know they're lovely, aren't you? You can, you can see them on the photograph there. But aren't they gorgeous, Debs? They are absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to be getting some of these today. I think they're good for keeping your um, jewellery in. So, you know, like things that you want, like special things, so like your nice pearl necklaces and that. Yeah, because they don't like plastic, They do don't they? like plastic, so you could pop those in there and then, you know, that you could store them. That's a good idea. Half the stock's gone. Time is ticking. I tell you, there's one way that we get a regular, one way of speeding up the process, Debs, isn't there? Yes. Just to make it absolutely clear, we categorically should not be doing this. It is only because it's 10 past nine. Okay. I would up your quantity orders. I'm definitely getting some of these. Yeah, I want some In, of these. Do you know, li li little things like, Put, put some nice, um, put your essential oils in yeah. some potpourri and have it sort of dotted around the house. Yeah, put in your sock drawer. 
Lovely. That's <gasps> how much, sorry? 58p per that bag. That is amazing. Hang it on your headboard, if you like, with some lavender. Oh, lovely. To help uh, help to help you sleep. Oh, yeah. You know, there's so much, so much potential of things like this. You know, you could do, if you make soaps, if you make wax melts or candles, you could use them for those. Yeah. If you bake cookies, you could put little cookies or sweets. Yeah, you could offer, yeah, you should still charge for it. Do you know, weirdly enough, yesterday, I actually, because I've started sort of collating Christmas presents mm. now, um, and, um, oh, you know, you know, I always talk about how expensive that, that accessory shop for kids is. Yeah. Yeah, went in there um, yesterday, I got dragged in there yesterday, and they had an offer on, 10 pieces for £10, that's bargain town, that is for that shop, and yeah, kids, it is. Uh, like the girls were in their element. Anyway, put some away for Christmas, and then I was like, okay, I also had some various different beads, which, which, um, which I've had from being mm -hmm. on jewellery maker, if you like, um, put those in little jars, decorative little jars, yeah. like little bead scoops effectively, you could use these. That's a good could idea. could sell them as bead scoops. You could. That's a really good idea, actually. Yeah, what would you sell them for, what do you reckon? Bead scoop? Yeah. Tenner. Tenner? Yeah. And then your leftover gems from your strands, or not even gems, it could be crystals or it's whatever. It's not costing you anything. No. And then somebody else gets the benefit of kind of recycling and making with what you don't use. I like that idea. What a nice little gift yeah. that is, and it's cost pretty much nothing, because these are less than 60p right now. Um, we've got to move on. Now, keep on checking out your baskets, jewelry makers. Remember, these items will disappear. Um, you've upped your quantity. I would be doing the same. I think it's one of those things you're like, oh, I could use that, couldn't I? If you make little jars of chutney or something like that. Um, we do need to close this hour. So if everybody does check out, if everybody checks out, there's going to be what, 20? Oh, but everyone's multi-buying, so there's not going to be 20. Um, so I think this will be an on-screen sellout, jewellery makers. So do be quick. Now, coming up after the break, speaking of perfect little gifts, um, <laughs> I remember the launch of these, and I loved them then, and I love them still now. Um, they're little mini-makes, aren't they? They're amazing. Debs? Little jade angels. Oh, I love that. And, of course, jade um, is symbolic of protection, yes. as is your angel. Yeah. So um, these are coming up with Debs in the next hour. They are are perfect gifts especially at Christmas time I think um, so do not go anywhere make sure you check out your baskets and join Debs and I after this Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Shopping with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.jewelrymaker.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your jewelry room essentials to gemstones, tools, precious metals and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Jewelry Maker app. Simply head over to your app store and search Jewelry Maker. 
Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 644 655. Shopping made easy at Jewellery Maker. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to jewellery making or a seasoned professional, you are sure to learn something new. We are live every day from 8am until 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Welcome back, jewellery makers. We have a laugh, don't we? <laughs> if only they knew what we talked about in the break. I'll tell you. <laughs> we were still continuing the conversation of the uh, peacock uh, without minus the carpentry skills. And I was telling Al about a friend of mine um, got stuck in a lift mm. um, in a shop, which is horrific, but seven firemen came to save her. Seven? Mm. Yes, help. help. Well, you know, that I, I'm just, so there's me going to take my pliers to the lift now and see if I can sabotage it. <laughs> <laughs> so the fireman come and save me. Save me! <laughs> save me! Save me! It won't be the fireman, it'll be some disgruntled security guard from the shop who <laughs> opens and goes, uh, what, you're have right, you what have you done? <laughs> what have you done? What have you done? Where's come the on, fireman? Out. Yeah, where's my fireman? Uh, <laughs> Do you know, I just got to tell you this really quickly. The firemen came once, you know, when they refit your smoke alarms? Yeah. Like, they came to refit my smoke alarm. You, hang on, hang on. You had firemen come and fit yeah. your smoke alarms? Like this, in my other house, they came and they changed the fire alarm. They were, uh, they were doing this thing. So anyway, they came, you could, and they, they redid the fire alarm, and I was like, oh, the firemen are in the house. <laughs> <laughs> and I went, oh, oh, thanks for doing my fire alarm. And thanks for bringing the fire engine. And my daughter went, oh, <laughs> my God. <laughs> thanks for bringing the fire Did engine. Did you go all flirting? I was, I'm not very good at flirting. I just look demented. But I was all <laughs> like... I was all very kind of, oh, it's fine. Because my granddad was a fireman, and I think firemen are heroes. They are. So I like firemen. Absolutely. <laughs> Thanks for bringing the fire in. I, th I think anybody um, from First Response. Oh, I've got so much respect heroes. for absolute heroes. Yeah, amazing. So, that's my fireman story. <laughs> What's that? Haley's just saying she follows a really good fireman on social media. How is he really good? Very good at his job. Oh, he's very good at his job, right? Yeah. Sometimes they wash the car. Why, why do I charity. feel like something is going to follow? <laughs> oh, right, he is hot too. He's a yeah, hot he is. He is. He is. Excuse the pun. He's a really good fireman who just so happens to be incredibly good looking. Right, I see. I see, I see. Does he fit smoke alarms? <laughs> Oh, wow. he's, in the st he's in the States, right, okay. I don't mind right. travelling. <laughs> <laughs> okay, shall we get cracking before yeah. we get ourselves into real trouble here? Um, <laughs> all that stemmed from that gorgeous carving of a uh, jade of carving a of a peacock. Yeah, absolutely. And then, then Chris with his, uh, his carpentry, carpentry yeah. tools. Mm -hmm. um, right then, um, talk to us about these beautiful oh, angels there. Well, I used to have a business. My jewellery business used to be called um, Angels and Daisies Jewellery, because obviously Daisy's my daughter and I'm obsessed with angels. They're everywhere in my house. Um, I get so much peace from an angel, and I, I, don't, I don't mean like in a conventionally religious way, because I don't think, but I, I would see myself as a spiritual person. Mm. And I just think that um, the motif of an angel gives mm. you comfort, gives you protection, um, just so many things to so many people. So to be able to make an angel charm is amazing. To be able to make an angel charm with jade. Yeah. So when you think of, like you said, the properties of jade, yeah. um, really, really associated with protection. These are fabulous little amulets to give somebody. Oh, most definitely. Um, and they're easy. They're easy well, to make. Well, you know, I remember sort of my neighbour um, lost her husband a few years ago, and it was quite sudden, and oh. obviously she was completely devastated, as you can imagine. And the first thing I thought of was 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 an angel yeah. to gift her an angel. It's that peace, to give her that comfort. comfort. Yeah. Yeah. Um, in a gemstone as well. So yeah, to actually have 
you know the the double meanings if you like yes. the meaning of protection within gemstone and that's the you know chinese beliefs yeah, yeah. um jade is protective that's why you um in, in in china not ancient and existent you actually gift your family members jade because you want to protect them of course oh, that's um lovely. so that's why people wear jade over in china and and it is kind of snowballing really around the world yes. those kind of beliefs and meanings but i totally agree with you i wouldn't necessarily say i'm particularly religious um however i do have beliefs most definitely me too. Me too. um and i do have emotions when you actually see the angel itself yeah, me too. so it might be your guardian angel it might be you know a lost loved one yes. it might be just you know someone that's going through a little bit of a tough time and it's that the angel's there to hold their hand uh, exactly that and when it's an actual tangible thing that you can yeah. touch or yeah. hold or maybe it's on your bag it goes everywhere with you um, or it's on a pendant or you know anything or it's just hanging in your office yeah it gives you that comfort I've always when my babies were born would have an angel statue in their room oh. overlooking them just to keep them safe yeah um, and they're in my house and I just I get comfort and peace from the image of an angel, mm. and I think a lot of people do. Yeah, too. absolutely. Um, so to be able to make one, and this one's so versatile, it can be anything you want. I've popped it on a chain there, but the lobster clasp I've put on myself because it's detachable, so it can go wherever you want. But oh, of course, you can do whatever you want with it. Very simple to they're, make. They're, they're, they're absolutely beautiful. Now, they're effectively mini makes, but we launched these Gosh, it's got to be about a couple of years ago. I've not seen them before. Have you not? Oh, actually, did Susie do them? Yes. Yes, I remember. Now, um, we do have some very limited um, of the older angels. Okay. Um, so, But they are extremely limited. Now, the first that we're going to bring you is in, look at the graphics, red jadeite. Yeah. Red jadeite. Yeah. Now, these are really simple mini makes, which Debs is going to walk you and talk you through. Absolutely. And even if you've never made jewellery before, you can make these. This might be your first your first piece that you've made. Um, and what's the first thing that you've ever made? Sometimes you'd forget, but I think if you made an angel for your first oh, piece, you wouldn't forget. No, you would wouldn't you? forget that. You know, we've got what we're, we're coming up to October. Can you believe that? I love this so, time of year. So, me too. It's my time of year. Yeah. Everything gets a little bit... Okay, everything gets a little bit cosy yes. and snugly. Um, we have a message coming through from um, Elizabeth in Leicestershire. I carry my angels from Jewelry Maker with different stones in my purse or carry them in my pocket uh, wrapped in my late dad's hanky during difficult times. Bless you, Elizabeth. And I get, you know, you, you, you get comfort from You've that made my as nose well. Go. <laughs> yeah, you get comfort from the fact. Yeah. And, do you know, if it gives you that comfort, then that's fantastic, isn't it? it and is the fact that, that these are so something you could literally just put in your purse. Exactly that. Um, we've got a message coming through from Heather. Um, hello, Heather. Say, morning, ladies. I have made angels with some of your agate beads and gave them to a oh. local ambulance cruise. What a lovely idea. That's amazing, isn't it? If you just want to say a thank you. Like, even teachers, like some teachers will really make a big difference in your children's yeah. lives. Um, and you just want to say thank you and that you know something like this is amazing to say you know you've been an angel you've made a real difference yeah. and anybody that's made a difference to you mm -hmm. you know you don't always know if people wear jewelry you don't know what a jewelry taste is no, true. but you give them this and like to pop them in the in the purse like Elizabeth said for that comfort yeah. or maybe they've lost someone you don't know what to say and you could put a little poem with it or yes. something like that couldn't you yes. could write something a little uh, you know just on a gift card or whatever I also think you know like, you know we spoke about um if you're having a tough time or something like that you know children at the moment there's a lot of pressure there's on loads children of pressure isn't there? On kids at the moment. um i think you know the the expectations mm. we won't get into it too much but i think the expectations on children is 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 incredibly high these days yeah. and plus you know there's all social media those trials and tribulations and things like that yeah. so i think you know kids can struggle now yeah not just kids but i'm just talking specifically about young kids right adults now. young adults absolutely yeah there's a lot of pressure on people yes because we True. are we are we can see all the things that go on in the world and we have to process that yeah. and sometimes it's just stressful seeing those things mm. and i think that doing having that's why people 
like to have their bracelets that have the gemstone qualities because they can touch it. Yeah. And um, something like this, like to have in your purse to know it's there to hold in your hand like a palm stone. Yeah, exactly. Um, I was thinking it's palm something stone. that's actually physically there that physically you can there. get comfort from. That's 100%. that's what I like. Have you noticed on places like uh, um, and and. I'll, we'll start working with that price in a second, and obviously uh, Debs will show you um, how to create these. But I do think I do know how many do we have, Haley? About one hundred and fifty-three, okay. and then we've got smaller quantities of the other ones. But have you noticed on like you might have noticed it on social media? There's lots of little small businesses now that making little. Um, there's a positive potato, like oh, a little yeah. crocheted I've positive seen that. potato. That's brilliant. It's literally like a little teddy. Yeah, he he's is. about this big, and yeah. he's crocheted, and he's like, "I'm your positive potato," um, or a little a little mouse that you know. It's just a. It's a. It's a comfort. And that doesn't have to be children. That can be anyone. Oh yeah, absolutely. And uh, just having some. It's all right, you know. Verbalizing, you know, oh, I, I might not want to go to school because I'm feeling a bit vulnerable. But to give them something, hey, you take that with you. I yeah. don't know. It's just like you're take, you're giving them your protection and saying, here, I'm with you. Yeah, hundred percent. I'm with you, hundred um, percent. Now we're going to start working with that price tag, jewelry makers, um, and and I know there will be people who multi buy. Now we have never included red jade into these angels before wow. this is the first time you get everything that's on your screens right now which basically constructs your beautiful jade angel so you get the red jade and you get the yellow which obviously comes under the same umbrella so you've got that double meaning behind the gemstone itself the meaning of protection of jade um, and the meaning of the actual angel well did you know do you know the word jadeite actually translate to heaven oh does it no yeah. i didn't know it that. translates to heaven so um they believe by by wearing jade out you can it keeps you um, connected to your lost loved ones as well Aww. so i just love all the feelings and the, and the beliefs attached to this gemstone um okay now we have 150. we don't stop here we don't stop here whether it's guardian angel whether it's a lost loved one whether it's for comfort or whether it's simply you like the motif of an angel Wow. By the way, those positive potatoes, those little knitted positive potatoes are not 14 99 No. There are a lot more than that. And that's what wool. Whereas this is a beautiful, rare, precious, genuine gemstones. And you get your downloadable oh, instructions yes, you as do. well by, um, by our lovely Debs. It is really simple construction. You can put them on your keys. You can put them on um, a child's school. Well, well, yeah, Willow's got one by her bed, but um, she, at one point she did have it on a school bag. Yeah, having it on your school bag because, um, or even like inside your school bag, yeah. because sometimes they're, they're strict about what they can wear. Yeah. But this is good because they could clip it inside on their lunchbox or anything yeah. like that, couldn't they? Yeah. Um, and if you wrap loop, it's going to be really, really um, secure. So there we go. There's a little jade angel, There's and it's very self-explanatory. I'm sure that the um, experienced jewelry makers among you are just looking at that and know how to do it. But we have a lot of new people that we're bringing True. on board, so this is absolutely perfect to be starting off with. It's a very simple project. I'll show you in a minute. It's literally minutes. Um, download it to your own computer, run dispatch of your order as well. One thing we haven't mentioned, actually, having it as decorations around your home or on your Christmas tree. I've um, got them on my Christmas tree. You spoke tree. about Christmas gifts on the table. Yeah, Christmas gifts on the table. I have, um, a, my Christmas tree tells a story. Like, I've got things that everybody's made, including my mum and dad that are no longer with us. Um, yeah, my, so I have things on my Christmas tree that are made by everybody. and. I've got an angel on there. I've got things that I've made. We try and make something every year mm. to put on the tree. Uh, so I think that this is wonderful. And you could also, like with the engraving tool that we've got later, you could attach um, a disc to it and put the date or the year or in memory of. That's or, nice. So you could personalise it further if you wanted to add yeah, you know something else that too. It'd be beautiful with your with your the new tool that's coming up at twelve o'clock. I think it'd be amazing. And you know when you make the snowflake charms, yeah. I did um, a craft fair a couple of years ago, and I made the snowflake charms. And then on the bottom loop, I hung an angel. 
And then on some of them, I hung a piece of uh, metal that I'd written things on, like in loving memory or whatever, and they just went. I hung wow. them on a little tree and they just I'm went. I'm sure, I'm sure, but no doubt. A third of the stock has gone, jewelry makers. It's the first time that we've ever actually launched the Jade Angels with, uh, sorry, your angels with uh, red jade, which is the, uh, the rarest color. We were discussing it yesterday, weren't we, at length with Dave. Um, it's the rarest color. And you can see that amazing quality as well. You've got, well, red and yellow, yellow jade is incredibly rare also um, there are multi buyers getting involved I'm not surprised I think there's lots of us like look, my best friend for the moment going through a particularly difficult time I won't go into details but Aww. a really difficult time you just like oh gosh you, no. you don't I and I'm terrible in those scenarios like I'm like what can I do you know you know I'm here what can I do for you yeah um, and she'll very much put her head down and just sort of get on with things but I'm a like little that. something like this like is comfort, isn't it? And you know that the person's thinking of you and no words need to be spoken. No. It's just there. Yeah, lovely. You know. Look, I'm really beautiful. Yeah, exactly. And and sometimes they might not want to talk about it, might they? Um, no. So just actually gifting that. So would would you show us how to make these? I will, Jade of course angels? I will. Well, In fact, would you make one for my friend? Yes, I will. Yes, I will. Here we Absolutely, are some of course here? I will. Do you want this one or do you want... What, I don't mind. You don't Whatever. mind. Okay. Right, so... Yes! Yes, please. Can, you? can we? Oh, sorry. Hayley's like, shall we? Oh, actually, no, we're not meant to. She's like, go on then. Yes, because I'm gonna... thinking people will probably want to multi-buy yeah, on these. I, yeah. People will want... Because you think, you'll be thinking of... I'm sure there's people in all of our minds, in our circle, where you can go, oh, I know someone that could do with this. Yeah, definitely. Um, and that's the best part of... You go into a card shop. Cards aren't inexpensive these days, are they? No, and you could put this onto a backing card and, yeah. and just have a lovely poem or... Yeah, you could definitely. Oh, that's that's such a good price, Haley. That's amazing, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, amazing. That's so good. First time bringing it to you in the red jade. Take it away, Deb. Take it away. So, you know what's really good about this is it's a really long um, ball head pin because you need a long one, or else you're not be able to get the whole angel on there and be able to wrap loop. So, I mean, you can configure it how you want. This is just how I did it. Um, I popped on my little spacer beads. You've got your daisy spacer and then the largest bead. And I do write it, you'll get your instructions um, for reference. And then I popped on another little space bead. You can leave any of these out or, or put them in a different order if you'd like to, because I thought that that was kind of like um, the ruffle at the neck. Oh no, hold on, wait. I'm gonna put the wings on first. I forgot the wings, so little wings on. Isn't that cute, look at that. And then the little ruffle, which is the little spacer bead. Yeah, you could you could literally just put the wings and you know that's really pretty on its own, isn't yeah, it? If lovely. you don't want the full angel motif. But we do have a little jadeite bead for the head, and then you also get, which I think is a lovely little touch, is the little rhinestone bead for the kind of the halo. Isn't that lovely? So you just pop that on. Now you could do um a basic loop but I quite like to do a wrap loop because I'm thinking you know if this was a bag charm or something and it would be moving a lot mm. then a wrap loop is lovely and secure so I'm just going to wrap loop at the very top of um, the little halo and you don't want to do it too tightly because I think it's quite nice if they can move the little angel needs to move and then I'm just going to bring that pin around <laughs> bring the pin around here and then I like to hold it with my pliers I usually use my round nose pliers um, just because it gives me a little bit more wiggle room and then I'm just going to wrap the pin around now you can actually wrap loop this directly to your large jump ring if you want to that's completely up to you I'm gonna actually use the jump ring for something else so once you've done that you then need to just trim off your excess tail and just neaten up that little that little angel there and then you've got a jump ring that you can add the little angel to the larger jump ring now again this is completely optional you don't have to add it to this but you, you get it anyway so I'm gonna open this out 
and just pop the angel onto the jump ring. Let's get the right pliers. It's got two pairs of chain nose here and I'm just going to wiggle that close. You can kind of feel the sweet spot where it comes into contact um, and then that's done. So that's, that's essentially what you get in your kit. Now what I did to make it interchangeable was to add on a lobster clasp because then that can be taken on or off of anything you want and also that is a ready-made bag charm. So I've got another jump ring here and I'm just going to open this one, pop on my lobster clasp, pop on my... It's an amazing first project, Kaylee. it really is. So this is the jump ring I've added. I just want to make sure that it's big enough. The one that I added for the, for the finished piece was, yes. And then I'm just going to... And you could wrap loop this on again and then you're, you're, you're really, really solid. And then I'm going to just do it up. And there he is. And what did that take me? And I was explaining it. Oh, yeah. The, the wings are so pretty. If you have a look at those little wings, look how gorgeous that is. if you didn't want to be so literal, you didn't want a literal angel, take that off and just have that because that's still an angel. You can also flip the rings, the wings round. Yeah, you so can. So she's in flight. You can. You could t turn it up the other way. Yeah. Um, so it, there's still room for you as a designer to put your personal yeah. stamp on it, but um, it's very, it's very, I've very simple. I've just found this, little, like, if you are looking for something, maybe like a, a little card or, or, or a, uh, a verse to print with it. Mm. I've just found this, an angel for my friend, and that could be friend, loved one, whatever, and it says, uh, the meaning of a friendship is to show how much you care, to never judge, but listen, and if needed, just be there. So I bought this little angel to keep right by your side, to love and protect you, and always be your guide. Oh, and if oh, you... How lovely is that? We've got a, um, a tag in the 12 o'clock. I can't quite reach it, but it's just in front of me there. And you could put an initial or a message and then add it to yeah. your angel, couldn't you, with your engraving tool later. How beautiful, jewellery makers. Now, um, yeah, I literally saw this online. I don't know if you can see it very well. But see the tag? Yeah, you with could the A on it, that. you could do that. So we've got one of those in the 12 o'clock. So you could get the little tag from the 12 o'clock, you can engrave it or do whatever you want Gorgeous. and then put it on. Really beautiful. So here you are, this is for your friend. Thank you. Made Thank with you. love. Made with love, bless them. Thank you, darling. You're welcome. Um, right, shall mm. we bring the yellow jade? Yes. So which is the one mm. that actually Debs has just made up for you? That she just made, sorry. Yeah, but we have the yellow here. Here we go. That's the one, yeah. Yeah. There you go. There she is. So instead of having the re the red head, she's got a yellow head. And indulge me on this, but when you make your angel, if you're making it for somebody, while you're making it, just put all of your your loving thoughts and all of your healing thoughts as you're making it. Mm. and that will transfer to your gems. I know not everyone's into that crystal healing, but I am. And it transfers to your gems so that when they get their angel, they also get all of your lovely sentiments as and well. And energies yeah, and, energies. and things like yeah. that, yeah. It's, yeah, I agree. Hayley's just said it's not just the receiver that actually benefits and gains from from making something That's like this. That's very, very true. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I, you, get the, you get the enjoyment behind actually creating it as well. Um, so this one's the yellow. Um, we have a couple of the other colours as well, which are more limited. How many do you have of the yellow? A hundred. Okay, so um, it's the first time that we've ever done these angels in the red jade that you saw previously and the yellow jade. Yeah, and I think what, what I like about this is you've got the double meaning. You've got the actual motif itself, but then you've got the protection element and the meaning of the jade gemstone itself. Yeah, and those exactly. two, to me, go beautifully together. They go hand in hand, don't they? Absolutely. Now, um, we do have some, what, the, 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 are you talking angels? Oh, you could add this to a jade strand. Yeah, we could do that. We've got some jade strands coming up a little bit later on. Um, and also I've got three more angels to bring you, which is Aww. very nice. I think they're great for Christmas. I mean, yeah. if you're doing a secret Santa, oh. 
um, how lovely to put these in one of the gift bags that we did this morning and and that give that to somebody I mean how lovely is that what about like for a bookmark or something like that perfect for a bookmark if you don't want to if you if you wanted to keep it sort of safe and um, in your in the comfort of your home how about actually uh, sort of incorporating it into a bookmark you definitely could. Or, or a wine glass charm yeah, that's a nice yeah. idea lovely idea weddings I think that's a great idea as well lots and lots of I mean angel is always appropriate isn't it yeah it's, a, yeah. it's appropriate for every occasion really yeah christenings weddings um anything like that it's i think that giving an angel you know if someone has a bereavement giving yeah. them an angel with their card yeah is just lovely or because they are particularly angelic as a person and they've helped you and they've just been really yeah. kind to you that's yeah. a nice idea yeah. yeah absolutely and you're thanking them um 12.99 jewelry makers sharon's got two elaine's got two well done and do text in do keep those text messages coming through as well because it is very it is very thought provoking isn't it yeah. an angel yeah definitely and I, as i say my business was called that and i've got a i'm always going like you know if i'm, I'm parking the car and w we go somewhere and it's really busy i go i need the parking angel to help me and the kids are like you're a witch how did like that that, that space it's opened up there. Angel. It's the parking and, angel. And, or I'll go, oh, I need you now. And every time I go on a journey, I just say, I just need the angel to make sure that I'm safe. Do it every single time. I love that. So that. it's just like the spiritual hippie side of me that is part of me. But there's a faith there. And I yeah. just think that you don't have to be affiliated to any religion to get something out of the a, a Buddha symbol or, mm, a, or, totally. a, or an angel symbol. Yeah. They're a, a guardian, they're, a they're guardian, peaceful, yeah. and they give comfort. And they're good. Yes, they yeah. are. Yeah. So well done, everyone. Um, we had over 100 of these, but again, proving to be incredibly popular. I'm not surprised. Honestly, I'm not surprised. I think it is a good couple of years ago when we first launched our um, our angels. Um, but we didn't have have it, as I said, in the red jade um, and the yellow jade. I've got a couple of other colours still to bring you. Um, yeah, I agree. That's another thing to mention that the size is perfect too. It's not too big. It's not too small. No, it's it's perfect. I think it would stand up as a pendant, as a bag charm, um, whatever you wanted to do. Bookmarks a great idea. Yeah. You know, I like books. I like actual books. Do you know? Do you know? If you go into a garden centre, and um, you can get sort of, uh, um, you know, say for example, you've lost a pet or something yeah. like that, and you can get the kind of displays little angels and yes. things like that that you put in the ground yes. and things. You could actually do that, couldn't you? Yeah, you could. You could put an angel. You could hang them outside. You could put them in the window. Yeah. Just beautiful. Um, oh, <gasps> oh, well caught. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, should we do the green jadeite next? Yeah, so I think this was the the, the, the original. Um, so, yeah, I'll hold the angel here and you can imagine it in obviously the green. There is only 10 though of these, so it is super, super, super limited. So um, the classic green color. So if you can imagine obviously the angel's body, Mm, lovely and the uh, head everything else is exactly the same the angel body um, and head is in that soft subtle kind of like a sage green oh that's beautiful mm. isn't it I think also with the green one you've got the extra meaning of it being green which is the heart chakra which is love so you've got that oh. extra kind of love element giving someone love within the stone so there's so much meaning that can be attributed oh. to these yeah love. I love it I love it, and you know, look straight away. Have you noticed how we've all just kind of softened? And yeah, we have actually. <laughs> it's all very thought provoking, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. Hiya, Jane. Hello to you, lovely Jane in Lancashire. Saying, um, I'll be showing how to make an angel like this or fairy using lucite flowers for a skirt um, and hat. Um, at a Macmillan coffee I've morning seen for charity. Those. That's fan wonderful. Um, and I did one um, a few years ago, um, and it had little legs as well coming out of the bottom oh. of the lucite skirt. So yeah, that's lovely, isn't it? Really nice. Yeah. You could put these on like a picture frame as well, couldn't you? Oh yeah, definitely. There's so much you could do with them. Yeah, I mean, so, so hang one from a picture frame, maybe. Um, lovely. Um, let's bring you the other jade, which is in the final jade. Um, this is the black. So again, you get exactly the same components, but the only difference, there's only seven, is that you get the black jade. Loving that. 
Very stylish. It's yeah. lovely, that black. I think as well a bit more unisex. I know you're not wearing it, but I, well, actually, I think all of them are, but the black, you know, I think if somebody had it on a bookmark or on their briefcase yep. or, you know, um, it's beautiful. Yeah, loving that. It's all down to personal taste, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, whether you, whether you want to wear the black one, whether you want to wear the red one, you could mix them. You could mix them, yeah, you could. Mm. That would work. And at twelve ninety nine as well, still super, super, super affordable. I've only got seven, though, so you need to be quick. You do need to be quick. Um, and then the final angel is a freshwater cultured pearl. How many do we have of these? There's 10 left now. We had 17, but there's 10 left now. This one's great for jewellery, obviously, because it's a pearl. Um, you can make earrings, you know, if you wanted your angel jewellery. This would be lovely on the bottom of like a Marla type oh, nice. necklace. Yeah. Um, on a long chain. Um, very pretty. <sighs> yeah, so there is you, something yeah, there. you've got that um, celestial feel with the pearl, haven't you? Yeah. Because it's white and you typically associate an angel with, with this white aura or white glow. So yeah. And feathers as yeah, well. Feathers, They've got that yeah. purity to them. Um, I mean, nine ninety nine. That's really, really. Good. That's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Make sure you are checking out everybody because these are all limited. I've only, I only had ten when we brought the graphics live for this one as well. Um, so yeah, they're, 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 it's just a nice idea. I, and we've, we've we've spoken about you know a lot of gifts. But also a gift it can be for yourself too. Oh, yeah. You know, if you feel like you need yeah. that, that Def comfort. Definitely, and it's just something tangible that you can hold, you can have in your car, or even just a private moment. If you, um, I'm sure one of my friends won't mind me saying, but she um, has a an illness where she regularly throughout the day will take herself off to a quiet place and just do a little meditation, a little breathing exercise, and it just helps. Um, so, you know, you could have one of these if, if you're that kind of, and just hold that while you're doing it. As it mm. becomes a ritual, it tends to become more of a habit, which means that you're more likely to do it. Mm. Um, so anything like that, meditation aid, uh, visualization aid, there's so many wonderful things. Yeah, um, you spoke about in the car, you quite often actually see, um, you know, crosses and rosary beads you do, in yeah, cars, you do. don't you? Yeah. So um, you could put one of these maybe from the, um, the mirror, if you've, you know, as long as it's safe to do so. Yeah. Um, I think they're on the verge of selling out. Now, coming up, jewelry makers have got loads and loads and loads still to bring you. You are 15 minutes just under, 15 minutes away from your deal of the day. The finest, the largest, um, right near round pearls that we've ever brought to wear, and they're absolutely breathtaking, oh, huge in their size. Um, but there's only 88, remember, of those. So these are coming up in just under 15 minutes' time. Don't forget, we're launching, and I've just, you might have noticed that I've popped this on. Um, we are launching the first oh, yeah. ingot necklace, 10 grams that you're getting entirety. Oh, do you get the chain as well? You get the chain as oh, well. Oh, that's good. Yeah, um, absolutely beautiful. It was launched, um, well, it, they were big uh, with Cartier, big with Bulgari, big with Corum. Um, so the first time that we're actually launching ours, so it's a big investment of sterling silver. Uh, so this is coming up, Jewelry Makers, and I'll talk you through the meanings behind um, behind the hallmarks as well. And then at 12 o'clock, Debs, we've got a brand ooh, new tool. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Do you want to quickly show us? I Give us a little know. sneaky peek. Oh, no way. Makes a little noise. <laughs> I was showing my microphone. I wasn't pointing at me. You know. So you literally use it like a pen? You use it like a pen. So there's nothing there that actually Kate from upstairs, our, our lovely lady who does our, um, who does our projects, said to me, it's so cool because there's no um, wires. Yeah. So you, you don't have to be like, you know when you're using your pendant drill, and pendant drill's an investment of money, it's attached to a big thing that's next to you, it's up on a high, you know, this, I could go in the living room or in my, you know, wherever, and you can take it, it's so portable and so light as well, so for any dexterity, like I can hold that like a pen, which is why you can do your hand writing, um, yeah, and I'll, I'll show you all the things that you can use this on, because I've been having a blast with I this. I bet. <laughs> and it's, I can't believe what it's going to, they've told me, and it's incredible, and it comes with different different um, 
attachments as well. So you can take this out with a little screwdriver. Yeah, and you there's can literally add like a toolkit. There's a whole load of attachments in there. Um, and also, you can use it for polishing if you don't have a rotary tool. Can you? Yes. And there's a big price difference between this and the Dremel. Oh, crumbs, yes. A massive, massive. price difference. Yeah, you're yeah. talking hundreds of pounds for a Dremel. I'll give it back. You're not talking hundreds of pounds for this. Um, so an amazing, amazing show still to be had, jewellery makers. Um, okay. Shall we do a few strands? Oh, yes. Where's the angel gone there? To go, go, go alongside our lovely angel. Okay, which one would you like me to start with? <gasps> that, ooh. So this is on for sight, Jade. That colour is so unusual. I don't think I've seen that yeah. before. So you can get, we know the colour wheel, don't we? We know that Jade Knight comes in lots of different colours. You can get uh, um, black, as we saw. You can get yellow, you can get red. Um, you can get imperial greens. You can also get black jadeite, which technically isn't black rather. It's actually a very, 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 very dark green. Um, it takes three times longer to achieve. Those, um, you can get gray shades of grays in between. One of the rarest varieties of your darker colors is omphacite jade. If I was to get my phone torch, and I don't have the time to do it right now, but if I was to get my phone torch, you'll be able to see it anyway. Um, and literally shine the light through this, you'll see that wonderful emerald green, hence why it says that in the graphics here. But literally, if I drape it over, I'm hoping the camera screen, um, the camera picks up that dark green. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. Oh, it's gorgeous. Now, we're going to do some speed auctions, but please know that this is one of the rarest colours and also one of the most expensive. Omphacite, as it's referred to, Omphacite jade is not inexpensive. No jade's inexpensive. No natural type A omphacite jade, one of the rarest colours. And we've probably brought you maybe one or two strands over the past, you know, few years. Um, we're already far too low. Just so you know, six six four five is already far too low. Because these are ten mil. That's gorgeous Deb, isn't it? Do you know that's the colour of um of jade that I've not seen before and it it's like that moss, rich green. Yeah. I love that like colour. Like a Rolex green. Yeah, I love that colour. Really deep. Deep and juicy. Yeah, really. Love but it. rare. So, so, so rare. It doesn't surprise me that you've only, you're only seen it for the first time Yeah, today. I haven't seen it before. We're going to do what? Yeah. 30 second clock. Oh, so it's got to close. Okay, we use a red one then. Got to close, stop the clock, stop the clock, stop the clock. That is your price. We cannot go any lower than 129, just so you know. We will take them to the lowest possible price on absolutely everything, jewelry makers. I guarantee that. They're 10 millimeter. And again, the fact that Deb's is like, oh, I've not seen that color before. No, well, off the site, Jade, we've probably done one or two. I think one was a carving. Oh, right, right. One was a carving. And, and we might have had a strand, maybe, but it, it was lovely, but it didn't have this depth of emerald green. I think this is my favourite colour. It's absolutely stunning. Can I just... Um, can you imagine? Can you imagine? Oh, oh, oh. Can you imagine that piece of jewellery? I mean, That would be insane, wouldn't it? That's a first dibs piece. Yeah, isn't it, it is definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Um, well done, everybody. Now, I have a brand new pink uh, Jade Out strand coming your way. But what, sorry? What, what size? Five mil white. Faceted or non faceted? Oh. Yeah. They are faceted. Okay, yeah, got it. That's all good. Mm, Ooh. Yeah, nice. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Again, that with your site would be amazing. Oh, the sp oh, look at those two together. It does look like the snow. It, it's like twinkly. It's very this time of year. I yeah, love, love it. it. And it's if you're thinking, oh, I don't see faceted jade very often. No, because you're cutting carrot weight away from one of the most valuable yeah. gemstones. 
Um, incredibly wasteful, absolutely. And we had to almost kind of train um, our jade uh, master cutters, because that's the only way you can describe mm. them, um, that, no, 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 we like faceting. And they're like, well, you're cutting carrot weight away and one of the most valuable gemstones. Um, but we like it because look what it does. Uh, you know, Aww. and they, you know, they are on the same wavelength now. Look at that beautiful l uh, luster on the surface. So you get the translucency, you get that pure white, imperial white color, um, and you get the luster on the top as well. $49.99, jewelry makers. We know that's way too low. You know, you know post-pandemic, post when we first really started seeing more jade, because obviously our opportunities yeah. uh, um, rose, we never had faceted and we definitely no. didn't see double figure prices. No, we didn't, not at all. This is the perfect strand to go in between a larger round, isn't it? Love it. Oh, keep them. Oh, look at those. Is that's not what I think it is, is it? It is. Is it? That's black jade eye. Is it? Did you think it was spinel? Yeah. Yeah, it's black jade eye. Oh, look it's at it. It's piano black as well, as we like to call yeah. it in the West. So we're talking about the black jade. I, we've just brought you this one. Wait, I can get both of these strands? For less than £100, I can get both of them. Imagine like a yin and yang piece of jewellery. Oh, that would be gorgeous. What a good idea. Oh, needless to say, both or everything that we're bringing you has closed higher. This is closed higher. Then forty nine ninety nine, rightfully so. It would still be an amazing jewelry maker prize, but forty nine ninety nine is ridiculous, isn't it? Yeah, it's amazing. Um, hello, Rupal. Hello, Surrey. Hello to you, Lorna, Morag, Nottinghamshire, Hilma, Anna, in Derbyshire. Morning, everybody. Look at those. Oh, they're lovely together, aren't they? Oh, you just can't. Oh, look at that. <gasps> oh, that's magic right there. Look at that. Oh, I love that. I like that. the fact that you almost can't see the strand, but it still looks amazing. That's not a criticism of the recording, but I still like it. Um, which one, sorry? Ice water type A, what size? Thank you. Oh, eight millimeter. Oh, lovely size. Beautiful. I love these for bracelets. Yeah. You know, for stretchies, I think these are gorgeous. Just put um, spacer bead in between, like, you know, we had that amazing bundle in the yeah. eight o'clock pop one of those spaces in and that'd be lovely wouldn't it that would be stunning it's just something that you could wear with everything couldn't you now if you think that i was being rude and not, not listening to deb's it i was but i was also just a little bit flabbergasted by the fact that hayley just said this strand's 39.99 yeah that's incredible you know it's too low when it's three-way split pay on a 39.99 price tag <laughs> what <laughs> but there is only 15. <coughs> are we doing like a little mini clearance it feels that way. Oh, we're against the clock. Make sure, 39.99 jewelry makers. I've got one more and then we're doing the pink, ja uh, the pink jade strand, brand new pink jade strand. I love the pink one. Oh my goodness me, if that doesn't sell out, then it will, it will sell out. There's tons of you there. <laughs> uh, because you know that's not normal. That's a really good We're price. not normal. <laughs> I'm definitely not normal. <laughs> I don't want to be normal. It's true, isn't it, Lauren? Yeah. Normal's boring. <laughs> did she Did she agree with you very yeah, fast? Yeah, she did, yeah. She was like, no. Oh, yeah. um, oh, this one's beautiful. <laughs> I want this one. It's that gorgeous colour. Oh, this colour. I love this colour. It's is minty. Four. It is minty. It's zesty. It's energetic. Isn't it? It makes Fresh. me feel energetic. I need these wrapped around me. <laughs> Fresh. And yet you really see it, don't you? No, you really you see no. this colour in all walks of life. Yeah, that's very true, actually. Hang on. Even here at thirty, uh, three hundred and sixteen pounds. That's amazing. Let's never lose sight of the fact we are talking about one of the world's rarest gemstones. There's always uh, four thousand minerals exist on this planet. Jadeite is in the top ten rarest. That's incredible. That's mad, isn't it? Yeah. Absolutely mad. And that, by the way, and that is before the mine closed. So what? Uh, who knows what that, how rare it is now. Is it top five? That's amazing for 49.99. Like everything's gone up everywhere. And to think that you could get this for 49.99. I mean, I was looking at 
things like just clothes the other day, you know, when the cheap the seasons change. Yeah. And I was just looking at things like, you know, warmer skirts and boots. And I was like, yeah. And I'm thinking, what? It seems like everything's gone up by about £30. It just, just, yeah, absolutely. It? Everything's expensive now. But, you know, I was watching, um, again, going through social media. And who remembers, I'm showing my age now, um, who remembers, who's of the generation to remember Clark's magic shoes? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you remember yeah, those? Magic, yeah. Magic yeah. shoes you don't remember, Jimmy. So they had a little key in the bottom, <laughs> and they, yeah. they, this advert, and it was like this this girl going to the shoe shop um, at the age of 10. You'll remember this, Hayley. Vaguely. <laughs> she went to a Clark shoe shop, and they were like, oh, she's trying on these shoes and whatnot, and then all of a sudden she goes to this magical world. And I was like, oh, as a girl, I was like, oh, my God, that's what happens. It's amazing. <laughs> I want those shoes. Um, but and, and it had the price tag there, and it's back, back in 1988, and they were £16.99. As a pair of shoes in 1988. I know, imagine we've what they brought, are now. <laughs> yeah, we've got a pair, we've got one of the world's rarest gemstones. Stones. That's such a good price. I love the colour of that one. And me. I'm surprised that hasn't sold out already. But there's a couple of them left. Well done, everybody. Um, pink, pink, pink. What, sorry? The brand new pink, Jade Eye. This is what's referred to, Roland Schlussel refers to as the fancy colours. Oh. The fancy colours, which um, it only achieves the pinks and the lavenders if there is a vanadium content okay. present. And the reason why that's, as, uh, that's rare is because actually uh, Burma is not abundant in vanadium. Oh. So very little actually achieves that colour. Can you see? And I don't expect it to be... Um, don't expect it to be a strong candy floss pink no. um it's a whisper of pink yeah it's it's a pink for people that even don't like pink would yeah. like this because it's not an in your face pink is it no no absolutely it's a very uh, soft and subtle Gentle. blush tone mm. um now it's brand new never been on your screens previously before and um, we are part don't forget this is the last day of our red carpet event so we are going to be bringing you some of the finest and rarest gemstones um Pop on to first dibs. That's a really good exercise, as Debs was just highlighting. Once you've made your confirmations, um, have play, a look at places like first dibs. That's the number one S T D I B S. Look on there and then research pink jadeite. Make sure it's jadeite as well, though, because otherwise you might be comparing something that is um, synthetic or oh, dyed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pop on Mason and K. See what prices they command for any of these colours, but in particular the colours like your pink, because of its natural rarity and its formation. Now, um, also I need to emphasise, and I know our graphics don't say it, it is type, oh it does, yeah, type A grade, so not type B, not type C, not polymer impregnated in any way, shape or form. Shall we launch this at the most amazing yes. VIP price tag? Yes. Already there's collectors getting involved. Nottinghamshire's got two. London, maker, and a new customer. How many do we have, Hayley? Only 41. But actually, only 41. That's, that's, that's a fantastic quantity for pink jadeite. We are launched, shall we do, shall we do ahead of your deal of the day? Oh, shall we do something really naughty? Who, who's game for being naughty? Yep. Me, 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 me. Hayley's got a <laughs> hand up, Jimmy's got a hand up. Chris, you better have your hand up. He's got his hand up. We Lauren, can't see him. Lauren's got a hand up, you, you got your hands up at home. Now we all know this is like, we're gonna have to have this <laughs> conversation amongst ourselves now, but are we gonna assume it's Sunday? The bosses ain't going to be watching, are they? No. We love you if you are. Um, it's Sunday. We're going to do something really naughty on one of the rarest colours of jade. <laughs> Should we do it? Yeah, let's do it. It's going to be on and gone. So I tell you what we're going to do. A minute clock at this price. Because you know that that's naughty. I have brought you topaz. No disrespect for topaz, but topaz is not as rare as jade. No. I have brought you agates. I have brought you yes. certain jaspers. Yes. I have brought you certain varieties of quartzes at that price tag. And that's, you know, that's, they're fantastic, but they're not as rare as jadeite. That is, oh, is it on a three-way split as well? Yeah, because we're going to, like I said, we're being very oh, naughty. How cool is that? 
very naughty. You know we've gone too low if there's a split pay on a thirty nine ninety nine. Um, Look at the split so pay. Thirty pounds. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Oh, look, I didn't see the split pay. <laughs> Nothing to see here. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> oh, look, there's split pay. <laughs> Make sure you're checking out, but it's available for one auction only because we knew that at 39 this would be an on-screen sellout. You get a great deal, so you're happy. We're happy because we can see you all there, and the powers that be will be completely oblivious because, you know, once it's sold out, there's no history. Um, amazing. Denise, Pauline, Maker in Surrey, Neil and Linda, London, Nottinghamshire. Keep on checking out your baskets. There's loads of you in the process of doing that as well. Uh, Pauline, Lizeth, Surrey, Hertfordshire, Helen and Merthyr, Yorkshire, London. I can't keep up Woo! with you. Um, yeah, it's been a jump, isn't there? That's a great bargain, that yeah, is. Yeah, it is. Shh. Okay. Um, don't go anywhere, jewellery makers, because did I mention we have the largest <laughs> near round cultured pearls oh, coming your way as your deal of the day today they're, they're even in the pretty woman box aren't I, they? oh that is the pretty woman box oh look at it oh just i love everything about this i'm story. joining you on this oh my goodness it's beautiful they are absolutely huge in their size and we're going to be bringing them to an unbelievable vip um event deal of the day price tag but first your fabulous creations lovely jewelry makers in the wall of fame Do you know, I'm too busy looking at all your lovely makes and I'm just not paying attention. Just like, oh, who's going first? <laughs> I think by numerical order, is that me or you? That me would or, be. Me or the... I'm 529. That's you. You're oh, first. Oh, that'd be me. Um, I'm going to start off with a beautiful pearl and <gasps> malachite sweet. Look at this. Very nice. And this comes from Jackie Stapleton. Hello to you, Jackie. You're number 528. Good morning, jewelry maker. Uh, my love affair with malachite has doubled with my bullseye large rounds. Ooh. Oh, I have that same love affair, Jackie. Uh, makes quite a heavy suite of jewelry, but I hope someone will fall in love with it. Keep them coming, please. Best wishes, uh, most definitely. Well, funnily enough, Jackie, your deal of the day today is amazing malachite. Oh, I do love a bit of malachite. I've got 529, Myra Eccleston. Myra, look at this oh, beautiful. Wow. Wall of Fame, good morning. This is my entry to the Wall of Fame. I had to show you these breathtaking pearls. I love them so much. I had enough to make two single drops as well, as well. All from Jewelry Maker. Oh, should I go that way? Hold on, look, there you go, that's there better. There we are. <gasps> look at Oh, Myra, they're amazing. Oh, Myra, they look so expensive. That iridescent, beautiful. Done good, good luck. luck. I've got number 530, and this comes from Joanne McCarthy. Hello to you, Joanne. Beautiful. Very similar to your necklace Ooh, today, That's Debs. beautiful. Um, Joanne says, hi, lovely jewellery maker team. My Waffle entry is a long line, rosary linked, pearl necklace, just for me. I've popped in one of my large purple pearls, metallic Ooh. seed pearls, and golden South Sea pearls for a subtle pop of colour. All the beautiful pearls and wire are from Jewelry Maker. Wishing everyone a lovely day. Joanne, I mean, I mean, casual there. Some of the finest pearls that you've just listed. <laughs> casual. Amazing. Good luck to you, your fire. Oh, Joanne, it's beautiful. Look at this. Crumbs. This is like um, pearl a heaven. Yeah, it's like a fine jewelry contest or something. Yeah. Look at all this. Um, 531, Sharon Curtis. I'd like to enter the Wall of Fame. I revived these beautiful pearls the other week. I hope you like the jewelry I've made. The strands of pearls made three pairs of earrings, four necklaces, and one slider bracelet. I used silver chains, earrings, and silver fittings, all from JM. I had some of the fittings for a while and thought they would go well with these pearls. I also used Jade Morse code beads on one necklace and earrings. JM always gives us great ideas. The tools, gems, are good quality and great prices. So thank you, JM, for all your hard work, giving all your customer great deals. I want to wish everyone who's entered the Wall of Fame the best of luck. Oh, oh lovely, that's absolutely Sharon. beautiful. Good luck, Sharon. Beautiful. Look how far one strand can go. I know. Incredible. Um, I have a lovely sterling silver piece, and this is from Neil Jenkins. Neil, you're number 532. Oh, look at that. 
<laughs> oh, amazing. Hello, jewelry maker. This week's entry is a ring I've made using one of the silver hand connectors from jewelry maker. As soon as my daughter saw it, she tried it on, and that's the last I saw of it. <laughs> I know that feeling. Um, oh well, I've got three more. Good luck, everyone in the draw, Neil. That's amazing. You've got you've got the stamp of approval there. From, you have from you the know, children. Yeah, if it disappears, you know you've done something good. <laughs> um, five three three, Sharon Saunders. Here is my entry. A simple make I made a while ago. Oh, I love these. All from JM. Can only watch at the moment as I'm nursing a broken shoulder. Oh, a win gosh. would cheer me up no end, but good luck to my fellow whoppers. Well, I hope you get better oh, really bless soon. You, Sharon. And yeah. that's absolutely beautiful. Good you, luck. You rest up. I've got number 534, and this is a very colourful suite of jewellery from Deb Davis. Hello, Deb. Oh, lovely. Um, and Deb says, Hi, Jewellery Maker Gang. Here with this week's offering to the Wall of Fame multicolour, mother of pearl, wrap bracelet, earring, and necklace set. Bought these from Jewelry Maker in a bundle a while ago. My friend needed a set for holiday and I thought these would go with anything. How true. That's um, and lucky friend. 534 Debs. Beautiful. I've got 535, Jane Dignam. Good morning. My entry this week was oh, wow. inspired by the peacock feather blue Marbe Pearl connector I bought from JM. There we go. This can be worn two ways either a peacock feather or blue tulip. I added natural freshwater purple pearls with a blue hue, natural paraba quartz and natural carnelian. Everything is from JM. Good luck to all the whoppers. That's wow. absolutely and beautiful. If you do love Jane's peacock feather, we do have the last of stock opportunities of that, actually. Oh, really? There it is, right there. We actually have the last stock I love opportunities. That. That's beautiful. Amazing. So, yeah, if you've got your eyes peeled on that. Um, next up, last but by no means least, comes from Barry Harvey. Hello to you, Barry. Beautiful jewellery here. Look at that. It's amazing. And Barry says, hi, guys. I'm currently doing my Florence Nightingale <laughs> impression as I'm looking after my wife who has just had extensive surgery Aww. on one of her knees. Well, sending lots of healing love, Barry. I bought the uh, Fossil Jasper and Nephrite from you as I wanted to do something special to cheer her oh, up. Oh, how lovely. When it arrived, I went through my stash and found the blue gold stone and seed beads, also from you, and made a right angle weave chain for the pendant. She was so overjoyed with the results, so I know I've done a good job. Love and magic to all at Jewelry Maker, Maker and my fellow waffers. Oh, oh, how thoughtful, that is Barry. really lovely, Barry. And sending lots of love to your wife. Hope she feels yeah. better soon. You're number 536 now make sure you do enter into the wall of fame it's not done on merit remember if it's the first piece of jewelry that you've made or you are fully accomplished like our lovely Debs um, then we still <laughs> definitely want to see your creations it's very simple to do all you do is drop us a photograph of your creation the only stipulation is that they are jewelry maker products you've got to be in it to win it as they say um, email jewelry maker at Sorry, studio at jewelrymaker.com. The winner, Debs, what does the winner receive? A hundred pounds. I know, credit to their jewelry maker account. What about the runner up, Debs? 50 pounds. Yes. So generous. I know, and we've done that since day one. Yeah. So um, make sure you do enter jewelry makers. Now, coming up, and we've had a little bit of it during uh, our Wall of Fame. One of my absolute favourite gemstones, we've got the beauty that is Malachi, but not just any Malachi, Bullseye Malachi, as your deal of the day. So that's coming up after this. Do you have a stunning piece of jewellery you've crafted? Share your masterpiece with us and you might just see your design featured on the Wall of Fame. Every week, the most dazzling entry will win £100 credit to their account, with £50 credit going to the runner-up. To enter, simply send your entries to studio at jewellerymaker.com by Tuesday at 12pm in time for the Wednesday draw. Snap a pic, send it in, and let your brilliance light up our Wall of Fame. And who knows? Your creation could be the next to sparkle and win. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. 
If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. such a special deal of the day and it's been a special weekend hasn't it super special and to round it all off we know that the deal of the day is the biggest auction of the day I think I said it earlier on if there's one item that you treat yourself to this morning I think it's going to be the deal of the day because a the deal is unbelievable but most importantly they are exemplary the quality is absolutely exemplary now um, I must never assume that everyone knows you know, what, what, what is it exactly that differentiates bet between, say, a pearl necklace that you might find in, and this is no disrespect to said jewellers, but say, a pearl necklace that you find in Ernest Jones. What differentiates between that and a pearl necklace that you, set, you find in, say, Van Cleef and Arpels, or Cartier, or, or Yoko of London? Um, it's all down to the actual quality. So for example, and I've said this many times before, but I, could, I can buy a diamond for £10. It won't look as, as good as a diamond that's £1,000, or £2,000, or £3,000. It's the quality of said gem. Um, um, pearls in particular, they have very different grading factors to that of, um, say, a diamond, a sapphire, or a pearl. So we talk about the four C's with those, but um, we talk about quality factors or virtues, as they're so uh, frequently referred to as. And I've, I've referenced them many times, but it's so important that, say you were, and it doesn't have to be with m myself, you know, say you were looking um, at, I don't know, maybe you found an antique an antique dealer and they had a pearl necklace for example or a pearl pair of earrings whatever it might be and you're looking at it uh, and you're thinking okay that's lovely I like it so originally the overall beauty has drawn your attention but what is it that I should be looking for for its overall value and pearls at the moment I mean they've always been that constant haven't they in the jewelry industry um, pearls really have never fallen out of favor and gems do sort of peak and trough for example there was a period when emeralds weren't necessarily very desirable there was a period certainly when um, people had uh, um, fell out of love with opals now opals are at their peak again with younger generations loving them pearls have always been at that the height of desirability um, also they were the most expensive gemstone um, in the world back before Miki Moto developed the whole culturing process um, we used to have to free dive for pearls so and that was before obviously you had diving apparatus and things like that so you used to literally free dive to the bottom of the ocean I mean that in itself seems terrifying to me search around then for hopefully an oyster um, go back up to the surface open said oyster is there a pearl in there chances are highly highly unlikely so they were you know considered almost invaluable. In fact, it's quite, we've told you this story before, um, the most expensive building that's ever, um, piece of real estate effectively in the world is in Place Vendôme in Paris, was purchased by Cartier with a pearl. Really? With a pearl, yeah. They bought that real estate with a single pearl. So, um, but like I said, fast forward, we have new technologies. It was developed in the early 1900s by Miki Moto, um, a technique in which meant that we can almost replicate what Mother Nature does. So a cultured pearl is a genuine pearl because I think sometimes people get confused. I can't sit here and just say, oh, this is a natural pearl, because that would basically mean that we've free dived for each and every single one of these pearls. Um, this is a natural cultured pearl. So they're in effect, farmed but that's not a guarantee it's not a guarantee and it's also hugely complex um, I, I think it was a, uh, a few weeks ago before I went on holiday we spoke about the various different factors that can impact a harvest 
Um, so it takes a lot of time, a lot of investment, and these will be, because of the scale of these pearls, they will be one pearl per oyster. That's, you know, you can go to some freshwater farms and they'll have, they'll have 20 or so actually in an oyster. These, because of the size, will be one pearl per oyster. So firstly, you have to invest approximately about two years in nurturing the nurseries to uh, uh, mature said oysters or whatever mollusk it is that's actually going to be harvesting these pearls. So they have to mature them to a size where they are able to start that culturing process. So you've got a two year investment straight away without even doing anything. Then you have the amazing skill um, and only a few people can actually do this, um, it's incredibly delicate, of starting the process where they will insert um, a nucleus bead. Now, a nucleus bead is almost replicating the grain of sand that would happen um, naturally um, into the oyster that be acts as an irritant. And instead of they try and reject it but you don't want that oyster to reject it you want that oyster to actually do something that they do naturally and they'll secrete what we call a precious material called nacre now that nacre over a period of time will coat and coat and coat and coat the nucleus bead um, to produce hopefully your pearl now we can do that and um, the reason why sizes like this are as expensive as they usually are is because you can't just go, okay, so you see that oyster there, that's definitely got a pearl in it, that one. You don't know, you don't know until the very end. So it's almost a little gamble if you like. But also the longer the time goes on, the more likely you are to actually lose that oyster. So, and ultimately lose the pearl. So there's a greater risk, if you like, in culturing or aiming to culture the larger sizes itself. And then say, for example, okay, you've come to another, so you've done another two or three years on top of the two years of where you've been um, matured your oysters. Um, you've done another, so another two years, let's say approximately. So it does, it does depend on where, but let's say three, four years, time has been invested in one oyster. Um, or your harvest of oysters, and it comes to actually harvesting them. It's not a guarantee that there is a pearl inside. And what absolutely categorically is not a guarantee is that they will all be of this quality. So you could have thousands of pearls before you. Are they all going to be spherical, which is always the aim? The spherical pearl is the most expensive pearl variety in the world. Are they all going to have that same color? Are they all going to have that same smooth, na smooth nacre surface? Are they all going to have the most important um, of the quality factors, that same mirror-like luster? So it can take, and this is not an overstatement, it can take years to be able to acquire enough pearls, especially remember that higher risk size when they are as large as these. I want to um, go to the GIA. Now, the GIA, Gemological Institute of America, is the largest institution in the industry. Um, and, you know, what they will tell you is everything that you need to know when determining the value or the desirability of your pearls. So, um, so these aren't my words, this is the GIA. And they talk about pearl quality factors. Straight away, look at that image. Your pearls are much bigger much, much, much bigger. Um, and we, as I mentioned at the beginning of the show, I think this is our greatest strength. We bring you amazing jades. Um, in terms of our gemstone buying, our greatest strengths are designers, obviously, but um, in terms of our gemstone buying, pearls most definitely, I think, are take the number one because of the quality that we bring you. Um, so they say pearl quality factors. See those three that you can see at the bottom there, the white pearls? Imagine a strand of those. That's basically what I see before me, a strand of those three. Um, okay, so we'll go through these together. And it says the qualities that determine the overall value of a natural or cultured pearl or a piece of pearl jewelry are size, shape, color, luster, surface quality, nacre quality, and for, this is important too, oh, oh, that's all right, for jewelry with two or more pearls matching. Matching is as important as all the other factors. 
Number one, size. When other factors are equal, larger pearls are rarer and more valuable than smaller pearls of the same type. I think that's fairly obvious, mm. isn't it? Mm. For example, if you were to look at a one carat diamond cluster, and you were to look at a one carat diamond solitaire, the one carat diamond solitaire is significantly more expensive because it's rarer in that size. Then we start talking about the shape. Shape, and again, we've covered, we've, we've covered the size already. These are huge. Shape, round is the most difficult shape to culture, making it the rarest cultured pearl shape and, if all other factors are equal, also generally the most valuable. There are exceptions though. A well-formed pear, oval or baroque, irregularly shaped pearls. Culture pearls are also prized by pearl lovers. Now look at that photograph. I'm not looking at the luster. I'm not looking at the color. I'm not even talking about the size right now. I'm talking about the shape. The most expensive is obviously the top because they are the perfect round shape. And you think about how pearls actually are harvested. They usually are suspended and every single pearl harvested, they're turned, they, they orientate these oysters and they turn them so that they can feed and filter. They'll chip the barnacles off the exterior of the actual uh, mollusk or oyster itself so they can continue to filter the water and feed. But they also turn it so that they can hopefully achieve the perfect spherical shape. You don't know. You're doing it blind in effect, aren't you? But you're actually orientating it. And bear in mind the movement of the water as well is going to affect where the laker is positioned. So that's why round pearls fetch the highest price tag to achieve that spherical shape. Read it on. Colour. Now, natural and cultured pearls occur in a broad range of hue. There are warm hues like yellow, orange and pinks and cool hues like blues, green and violets. Pearls of a wide range of tone from light to dark. Pearl colours tend to be muted with a soft, subtle colour. And it may, takes, it's no surprise to me that the GIA choose a white. They're talking about colour. So they could talk about, you know, they could show the Tahitian pearls, couldn't they? Mm. Um, but they chose the white. And that's because you might be thinking that a white pearl doesn't have any color, but it does. Because if we flick forward, a white pearl will have overtones and undertones. So pearl colors uh, have three components. A body color, which in this case is obviously white. Um, it's the pearl's dominant overall color. They have an overtone, which is one or more translucent colors that lie over the pearl's body color. So for example, the one on the left is a, has a green overtone. The one in the middle has got a purple overtone. And the one on the uh, right is more of a silver. Um, and Orient is a shimmer of iridescent rainbow colors on or just below the pearl's surface. Um, all pearls display a body colour, but only some will show an overtone and an orient, or both. The law of supply and de demand de determines the value of certain pearl colours at any given time. At the moment, every single colour of pearl is desirable. There's not one where there was a period where it was all Tahitian, Tahitian, mm. Tahitian, Tahitian. Every pearl color is as popular as the other. If supplies of high quality pearls display a preferred color are low, their price can rise to unusually high levels. Other complex factors like fashion trends and cultural traditions can influence color preference. Now more so than ever, in my entire 26 jewelry career, I have never seen pearls as in demand as they are no. right now. Would no. you agree I with that? I would absolutely agree with that. Yeah, I second that. Every jeweler. We even saw, I think it was Mark that said, and he lives um, down in Oxfordshire. He walked past a jeweler not too far away from him, and it's quite an, you know, an expensive jewelry shop. And they actually advertised in their window the fact that there were no pearls available because of the supply issues. That's the first time I've ever actually heard that being documented, mm. but we need to get used to that. Now, if the demand's higher than the supply, well, what is available in the market, as we are seeing, they, well, well the, the sellers can charge whatever price they want. 
whatever price they want. There is a recording that we've showed you before, and it was Dave at Hong Kong um, this year, beginning of this year, I think it was around about February, March time. And he is talking to a freshwater cultured pearl supplier, not salt water. He's talking to a lady and um, he's in particular eyeing up one size of large freshwater culture pearls, almost exactly the same as this. I, um, Chris is gonna see if he can actually find that. But it was thousands, yeah. I'm sure it was 18,000 yeah, pounds. Thousands. Wholesale. That's what happens when the supply is down, but the demand is up. At Hong Kong. I want to get to the last and most important of your quality factors, luster. Of the seven pearl, qual, uh, pearl value factors, luster might be the most important. Luster is what gives a natural or cultured pearl its unique beauty. Excellent means reflections appear bright and sharp. Very good means reflections appear bright and near sharp. Good reflections are bright but not sharp and slightly hazy around the edges. Fair is where reflections are weak and blurred. Poor. Reflections are dim and diffused. With a pearl type, when other value factors are equal, the higher the luster, the more valuable the pearls. These are mirror-like jewellery makers. Mirror-like. So let's just quickly go through those quality factors. And also I wanna to go to, to Hong Kong. Um, and I, it's, I really, if you can, listen intently, particularly when Dave picks up the large white pearls. Um, so let's go through those quality factors. Size, these are the biggest that we've ever had. Mil anything over 10 millimeter. Remember Charlie Barron's word some years ago. Um, anything over 10 millimeter is like the equivalent of a three carat diamond. A three carat diamond. Then we start talking about shape. Well, we've already discussed the GIA mentioned that the round pearl is the most expensive. Then we start talking about color. You've got overtones, you've got undertones, you've got the classic traditional pure white. Nacre and luster are very much connected. You have mirror-like luster but the price of pearls has never been as expensive as it is right now. And we can tell you that from first-hand experience when we were at the Hong Kong Fair this year. Just take, it's only a couple of minutes long, but take a moment to watch this VT. Um, needless to say, we walked away with none yeah. at 18,000 pounds wholesale. That means you're gonna be paying, we charge minimal. In your average jeweler, 18,000 pounds times three or four plus VAT. That's the price that that strand's gonna end up being. Take a little look at this and also note how similar it is to your deal of the day. This is it. With my teller. And what kind of price for this? Uh, which one? This one. This one? This one. This one. One thousand dollars. Okay. Yeah. And what, what size is it? Eleven to four. Eleven to. Fourteen, 14 mil. Yeah, yeah. 11 to and how much for these? Uh, uh, everyone different. Okay. Yeah. Everyone different. Yeah. Like like this one. Mm -hmm. Shining. And this one. Okay. I like uh, this one here. Price. Uh -huh. This one. What color is this? This is pinkish with metallic. Metallic with yeah, a metallic pinkish, pinkish, yeah. Pinkish. Okay. Pinkish. Hard, very rare. Very rare. Yeah. The the the, the color very rare. You cannot get. And the bigger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Big size. Big size. And pearls gone very expensive now, <laughs> in the market because of Nini and Yang Ni. <laughs> The social media? Social media, yeah, 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 very. US dollars? US. So for this strand, 18,000 US dollars. 18, and can you get how many? Um, maybe many years can get one. Yeah. Oh, five? Very. No, 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 I only, this color, only one, this size. Right. Yeah. Maybe a little smaller, smaller, but a smaller, not metallic like this. 
Okay. Yeah. And, and if if smaller, uh -huh. okay. So, uh, uh, can you get more of this color? Yeah, this color can no two maybe two. Two. Yeah. Similar. So similar so color. yeah yeah. Yeah. And what price if I buy these two? Uh, if you this one. These are smaller, right? Yeah, this smaller, this quality. Five thousand five hundred dollars yeah. US. This quality. This all belong to top. Yeah. Yeah. This is what I'm interested in. Yeah. This one. Also special white top color, top quality, like South Sea. Oh yeah. Yeah. Is this more affordable? More affordable. Is this lower? No. This top, all top, lower is over there. So for the top white. Yeah, top white. And what kind of what? Okay, so how many do you have? This one. Yeah. Yeah. This law is seven. Seven. Uh, seven. If I buy all seven, uh -huh. how much? If you buy a natural seven, color, right? Natural color. Yeah. Natural color. All natural color. We all natural color. Just the golden and the black. We dye. This all natural. Six thousand two hundred. Okay. Now, can you put clasps on and everything? Manufacture with. We can we can clasp? If you have clasp, so we made it long. It's no problem. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. So simple maths. That cluster of seven that she held up. Retail would be round about twenty four thousand pounds. <sighs> You might be thinking that, that, that right now, oh, don't be ridiculous, Al. Well, that's, that's literally wholesale at Hong Kong where the bulk of the jewellery world will get their pearls from. Those are the prices of pearls right now. So that's why when we introduced this and I said, what's the difference? What's the difference between those pearls that I see in, say, Beaverbrooks or Ernest Jones for maybe a hundred pounds? The difference is the quality and they are worlds apart. What you are looking at right now, and I really wanted to emphasize this, jewelry makers, is we are bringing you creme de la creme of pearls here. The kind of pearls that you could find in Place Vendôme. The kind of pearls that you could find in Bond Street. The kind of pearls that you see for five figures. Mm. We have 88 available opportunities they are the largest that we've ever had and i'll say it again jewelry makers this is what jewelry maker does and does best in our 14 years of this particular pearls have we've had what eight eight in different skews wow It comes literally presented like so. I'll say it again just quickly. This is why we need 18 karat gold. I'm sorry, but we really do. Never mind that we don't have it. You can get one of those. You can get one imported from Italy you know, because that's what they're worthy of, Debs. Do you agree? Oh, they're absolutely. Our pearls are incredible. Insane. They Insane. are incredible. And, you know, if you saw that in a boutique jeweler's, mm. it would be thousands and thousands 100%. of percent. Go back to, like, like, 26 years ago, I worked in, 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 a, in, a, in an expensive jeweler's. Mm. You know, it had, funny enough, carpet this colour. It had, <laughs> it, it, it had um, Cartier in one corner. You had your Bulgaris. You had your Piaget jewellery there as well. And we used to have quite um, very wealthy collectors who used to come in on a regular basis. Um, and, and, and part of my responsibility was actually looking after the pearls. I'm going back 26 years mm. now, mind. 26 years ago, pearls like this, they would have had 18 karat gold clasps. Yeah. Uh, they used to do quite a lot of the uh, um, clasps which had little indented melee diamonds all the way around. And they were five figures mm. 26 years ago. Mm. What do we think they would be now? You know, that's the thing, 26 years ago. So whenever, do you know, it's, it's, it's like I've told my husband these things, he knows, obviously, and, and, and I've, I've mentioned to him, I was like, oh my gosh, today, I said, we've got the, the most amazing, incredible pills. 
for my husband to get on board with my purchases of gemstones um, is saying something. But he's like, buy them then, buy them, mm. buy them. And, and it sounds quite almost vulgar to say, oh, I could buy them and sell them on straight away and make profit. Um, but I could, that's the reality of it. I'm not going to, these are gonna be pieces that maybe, I don't know, if I wanna raise some, some funds, maybe in, um, in five years time, 10 years time, maybe I will, I doubt it. I will probably wanna part with them. Now, all those things considered, and, and we're not gonna be at the five figures that we should expect. I, I say it because we should expect it. Next time you're in London, Next time you're in Milan or wherever it is and you see a really expensive jewellers and they've got some amazing pills, see what price they are. Because I guarantee they're not going to be anywhere near, anywhere near jewellery maker prices. Already collectors waiting all around the world as well. You might think I'm exaggerating, and I'll hold it up to the neckline, uh, I'll put it on the bus because I'm wearing a necklace, but you might think I'm exaggerating with this jewelry makers, but 1,649 pounds is a steal. Yeah. It's an absolute steal. Yeah. You could get, I don't know, six mil freshwater potato pearls for that price. Yeah. Not 14 millimeter, not of this scale. Sorry, I have to take that necklace off for this. It's already an amazing price point, even if we were stopping right there. They graduated, that's, if you're wondering between, oh, right, the 11 to 11, that's because they are perfectly graduated. Look oh, at that. Oh, I, oh my goodness, they're stunning. I'm sorry, I need these. Oh my goodness, Al, what the About 14 oh. mil. Oh, they're beautiful. Should we? Are they, a, they are alive. They've got like a personal, oh, I can't get over those. I think they're the no. nicest I've ever, ever seen. I think so as well. Do you I, agree? I totally agree with you. I totally agree oh, with you. Oh, they're beautiful. We have 88 of these available. Now, um, jewellery maker, Anna, well done, getting to Hazel, Gigi, London, another London, hello to you, Atia, Dorset, Sheila, Peter and Sharon, Hertfordshire, Maker, Marie, Mary and London, you're all there waiting. Debs, I know that you are a pearl lover, we, we were both, we're both fanatical about pearls. Yeah, in yeah. fact, I, I, I never thought, I never foresaw this, you know, when I was in the jewellers way back when, I would never have said pearls were my favourite gemstone, back then. No. Now I do. Oh, me too. Hundred percent. I love everything <sighs> about. I mean, I've seen a lot of pearls. Yet. I don't know what it is about those. They're all. They are. It's the energy, isn't it's it? It's the energy. It's They're the ethereal. They're it's the luster. Gorgeous. Going back to what we were discussing, you can have the biggest pearl. You can have the most perfectly uh, spherical pearl. You can have the the perfect color. But if it doesn't have that luster, then it's just meh. These are magical. They are, aren't they? Do, 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 that's the difference. And I never really fully understood that until Jewelry Maker really started rolling their sleeves up with pearls. Mm. I never fully understood why important, why luster was as, as important as it is until you start going, oh wait, now I can see. Yeah. I can literally see. Yeah. It's like, it's like you can have the biggest diamond with the best color and with the best clarity, but if it's cut poorly, then it's just meh. What? When did we go under a thousand? Hey Lee. You're one of us today, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just so you know, I quite frequently shop on air. Yeah, quite frequently. Today is going to be one of those days. No, I need you to just pass my phone. <laughs> Thanks, darling. 
because there are opportunities where I, I, we see pearls on a regular basis, don't we? But there is something so magical about these, as you said, Debs. And it's so weird because I got my pearls out yesterday. I had a look, I've got a real collection of pearls and I just got, because I wanted to knot some, I think I'm gonna wear some of these. And I had a really good look and I've got the um, birthday pearls, you know, the huge. So I've got something to compare it to because I was looking at them yesterday, not because of anything, because I just like to get them out and have a look, you know. These, I can't put my finger on it, I can't tell you why, but that picture up at the neckline there. It's not just the size, is it? It's the quality of the pearl. I don't know what it is. It just, they speak to me. You look like a princess with those around your neck. They're Ugh. just stunning. And, and I would encourage, I'll say this now, I know it costs money and I quite often, people sometimes grumble at me for saying this, but it is important. Why do you get your, your pieces of jewellery valued? You get your pieces of jewellery valued to put on your insurance. And that is not just an ego thing. It's great to hear that they're valued at X, Y, Z. But heaven forbid if these were stolen. Heaven forbid. You are not going to be replacing them anywhere near that price tag. Anywhere near. We are not stopping there. In fact, I will tell you, jewellery makers, we are closing way lower than the price that's on your screens. But please know... Anybody that's new to our channel, watching for the first time, please know that is no reflection of the true value. If you were in Place Vendôme, if you were in London, if you were in Harrods, the finest establishments with the finest jewellery, the finest pearls, you are not seeing them at anywhere near, well, I'm going to say it, the first price crash, £1,650, that's, that's insane. 499 is madness. We have 88 of these available in the world. And by the way, with all the challenges of pearl supplies and the demand for pearls, it's not something we can just get. Oh, can we have some more, please? You saw that lady in Hong Kong. That's why I wanted to show you that VT. She held up seven strands. That was it. And then do you, do you notice she actually said, oh, Dave was like, oh, more affordable. He was like, no, more affordable are down that end. Look at her there. She ain't let those far from her, from her grasp. Was she? Give them back, please. You want the more <laughs> affordable one, Dave, Dave? They're down that end. This is top grade. She said, like South Sea. These are top grade. And they're not £7,000 or whatever number she said. Claire, Lanarkshire, Sally, London's got two. Anna's got two. I'm very envious right now. Hazel, Gigi, um, Atia in London. The phone lines, the web have lit up. I've got collectors with multiples in their basket. They come presented like so. If this was not a deal of the day, if I had 10, oh gosh, they'd have sold out. Yeah, absolutely, in a half. And by the way, your average luxury jewelers will have one. True. I'm so I'm I'm literally stopping myself getting up out of my chair because I'm kicking myself for not having my phone next to me right now. I tell you what we'll do, jewelry makers. We're going to make it fair for everyone. We are going lower. A quarter of the stock has gone. In thirty seconds, we are going to drop that price. The only thing that's stopping you right now, jewelry makers. Picking up the, if you love what's on your screen, you'll never get a better price for the best quality pills than what's, what's happening today. I, I will say that, hand on heart, you will, if you love these and you're thinking, oh, maybe they'll do them again and they'll do them at a better price. No, today is going to be the best price that you will ever see pills like this. And I'm fairly confident making that comparison globally. I only have 88 or had. For the biggest pearls, the biggest, most beautiful, perfect rounds. Did you ever imagine being able to be the custodian <laughs> of pearls of this grade? I, every time we bring a strand and I think oh, that's the best one I've ever seen and then somehow we bring a, another one. This is, this is stuff the dreams of it. This is the sort of, you know, I, I know I bang on about making jewelry that you can't afford to buy. 
but I can't afford eighteen thousand pounds for a oh, strand goodness, of pearls. No, normally. You know, um, three nine nine on a five way split pay. I, I don't even think I need to say anything because our audience are really clued up. They just have to look at that. Yeah. They know. They know. Look, it's gone crazy. Oh, it's they gone know. crazy. It's all down to now. Right now, what you need to be thinking about is whether you whether you secure yours in time because they will. I told you. <laughs> I told you. I'm not missing out on an opportunity like no, this. No, 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 no. You know, um, they will sell out now for certain. Half the stock, did you say? Half the stock has gone. Um, there's loads of you with it in your baskets, jewelry makers, myself absolutely included. There you go. I've just got to make sure that the Wi-Fi works and I can check out in time. Um, um, excuse me, Eleanor in Worcestershire. Can yeah, you check out, please? I'm going <laughs> to. Don't you worry about that. I am doing exactly that right now. Oh, they are breathtakingly beautiful. And let's be honest, we're lucky. As a jewelry maker family, and I'm not just talking about us here in the studio, I'm talking about us as a family, lots of us have got pearls haven't we we've got pearls oh, yeah. Debs haven't we oh yeah but there's you're right there's just something so special about these so 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 special the graduation is perfect like you've got this large pearl in the center and then it's just graduated up from that one large pearl sometimes you'll see three of the same size in the middle which I love but I don't know, it's just like, I love everything about this strand. I love this, the way that they're, I mean, it blows my mind how many oysters and how long one just pearl, one pearl, yep. strand would have taken to it, match. Years. It will take years to acquire enough pearls to make your pearl necklace. Isn't that amazing? Multiple harvests. Half the stock has gone. But I can see, okay. Okay, okay, okay. We will. We'll, let's be. Let's be really frank and honest. Well, we're always honest. There are loads of people with this in their basket. Loads. I don't know if Jimmy, you can show everybody. I'm still on that side, and I'm. Waiting for, I've got the wheel of doom. <laughs> the wheel of doom buffering. And I get there will be a high demand for these right now, so that's why my phone's right there because it's still not, it's still not got the confirmation. We have lots of you with it still in your basket. I need to emphasize we, this is no, there I am, I am buffering, I promise you. I've got 88, I, I can only afford one. <laughs> I've just come back of holidays. But I've got one, um, hopefully. Jewelry makers, this tells me that we're not at your price, but we should be. Let's be honest, we've, we're devaluing it effectively at 399 But even if this was £3,990, Debs, that's an amazing price. I mean, didn't one of our viewers take some pearls in to a jewellers and they offered her two and a half grand for them? Yeah. Can you imagine what they'd offer you for these? Oh, gosh. Yeah. He's starting to it's, panic now. Is it still buffering? It's still buffering, Debs. <laughs> Can someone just go and run outside with my phone? Do you want me to go and knock on the call centre? <laughs> call centre! <laughs> Let's do it. But if we do do it, know that it was never planned. We, there might be repercussions from, on our part, on our part, because we're taking it lower than we should have done. Please get them valued. Please get them insured. Yeah. Forget the price that you purchased yours for today, because that's no reflection of the true value of them. Oh, not at all. Good luck to each and every single... Look! Oh, that's so frustrating. £349. Good luck, everybody. Are you having the same issue I am? <laughs> oh, you've just taken £50 off, so... Oh, my goodness me. 
You've got your five-way split pay there. Let me just check I'm on the Wi-Fi. Um, you've got your five-way split pay there, jewelry makers as well. So again, make sure you, um, if you want to use that, sixty-nine pounds and eighty pence only. <laughs> Do you want me to go and run outside into the car park? Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Um, you've done it, Patricia. You've done it, Surrey. You've done it, London. You've done it, Bristol. You've done it, Melanie. You've done it, Cheshire. Lorraine, you've got two. Cumbria, you've got two. Valerie, you've got two. Uh, Millie B, well done. Janet, Wiltshire, Lorna, Lanarkshire getting two. Diana, um, Atia, you've got yours as well. <laughs> it's still spinning. Um, I've got people still dialing through as well. Jimmy, please. Um, Michelle, you're there. Kathy, you're there. Jimmy's off. He's going running with my phone. I'm, I am desperate for these, though. No, I mean... £69 on split pay. Th that is absolutely incredible. They're the most beautiful pearls I've ever seen. Yeah, that's a really good point, actually, that you could you could sell that centre one for more than 349 That one pearl. Like we saw one on a PowerPoint for five hundred pounds, didn't we? And it was just one pearl. one pearl. It wasn't as big as this either. Yeah. No. Again, perspective here. We've got in in the abyss of our PowerPoints, we've got loads, <laughs> by the way. Um, but we've got that photograph that Ross took of a jeweller's in Stratford, about twenty miles away from us, um, and. For a pair of pearl stud earrings, white pearl stud earrings, around about nine millimeter, they were about four hundred pounds. Yeah. For a pair of pearl stud earrings. Yeah. They weren't big, were they, in the photograph? No. They were big ones. Toby was saying um, that he's he actually ha was breaking up pearl strands because he could make more money from one than he... Yeah. Yeah. Well, also, not how many people can can actually afford twenty six thousand pounds that this would actually be in a retail shop? Yeah, that's true. You know, how many people can afford that? What am I going to do with it? I'm one hundred percent knotting it like that, yes. and I'm going to get an eighteen karat gold class. Yes, and I will literally that that will not I will not part with that. I'm not selling it. That's going to be something that I can pass on to my girls. Um, you know, when I'm gone, who will be knotting it? Uh, me. <laughs> I don't mind. I love ooh, working with these gorgeous oh, things. Oh, Debs, <laughs> they feel bad now. I was going to sweet talk you. No, you don't need take to. Take you out for tea and cake. You don't have to take me out for she anything. Knew, I'll knew. be very happy to she do knew. it. Um, <laughs> how are we doing on stock quantities now, jewellery makers? Mm. We have got the final third. You might also have be having the same issue that I am. There's 22 left, <gasps> but there's how many? 32 of you that are um, waiting on the web, waiting on the phone or on the app. Tell me it's worked, Jimmy. It's still buffering. It's still buffering. Oh, I wonder if there's a problem. I went outside. <laughs> Text in, am I, am I the only one having issues? No, it's all right, he tried, bless you. Redo it. You might have to go back and go again. Shall I shut down the app? Should we do that? Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Close down the app. If all else fails, close down. <laughs> yeah, I've got. Yeah, re I think I <laughs> reload it because that. People might be having um, problems as well. Reload, reboot, and let me see if this works. What I'm going to do, jury makers. Check out, and I'll, I'll I will revisit the quantity that is available. Processing, massive heartfelt congratulations to every single, every single one of you that is successful. You can still currently do it. Um, I did not know we were going anywhere near that low, and I'd made the decision at the previous price. So, um, unbelievable. Well done. Is it done yet? Yay! Woo! Woo Yay! <sighs> yeah, do you want to see it? Here we go. Thank you. Yay! Oh, am I on there? I should be. 
Anyway, we're closing the auction and I will recap at a later stage how many of these are available. I am on there. I've got the confirmation. Confirmation, including your order, will be sent to your email address. There you Yay. go. Yay! They are insane, jewelry makers, They're aren't beautiful. they? beautiful. Absolutely insane. Now, we have some bullseye malachite to bring you. It is going to be um, quite fast and pacey because they are all extremely, uh, extremely limited. They're all on pre-order right now, jewellery makers. Um, so I'm going to start with, is that that one? No, where is it? Um, okay, uh, the bracelet or the bangle? The bangle. Um, I bought this. Do you ever think you've got a problem? I bought this bangle or I love that bangle. I didn't even know we did a malachite bangle. I looked at that when I walked in this morning. Stunning, isn't it? That is so beautiful. But it's but it's bullseye malachite oh. as well. Not all malachite has these bullseye. It's the circle of because um, malachite forms in stalagmites and stalactites. Mm -hmm. So a bit like the circles of a tree. Um, it's more valuable if you actually have so sort of the eye of the circle. Oh really? Yeah, it's a copper. Um, it's a really copper rich and um, huge at the moment. Malachite is so popular um, with all the biggest jewellery designers um, working with it. Obvious ones being Van Cleef, um, Chopard, mm -hmm. Piaget, where you get one little six millimetre Malachite on an 18 karat gold chain for two grand. Really? Um, you're getting a solid carved Malachite bangle, but these are all extremely limited. Um, they're going to be quite fast and pacey because they're very, very, very limited. So to put it into perspective, um, bullseye is like quad A to a tanzanite. Yeah, there it is. One single malachite pendant, two thousand pounds. Good grief! You, uh, two grand. Wow! And this is all natural. Oh, I love that. We're going to do the pendant first. Wear this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this one. It's massive. Have you seen it, though? It's like an orb. So limited. Oh, where's my tweezers gone? Super, super limited. Oh, there it is. Um, so you get, what, a small... I don't know it's six mil, but it doesn't look that big, does it? With this one, look at the size of that. Goodness me. It's a whopper, isn't it, Debs? That's much bigger than that one in the... Oh, that's stunning. Wow. It's a whopper of malachite. I love that. Two centimetres, and it's Congolese, which is creme de la creme. You can get malachite from different locations around the world. Congolese is, is regarded as the best. I'd put that on a nice long line chain, so I think. So would I. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh, this is the largest size that we have in a round. That's a great price, $99.99, isn't it? Uh, Chris is just saying, look at the size of it on the camera one. Oh, I love that. Came in like a wrecking ball. <laughs> <laughs> what? Sorry, I've just looked up. $29.99. Ah, oh, Debs. You want to hold on to that now? Now they are limited, so you will need to be quick. Oh, I love that. Oh, it's I really gorgeous, do. isn't it? And really tactile as well. Yeah. Malachite's considered protective too. Mm. Um, I was watching Gladiator, the film, the other day, and it's uh, um, the Romans believed that the afterlife, the beauty of the afterlife, was like fields of malachite. Oh, I lovely. Like, I can get on board with that. Yeah, me too. Definitely get on board with that. Um, nine of you on the phone lines, and I've got three left. So um, we'll move on, leave that to you. Well done, well done, well done. Let's do the bangle. It does come. Oh, the bracelet. Just malachite myself up. Look at those two together. That looks absolutely gorgeous. Ooh. Look at those. Bullseye, bullseye, That's bullseye. Stunning. Every single one. Off peacock's eye, they're referred to. It's actually um, um, 
It was the jewellery editor that wrote about it. The, it they say the rare uh, concentrically banded malachite known as peacock's eye um, is more valuable than the linearly banded. Ah. So um, so this, where you've got those purful, perfect, almost like, you know, if you were to drop a pebble in, in still water and you get that ripple effect. Mm -hmm. um, so that beautiful ripple effect. Um, 1,499, I mean, it, that's unbelievable. The quality. This is premium quality Malachi. How many do we have of the stretchy bracelets? Five. Chris, do you like this? Do you? He says he'd wear this. Yeah, it's lovely. Yeah. Would you wear this, Jimmy? It's very cool, Malachi. Yeah. It's a very cool gemstone. Yeah, very cool. There's four. Literally in heaven right now. Pearls of Malachi are my favourite. I know. <laughs> literally in heaven. I don't know if you knew that, Haley, but they're, you've just just literally brought my two favourite gemstones to it. Um, amazing. <laughs> Chris says his favourite snooker ball is the green one. Is it? Any reason? Just like it. What's that? <laughs> he just likes green. Good Green's question. my favourite colour. Down to the final two. Make sure you're checking out Melanie, Christine, Lizeth, Middlesex, Maria, Valerie, Elizabeth as well. Make sure you're checking out. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? We will take them to the best prices that you've ever seen as well. But they are extremely limited. So, um, and again, this is like you just casually get in a quad eight hands a night, basically, or a D flawless diamond. It's the best grade of your malachite. Good luck. There's loads of you getting involved. Should we do the bangle? Which, it, you think about how these are carved. So they form in stalactites. There's a photo somewhere on this of the stalactites. It's very cool. Um, stalactites and stalagmites. Very shallow forming gemstone. Um, malachite. Stalactites. Stalagmites. There you go. Um, this copper rich solution. Um, yeah, those two photos would be great. So it kind of filters through the water, very shallow caves. Oh, wow. So that the blue is azurite, by the way. They're often found alongside one another. But um, over many, 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 many years, yeah, even the even the ladder's like it's sort of encrusted with malachite. How good is that? But in the next photograph, I can show you. There you go. Look at that. Oh, so imagine amazing. now you've basically got to find an incredibly large stalactite or stalagmite and carve a bangle wow out of it it's cool isn't it very cool the only bangle that we have it's beautiful so Haley said uh, did actually ask Wayne when are we getting more and Wayne's answer was there might be limited pieces, odd pieces coming in throughout the course of the remainder of the year, but nothing of any quantity until at least next January. Really? Yeah, and and again, it became a bit of a joke when I was over in Tucson um, with our sister channels. So they were like, if ever, because you can imagine it's a city and it's taken yeah. over by gemstones. So if, if they lost me, <laughs> <laughs> it's like a child. Oh, I've lost Elle again. Um, they literally just looked for the Malachite, and usually <laughs> I was there. So um, it became a bit of a joke. But I never saw any bullseye Malachite. Um, hello to you, Suja. I can't read it from there, sorry. Um, hi, Elle. Uh, nice to see you back. Thank you, Suja. Wore my Malachite bracelet to the proms yesterday, and a few people said they had never seen this uh, size beads. I'm sure. Yeah, but well, this is the thing, Suja, when I was in, in Tucson, I didn't see any strands, Genu genuinely, no strands. No. And I asked one of the traders, and it was because, oh, Van Cleef, all the big designers are working with Malachite right now, so accessibility. Yeah. You could get free forms, but you couldn't really get, you couldn't get, I never saw any bangles, never saw any strands. The colours of this Malachite, it's just, the quality of it is stunning beautiful it really is beautiful we are not stopping here oh there we go so these are some of the designers that yeah Van Cleef Miss Soma Anushka there you go what about that one and that's not even a bullseye this is a carved bangle and we're not stopping at this price, but they're extremely limited. How many do we have? Six. 
six available in the business, that's it. At £149, it takes approximately 10 hours to carve a bangle. Wow, I would have thought it took longer than that, yeah. wouldn't you? And, and incredibly wasteful. Yeah, and you've got every Malachite will, will tell their own story. They're all individual as well because um, the one on the uh, the recording, can you see how it's like little, yeah, almost like little rosebuds in there, lots of tiny little uh, little bullseyes, whereas the one I have here in the studio has got sort of large bullseye or peacock's eye, whichever you prefer. Um, but again, it's like that ripple effect that you get with this gorgeous gemstone and the distinction between those beautiful greens. I've got six available jewellery makers, Melanie, Irene and Janice, well done. Uh, make sure you're checking out your baskets um, to guarantee your success. Next up oh yeah the high hi you oh let me give this a polish a sec looks like someone's had hand cream hold on this oh yeah probably me <laughs> oh that looks so tactile you just want to touch it don't you, you? do no that's probably why it was kind of all yeah oh look at that that is absolutely amazing Goodness aren't me. gemstones amazing that's the thing about malachi i think you just go that's cool yeah it's very cool and that formed naturally oh, i know it's not it's mind dyed blowing. no mind blowing you think about your agates which also have these lovely kind of bands but the color is dyed usually this is natural how many do we have Single figures, nine. I've got nine available. At £149 only. Absolutely amazing. And it'll be different front and reverse. Just Lark's head, not Deb's, don't you think? Absolutely. I mean, you don't need to do much. You don't want to cover that. No. With anything, because it's stunning. I mean, I've, I've done this before with our high goose, but imagine that. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine setting a diamond in the centre. It would be absolutely stunning that way. Yeah. Yeah. Now can you see why Van Cleef and our pals work with this gemstone? Yeah, you, yeah. Our yeah. quality, though. I mean, I've looked at some of those photographs and thought they're not a patch on our quality. No. No, totally agree. This particular parcel is absolutely incredible. Yeah. I mean, look, Shopard. You'd expect the best with Shopard, wouldn't you? Yeah. Shopard, and they haven't actually got the peacock eye or the bullseye. No. What, £3,800? And they're quite small, those earrings, by the way. £3,269. You want to have those beautiful distinctions, those beautiful bands in the actual gemstone. Now, Hazel, well done. Valerie, new customer, Maria and Janice. We have last of stock opportunities. Um, okay. We're only doing this because of the, the lower quantities, jewelry makers, so you're getting the best possible deal. Um, we've, at this point, nine is not a viable quantity for us as a business. You know, it's taking up a location within a vault jewelry makers, so um, you're getting a, basically a clearance price here. So make sure you are checking them out. You've still got your interest-free uh, split payments as well. Valerie's speaking to our call centre. I've got new customers getting involved as well. £24.99 on your split pay. If you, you are watching, you're thinking, oh, I'm not the most accomplished jewelry maker as of yet. Just Lark said not it. Yeah, definitely. That's all you need to do. Um, really simple or literally loop a chain straight through the heart of yeah. the actual high goo. Lizeth in Germany, well done. You've got yours. Maker on the phone lines as well joining us. I had nine available. Um, and just so you know, this is the only high goo that we have. Um, I've got three strands to bring you and then that's it. And that is it. Remember, um, the update is nothing coming in until uh, January next year of any big quantities anyway. So uh, stay where you are on those phone lines. Don't abandon those calls. Three strands. I've got drums and I've got two rice beads. You're going to love these. <laughs> Something about the drum shape. Yeah, I love the drum shape. I love it with the jadeite as well. <gasps> look, yeah. Oh my goodness, look at that colour. Yeah. Full 38 centimetre strand. It's lovely, isn't it? Oh, it is lovely. We were talking about this with the jade, weren't we? That, yeah. deep, that deep green. It's just, I don't know, I'm just very drawn to this colour. Now, I'm going to make a pledge. Okay. 
the three strands that we are bringing you we're going to take each and every single one of them under 150 pounds again i need to emphasize i can bring you malachite for 15 pounds mm. say and i can bring you malachite for thousands of pounds this is the best grade how many do we have though hayley five okay kaz is there straight away makers there straight away when you think about the fact that you know piaget had one round for two thousand pounds yeah or you could go to you could go to van cleef and arpels that alhambra necklace that one. Oh yes Twenty three thousand pounds are they wrong though when you consider how rare this gemstone is yeah that's very true but you could make a station necklace with these rounds. Yeah. Couldn't you? Wouldn't cost £23,000, even with gold. <laughs> Be nice, wouldn't it? Mm. It is in the World Cup. Under £100. The only drum strand that we have, though, jewellery makers. Diana, you've got yours well done. Cambridgeshire, you're there as well. I've got five, or rather I had five. You can still do it, but you do need to be quite uh, um, speedy. Uh, making your confirmations now everybody to guarantee a success um, and with malachite because it has got such a, an intense color I mean you imagine it with your deal of the day just one Oof. one pop of malachite yes. in there um, absolutely breathtaking um, if you want to get hold of it with your 0% interest you absolutely can <laughs> um, middle sex stay where you are on those phone lines three strands that's all I've got to bring you of the bullseye malachite um, that's it I've got two left so this is the penultimate now I've got two rice beads. The difference is size. Okay. So we have 10 by seven and eight by 12. Ooh. Okay. That's this one, isn't it? Do the larger ones first or the smaller ones? Yeah, the smaller ones. These ones. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that was so hard for my brain to recognise which one was bigger. Um, um, okay. I don't know why my brain was like, which one's bigger? It's got to go to the neckline, has not it? Ooh. Ooh. I love this shape as well. There's something so elegant about the rice beads. There really is. Oh, it's stunning. The colour, look at it. Oh. And then as if you were to, you know, when you get this home, look, can you see as I roll? Can you see this one just here, that really bright one? Can you see that, that mm. beautiful peacock's eye or bullseye? It is. No, I agree. Chris has just said. It's like a fixed chatoyant. It is. So. It's got a magic to it. Shall I bring it down to the desk so then you can see what... I totally agree with what you've just said there, Chris. You know, it's it, it chatoyancy is movement of light, but but because you've got the ba the bands, it gives you that illusion, doesn't it? It does. Look at that, all the little speckles. These are amazing, and every single one. You are getting a massive two hundred and forty carats. Look at this one. Look at that little bullseye there now we've made that pledge it is going under 100 pounds jewelry makers 99 pounds and 99 pence um loving those absolutely loving those the malachite and pearls i think it's just a marriage made in heaven i think those oh, two yeah. together would be absolutely stunning um we have the smaller uh rice bead shape to bring you if you wanted to maybe go for uh, a graduation a graduate graduations don't have to be just rounds do they no not at all so you could graduate those two. How many have we got, Hayley? Seven available within the vault. That's it, seven. And once they're gone, they're gone. We're going to have to wait till next year, basically, um, for any big quantities. Uh, Wayne, Wayne's words, he was basically saying, yeah, you might see the odd one here or there, but nothing of, uh, nothing of bullseye variety and nothing of quantity. So these are the best ever prices. Sally in East Sussex, well done. Melanie, Melanie in so Scottish Borders. Janice in West Midlands. Do stay where you are, Janice. Our call centre will get to you. Hello, Maria in London. Gigi in California. Um, well done. I only had single figure quantity so I would strongly encourage checking out your baskets 
um, to avoid any disappointment. Again, there it is, the fields of malachite. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, yeah. Sorry, uh, Haley was just saying when you when we see international buyers, which we do frequently, by the yeah. way, we have USA, Australia, Germany. Um, we've had Spain. Yeah, frequently Spain. Why do I drew a blank there? Um, I, literally all around the world shop with us on a regular basis. But it does. It solidifies the fact that just how competitive jewelry maker prices are. You know. Um, and for the quality as well. Well done, everyone. Stay where you are. Right, let's bring you the smaller, which I'll put alongside. Is this the finale? Yeah. There's 14. So this is the one that we're bringing you now. I d there's no sense to this price tag. <laughs> no sense to this price tag whatsoever. 14 though is not enough for a Sunday morning is it no not for the love for our love affair of natural malachite but not just any malachite we've guaranteed it under 100 pounds I'm gonna tell you not just by a little bit either this is the maddest price for bullseye malachite what were we thinking bringing this to air at 49.99 <laughs> Oh yeah, it was part of a showcase when we launched the Bullseye Malachite. It was a big, big, big <coughs> launch. So maybe we had quantity originally, I don't know. Um, yeah, maybe we had a big quantity of these and that's why we took it to the lower price tag, but we're not going to match it. Um, however, we've only got 14 of them left, 13 now, jewelry makers, so make sure you are checking out, like Maria and Christine, um, uh, Lancashire and Maker and Angela and Kaz and Sally. Um, yeah just just love this just so distinctive isn't it once you see malachite you never forget it oh absolutely and like you said there's malachite and there's malachite mm. you know i've seen malachite and it's just not very nice see malachite just, that's a bit matte it's matte yes so the quality of this one this whole everything that you've brought just yeah. blew me away it's not like anything i've ever seen before, no so i agree quality wise i totally agree it's gorgeous. I yeah, this is the best grade. Um, yeah, you know, in Malachi or, or a gemstone, it's not just single out Malachite, but when gemstones just just a bit meh. Yeah. You know, you yeah. can see a sapphire and it's just a little bit, just a little bit like drab. It's, yeah. it's not got a presence yeah. about it. And all gemstones should have presence. The quality that you have just seen in this showcase, little closeout showcase, is you know has an extraordinary presence. Um, and I think those again are the words of the uh, of the jewelry editor. They said Malachi is that outlandish eccentric, once seen, never forgotten. Yes. Yeah, and I love that. Um, so check out your baskets, jewelry makers. Still to come, we have the launch of your ingot necklace. Um, you are looking at ten grams of solid sterling silver. Um, in Inspired by the designer that is, of course, Cartier, Corum, and also Bulgari that made this so, so popular. Um, this is coming up, jewelry makers, um, after the break, alongside a brand new tool. Yay! So, if, is it our first ever engraving tool? Handheld engraving tool? I, oh, it's, it's our, our own. own. So you know what that means when we make our own tools? Oh, and, and it definitely means that. That, that the price is going to be... Affordable. Mm. Amazing. Now, do not go anywhere. We've still got loads to bring you jewellery makers between now and the top of the show. We'll see you after this. Jewellery Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia Partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewellery Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Shopping with Jewellery Maker couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.jewellerymaker.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website, from your jewellery room essentials to gemstones, tools, precious metals and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Jewellery Maker app. Simply head over to your app store and search Jewellery Maker. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 644 655. Shopping made easy at Jewellery Maker.
Did you know that you can shop for pre-show deals on Jewelry Maker? Head over to jewelrymaker.com every day between 7 a.m. and 8 a.m. Click on Watch Live. Scroll down for brilliant products, last of stock items and amazing deals. But these deals are only available for one hour and once they're gone, they're gone. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Jewelry Maker gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says gift cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email. Then decide the value you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion, or just a way to say thank you, the Jewelry Maker gift card is the perfect answer. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Jewelry Maker app. Head over to your app store now and search Jewelry Maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured on today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's best sellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click on the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching On The Go with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Welcome back, jewelry makers. Now, this uh, next opportunity is brand new. Now, to my knowledge, we've never done anything like this before, and I'm quite excited because I think one of the things, Debs, and I'm sure you'll agree with this, that um, one of the things are amazing, our unsung heroes, really, that work behind the screens. Yeah. Um, one of the things they are exceptional at is keeping their ear close to the ground yeah. and seeing what trends. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You know, whether they're sort of building trends or yeah. whether they're the hottest trend right here, right now. Yeah. And that particularly applies with your precious metals, of course. So when you're not talking about popularity of gemstones, you're talking about a, a particular design. Yeah. So, for example, you know, think, let's think about some um, iconic precious metal designs. Bulgari with their circles. Mm. Tiffany's with the heart, heart locket. Yeah. You know, um, they're iconic designs. Uh, Cartier, if you like, never mind the gemstones, but the panther motif. Mm. Um, the ingot is one of those. And its popularity is uh, rising again. It was really popular in the 70s and 80s, um, but it is rising again in uh, sort of 2024. But if somebody had said to me, and, I, and I'm somebody that works in the industry, if somebody had said to me, oh, an ingot necklace, I wouldn't have known what they were on about. So an ingot is like, you know, if you were to go and buy a bar of silver or a bar of gold or platinum, whatever it is, 
Um, that's what an inga is. So I uh, had to do um, quite a bit of research on this. So we'll read it together. And by the way, you get everything. So you get the chain, you get the pendant, and in total it's 10 grams of sterling silver. And we'll talk about the actual um, markings itself in a second. So what does an ingot pendant mean? Well, an ingot pendant characteristically features a hallmark as the main design, uh, making them a popular gift to commemorate the year's events. For instance, the birth of a child, a special birthday, or maybe the year of marriage. Oh, right. So if, this, if there's a particular year that you want to commemorate, um, it, it could also be in remembrance. Yes. You know, it's to commemorate a certain year. Um, um, let's read on because they also say um, ingot pendants characteristically feature a hallmark as the main design making it a popular gift which we've already read where does the word and name ingot come from so ingots uh, ingots are cast metal bars in jewelry fabrication these precious metal bars are rolled into sheets drawn into wire or stamped into shapes and designs um, a two-part iron mold with adjustable detachable uh, walls are used to create precious metal ingots um, ingots can vary greatly in size so yeah. that's you know for example if we if you you have lots of people who will buy me precious metal gold platinum silvers um, and literally store it away yeah. you can buy them in an ingot bar literally to put away in a vault or something like that um, but what, why is the hallmarking important on the ingot? And actually hallmarking important in general. So precious metals such as gold, silver, platinum and palladium are rarely used in their purest form. They are mixed with other minerals to form an alloy um, that has the desired colour and strength. And that is because gold, silver, uh, uh, they're the ones that really apply to us here, are very soft. So it wouldn't have any durability if we didn't mix the precious metal. So that also equates to 925, um, it basically equates to how many parts out of a thousand are silver. Um, um, it's very difficult to know what an item of jewellery is made of just by looking at it or touching it. Hallmark it. Hallmarking protects the consumer by certifying the precious metal content of the piece so that the buyer knows that the item is generally what the seller says it is. Online selling of jewellery increases the risk of consumers, but the hallmark gives the buyers confidence. So, you know, we stamp anything over seven grams needs to be hallmarked, fully hallmarked. Um, here at Jewellery Maker, if it's under, we can still put the 925 stamp. Yeah. So in a sense, there is that marking there as well. Um, what are the marks and what do they mean? So. Um, the four components of a hallmark are the sponsor or maker's mark, mark yeah. um, the standard mark, the assay office mark, and the date letter of the year. So say, for example, fast forward 100 years when we look back on a piece of jewellery, they can say, OK, that was made yeah. by this person and, and it was, it was um, made on that date, etc., yeah. etc. So um, to locate the assay office, you can see the different symbols there as well. Um, I can't quite see it from here. So London, Edinburgh, Sheffield and Birmingham. And you can see the different markings that they actually use. Birmingham use the um, anchor. Mm -hmm. They use the anchor. So you can determine where. And also Dublin as well. You can see the Dublin sim symbol just at the bottom. So again, there's an illustration of a hallmark that you can see there. From that information that is stamped maybe on the inside of a ring shank, I know exactly who's made that piece of jewellery, where it's been um, where it's been approved, what assay office, etc. Um, and the date of the piece of jewellery, etc. Moving on. So um, the actual ingot here we go, is massive and is not a new thing. Now, Pragnell, one of the finest UK jewellers for certain, um, have launched their own ingot and they say Pragnells are proud to showcase our latest collection of buttery 18 karat yellow gold ingot pendants that will um, envelop in the warmth of the true bold gold layered style, hugely popular during the 1970s and 80s. Hallmarked ingot pendants and charms were produced by uh, produced 
by famous names such as Bulgari, Cartier and Coram, updated for uh, 20, this is obviously they, illustra- they wrote this in 2022. Um, and they'd go on to talk about how special it is. It's a really simple piece. Yeah. And during the break that um, we were just mentioning the fact that it's something that I think is for, for everybody. You know, my husband would wear this. Yeah, my boys would wear this. Yeah, yeah. definitely. And you want to see that ingot that Pragnall were talking about? There it is, very simple. It's a long ingot pendant. It's got a 17 point diamond, so a tiny princess cut diamond there, in 18 karat gold, £4,730. Really simple. But then you've got to think about it this way is that going to date? Because I don't think it is. That kind of style, that classic style, is not going to go out of fashion. Let's look at a few of the other designers that they mentioned. So you've seen Pragnall. Let's look at Cartier, which, by the way, the only way at place I could find it was on like the auction secondary mm-hmm. market. So this was eBay, £1,889 for the Cartier um, ingot. Um, and you can see it's, it's got a tiny little diamond and then it's got Cartier inscribed. It's not a traditional ingot, though, of the Cartier no. one, because it doesn't actually have the hallmark on the front, which is the whole idea of it. Um, again, Corum. Um, Corum do do jewellery, they do an inglet, uh, inglet, nec- uh, inglet necklace, um, however in my head Corum's most recognised for their watches, um, £1,800 for, cor- for the ingot watch. Right. It's cool isn't it? Mm. Very, very, very cool. So yeah, Bulgari, we've spoke about them as well, which I think is the most similar, which is why I've put this on the end of the PowerPoint. Now granted this is 18 karat gold, granted, but it visually they are incredibly similar. Yeah, that, yeah they are. Um, that's £2,000. £2,000. It's Bulgari and it's gold. Now, I don't know about you, but I haven't got £2,000. Um, so maybe you want to commemorate this year. Maybe you just simply like the design, which is why I want to get involved. Um, it's 10 grams worth. For the first time, you have our own... Firstly, ingot, but our own stamp. The jewellery maker stamp, which you can see there just at the top. So that's your maker's mark. The maker's mark. Yeah. Then you've got the fineness. Then you've got the, uh, sorry, then you've got the, can we go back to the assay, at the assay office? Mm -hmm. Z is the year for 2024. Traditional fineness mark, there we go. That's the lion. Traditional fineness mark. All the information that you need, and the Z is the year for 2024. It's a weighty piece of jewelry. I mean, I'm literally wearing it, and from distances away, you can breathe. I, I like to be able to feel my pieces of jewelry. Yeah. You know, I like to be able to actually know that I'm wearing it. I think it's pointless putting a sterling silver chain on or a necklace on if it hasn't actually got the weight so it's going to drape uh, beautifully. I mean, look how lovely that is. And is that going to go out of fashion? No, it's very stackable too. Yeah. Put a strand of pearls on with that, it'd be beautiful. Yeah. And if you wanted to, you could give this to, uh, to well, all generations. Yes. Gents, ladies. I think everybody would like this style. Now we've never done this before, it is a brand new launch and we've commissioned, in the world, we commissioned 100. Something else to consider, because it's not gemstones that are going to affect the price of this piece, but we, we could very easily overlook the bullion market. Yeah. Precious metal is expensive. Silver is at an all-time high. And I I don't recall it ever actually dipping of the last few years. Do you, Deb? It's gone up. I mean, to the point where it's very difficult. You know, I've I've pitched a few designs lately to to the powers that be to be told that it's a big ask to to have sterling silver in the designs. Because at the moment, it's gone. That's because of this. And you can go on to the bullion by post. Yeah. This is accessible mm-hmm. to anybody. This is a live website right now. Look at that huge rise yeah. in price per gram. And you know, jewelry makers, we can affect a lot of things gemstone wise. We can. We can buy bulk. We can buy 
direct where possible. Um, we, and, and remember, our founder even owns mines. So we can influence gemstones, but we have no influence over the bullion market. The only way we can affect it, as in how good your deal is, is obviously bringing you reduced margins, but also by in quantity across the whole partnership. We commissioned literally 100 of these available. Now, what we've seen out there, already that's an amazing price. There's a lot of sterling silver in that piece. 10 grams? Yeah, that's a lot of sterling silver. It's huge, isn't it? Yeah. You know, you know what's coming up in the next hour, Debs? Mm. I know. That's what, that's what interests me about this. It's so easily customizable. You can stamp onto this, you can engrave onto this, so you can personalize it even further. You could put a message on the back because you've got a really good surface area to do that. Yeah. You could literally have your ingot and you could put maybe, I don't know, anniversary, you could put... A little message. A message, a name, whichever it is. Because again, don't forget that's a solid piece of silver. Yeah. It's really, really, really weighty. If this people, year is yeah. meaningful to you, definitely. People will graduate this year. People will get their degrees. People will be going off to, to university. Oh, people will be idea. getting married. People will have babies. Um, you know, you can commemorate anything on the back of that. Oh, do you know what you've just made me think? My niece went to um, started uni on Friday. Oh. And apparently she's, she, my, I spoke to my brother and he said he's always, she's a bit nervous. Yeah, that's understandable. Understandable, yeah. it's a big change, isn't yeah. it? Flying the desk for the first time, can you imagine giving her something like this? And you could write something on the back like you got this or what, yeah. if she's got a quote that she likes, you know, that, or that you, something personal to, to the both of you, a little saying that you oh. say or you pop that on the back. We've got a hundred, Debs. And I can tell you we don't close anywhere near the price that's on your screens right now. Perfect Christmas gifts. What's not to love about it? I love the simplicity. This is a design that dates back to, well, that I recall anyway, 1970s, 1980s, and it's still as popular today um, as it was back then. Anjum has got five, well done. Gigi in California, Lynn. Well, I'd be intrigued, Anjum. Are you thinking about gifts? Are you thinking about gifts? Because I think they're perfect gifts. I, I really think they're so unisex too. Yeah. Crashing that price. <gasps> That's a big jump. I can confirm it is 10 grams. I was told this literally on Friday. I can confirm it's 10 grams of solid sterling silver. I think that gram weight that you're seeing doesn't include the chain. Oh, right. um, it is 10 grams of sterling silver accumulatively that you are actually getting here, jewelry makers. Um, so yeah, yeah, that, I mean, that, that's the, one of the things that the team were really adamant about sharing with me. Um, it's the first time that we've ever done the ingot bar itself. First time we've ever actually done, to my knowledge anyway, um, our maker's mark. Yep which I love, you can literally personalize this. I don't know, it might just be one of the, a year where, I, I don't know, maybe you moved into your, your first house or you've moved house or, I don't know, just been a really nice year. Or you just love the design, which is why I like it. I really like it and I think, you know, if you want it to be um, a bit longer, if you're thinking about maybe gifting it, then you could always put it on a ball chain. Yeah. I think that'd be, that's quite masculine. I think that would be quite it nice. It takes it almost like a dog tag. It takes then, it dog it? tag, takes it quite trendy. Yeah. So if you're going for maybe somebody a bit younger, mm. I'm thinking about these for my boys. I think they'd love them. And then on the back, just put in KB, Kershaw Brothers, because they're really close. Ah. Um, because sometimes it's hard for me like, as a jewelry designer to find things that are unisex like my daughter gets everything yeah yeah <laughs> because you know we've got yeah. this shared love of jewelry um and yeah th they'll wear like bracelets and things but as far as something like n lovely like this to keep yeah. um i think would be a lovely christmas present for them both they don't watch so they won't know <laughs> no, no I i'm with you i think this is a great opportunity for us to sort of treat the the, the, the gents and um, believe it or not jewelry makers this has never been your price 
When I said significantly lower than 149, I was not meaning 59.99. Um, we commissioned 100 of these. Um, it's the first time we've ever done the ingot. If everybody checks out, 50% of the stock has gone already. That's not your prize. I know, look, we're about to, well, we're not far off October, are we? No. 30 seconds, we're going to take it to hopefully a Christmas present prize. Oh, have you done it? Have you done it? Start the clock, we've done it anyway. There you go. There we go. Haley's keen bean. You're just a keen bean, that's the thing, isn't it? That's all good. It's all right, it saves us waiting. It does, yeah. Well done, everyone. David, you've got two. These are proving to be really popular. Look at the split pay. What are you doing? Okay, Haley says no, no. I want to have my moment. Oh, yeah, that means we're going low if she's put the clock in again. <laughs> <laughs> she goes, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it right. I can't believe we're doing that. 10 grams this of is solid a, silver. Yeah. I mean, this is an incredible price. I mean, just for gifting, I think that this is one of the most giftable pieces I've seen in a Definitely. long time here for everybody. For everyone. For any generation. Like my hubby would wear that. I think I'd probably put it on a longer chain for him. Yeah. Um, just because he wouldn't want it to show when he was on. Yeah, same. But then you've got your chain, haven't you? But then you've got your chain. Yeah. You know, which is a lovely, substantial chain. Yeah. Um, I think that's amazing. I think my husband would like this. Mm. And you, yeah, it's something that you'll pass through for generations, Haley's saying, 39 99 That's amazing. That's, oh, that's so good. That's amazing. Yeah, I agree. If I was to get this for my husband, I definitely intend to, um, I'd have to put it on a longer chain. Because it won't be seen them it, when they're on calls and things. might not even go, yeah. I'd have to put it on a longer chain, but also maybe I might go for a little thicker chain, whatever it might yeah. be. Or a cord, I think that's a, a good A leather cord. cord, would it? Lovely, yeah. then you've got the chain. Yeah. Oh, that's a good idea. Leather cord. Is that what you do, Chris? Yeah, I think yeah. my boys would prefer it on a leather cord. Yeah, that's nice. a really good cord. And then you've got the chain for your stash. Yes. You can keep the chain for your stash. Win win. Everyone's a winner. Loving that. So many multi buyers getting involved. Ayrshire's has got two. Kerry, Brian. Hello to you, Sally. Gigi, Lynn. Well done. Multi buying. Suffolk. Sa another Sally. Margot, Linda, Susan, Joan. Hampshire, David, Christine, Lorraine, and Ayrshire. Hello to you, Judith and Sean getting two. And David getting two. And Linda getting two. Uh, Linda getting two. Susan getting two. Joan getting two. Jamati getting two. I love it. And you are so right, Debs. We get spoiled in the world of jewellery, don't we? We really As do. ladies. And, you know, there's always some. Thing. like Daisy just loves jade and she's like oh it's my favorite gemstone mum like you know anyone can just get it because she's just used to it yeah um, the boys do like jade as well but I don't think they'd wear a bracelet I just don't think they would out in the world yeah but I know they'd wear this yeah and I feel like a good core was with the cord because I feel like they'd wear it even more on the cord yeah and you've got the chain and I've got the chains which I'm constantly running and it's out a nice on. heavyweight chain yeah so like uh, win win <laughs> 19.99 on split pay or 39.99 today. We commissioned a hundred. And if everyone checks out, I think they've sold out. So many multi buyers. Ayrshire's just got four. De and do text in. David, you've got three. Um, Wiltshire, you've just got six. Are you gifting these? I'd like. I just. I'm just being nosy, basically. Are you gifting? <laughs> Are you going to sell them on at a premium? I mean, fantastic if you do. But you know, some people have got really big families. Like, say you've got three nephews. Mm. You know, I think my nephew would like this. And you could, and if you give them the same, then they're not going to get. Oh, what did you get? Yours is better than mine, are you? Yeah. You know what kids are like. Even I'm talking about even in your twenties, mine do that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, Anne in Aberdeen just said, "Hi, JMT. I worked in a jewellery wholesaler for um, in the eighties. We sold many silver and gold ingots. I still wear my gold one now. Never ages. Yeah, Don't, it, that's exactly. the thing." They are timeless, aren't they, Anne? You know, what's not to love about them? You know, it, you can see straight away it's precious metal because that's the whole design. That's what draws you. Um, unbelievable jewellery makers. I've got to move on in the essence of time. I've still got lots to bring in. Don't forget, coming up at 12 o'clock, you've got your brand new tool, your handheld engraver, and it's a jewellery maker engraver as well. Um, so that's coming your way, jewellery makers. But we've got more goodies to bring you. Um, a lot of sterling silver. Mm. If you... Google, and I didn't, sorry, I didn't know this was on, Elsa Peretti yeah. cuff bangle. Yeah. Peretti. 
Yeah. She's like the, like a flagship designer for Tiffany's and Co. She made this this design quite iconic, didn't she? She Debs? did, and it, they are really beautiful. If you if anybody follows um, Trini, you know, as in uh, Trini and Susanna, Trini and Susanna, Trini London, um, she's got two Elsa Peretti bangles that she wears all the time, one on each wrist. Nice. Um, and it really makes her. You know, it, it's so beautiful. Sometimes she'll wear one. But usually she wears two, and they are not cheap. No. Oh goodness me, no. I mean, Anything they're beautiful Tiffany's is. and it's Tiffany's. But, but they're so iconic. They're though. so iconic. The whole design of it. I mean, they're not exactly the same as this, of course not. But they're this similar, is though. Very, very similar. Yeah, you get that kind of fluidity, yeah. that wonderful movement and curves within it. Yeah, the Elsa Peretti bangle was made famous by, um, yeah, like I said, she, I mean, she, she is like one of their flagship designs, yeah. of course, an absolute icon in her own individual right. Um, but you are talking four figures for an Elsa Peretti oh, yeah. silver bangle. This is very. And they are silver. Yeah, they are silver. This is very customizable as well. Like, you can set a gemstone onto this, you can solder onto it, you can engrave onto it. You know, I you was just thinking that you could engrave it on the inside you could just engrave a personal message yeah well let's show that that you could easily put your message in there you might have like a, a favorite quote or favorite saying or you want to um put dates or something like that family names whichever you want especially with to, uh, with what's coming up in the um in the next hour solid sterling silver ah oh, there we go like that sorry i'll show you the ca i'll show you the camera i don't know if you'll be able to see it so if you engrave on the inside in your own handwriting, now this is, I've just, Daisy, Clemmy, family, and I think it says Dylan and Tyler at the front. So no one can see that from the inside, only you know it's there. So you could most definitely do something like that on this bangle, on the inside. How lovely, how lovely. So the engraver's coming up, you just need the sterling silver cuff. Now again, you'd definitely be paying, I'm, I'm pretty sure it will round about the price that's on your screen if you want an Elsa Pretty one. We take this to a crazy, crazy low price tag. Can I also suggest you could enamel this? Oh, absolutely. Very easily enamel into the centre. Because you almost have, I don't know if you can see it there, there's like a, a channel. That's the you could word. definitely enamel. Um, we can't have many of these available. No. So it's one size fits all because the beauty of a cuff is that they are basically adjustable. You could hammer um, it. There's nothing stopping you, um, yeah, texturing it, hammering it um, alongside your engraving tool. But again, that is solid, precious, 925 sterling silver. Um, it's referred to as the bone cuff, the yeah. Elsa Peretti mm -hmm. piece. Oh, okay. Um, but yeah, it's going to cost you a pretty penny to buy it. A pretty penny. Four figures. Is that 1,425? Sorry? £1,475. It's also quite Ouch. statement. It's big. It's yeah, it not for big. everybody. It's not everyone's style. No. Whereas I feel that one that you've got there. I shouldn't imagine you can wear that on a daily basis. No. So this one here is much more elegant. Yeah. You could even solder it if you wanted to. You can do anything. It's just, it's. there's nothing else on there but sterling silver. You can do whatever you want. You can drill through it and hang a pearl off it. You can do whatever you want. Deb, do you know what I'm thinking? You know when you've done um, like the water casting and stuff? Yeah. Put all those on there, couldn't you? Oh, yeah, that would be gorgeous. Wouldn't yeah, you it? Could, you could do any of that. So the, it, you can look at it like a blank, yeah. and then you can add to it if yeah. you want to put your own personal stamp on it. Yeah, you can certainly do that. Or leave it as is. We're at £99.99 pence only. Um, for again, a heavy piece, a big gram weight that you're getting within here of solid 925 sterling silver. Really stackable, isn't it? Uh, Tracy and Jenny and Susan and Deborah. Uh, one size fits all, of course. Um, amazing, absolutely amazing. But again, love that. Engrave it with the tool that's coming your way. You could put names, family names, crest maybe. Oh, really? It doesn't even stop there. Oh, really? There's Love loads it. of silver in that. Does it say? I can't quite read it from here. Does it... 18 grams, yeah, wow. That's a, that's huge. That's a, yeah. Huge gram weight. Okay. I don't know if you could buy the actual gram weight of silver for that. I don't know. 
20 sorry 69 pounds 99 pence and what split pay is it 23 pounds that's very good isn't it what how a lovely amazing gift. is that yeah i'd wear that i'd just stack it yeah it would go with your mm. go with your nice little arm stack there wow you could wear it definitely because it's a cuff you could easily sort of wear it further up the arm if you wanted to you could i don't want to because it's not mine effectively but you could i like them sort of midi yeah they're nice there sort of midi yeah. bangles and things like that and you could sort of adjust it you could wear it for a little bit further on yeah um amazing jewelry makers again make sure you're checking out your baskets we've got the engraver tool coming up as well in about five minutes time so if you want to use this as the blank um for you then to put your messages and your personalization on there as well 18 grams goodness me uh janet myra hello to you cheshire and fuchsia deborah um you're there too congratulations ne sorry what was that Oh, now during the Wall of Fame, one oh, of our yeah. lovely viewers was creating with this piece. Yeah. Now it's been on pre-order and we've already got confirmations on this. I'm not surprised. Oh, Debs, look, it's a Marbe pearl. So special this. It's really beautiful. But it's not just any Marbe pearl. That's also a Tahitian Marbe pearl. I was going to say the colour of it. It's just stunning. Oh, I beg gorgeous. your pardon. Oh my goodness! Wait a minute. It's South Sea, a blue South Sea. Is it? So a marbe pearl is um, often referred to as a blister pearl. I prefer marbe though personally, um, and it's where the pearl is not separate from the actual um, oyster itself. Marbe's are rarer than cultured pearls, and that's because an oyster can only, if they do produce a marbe pearl, they only produce one or two, whatever's on mm. the actual shell. And it's actually, you only ever get to see them when obviously the oyster comes to the end of its life. Because they cut it, thank you, here we go, perfect. What are Marbe pearls? They are unique and beautiful alternatives to traditional pearls, um, also known as blister pearls or half pearls. They grow on the inside of the oyster shell. The pearls are then cut from the shell, filed, and they're back sealed with mother of pearl. Not the case here though, this is actually with the, um, oh hang on, maybe, yeah, 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 you've got the, golden lip oyster mother of pearl on the other side um, the Chinese are considered to be the true inventor of the blister pearl which is a type of cultured pearl the earliest find in China of the nacreous layer of pearl grown around a lead image of Buddha um, have been dated back as far as the 12th century uh, as soon as I read that I was like um, I thought Mickey Moto was Mm. I'm not saying I'm not saying it's incorrect. Uh, Marbe pearls uh, became better known in the 1950s as an affordable um, and fashionable way to wear large pearls. For the white South Sea cultured pearls that we have today were widely unavailable. You are getting the white uh, the South Sea pearl, but even rarer in blue. Japanese companies started producing blister pearls on the Ryukyu Islands between Japan and Taiwan. Um, the word Marbe possibly comes from the old dialect spoken on those islands. Today, Marbe pearls are still produced in Japan and China, but also in Indonesia and Philippines, Thailand and the French Polynesia. Um, uh, here we go. And this is the this is the black lip oyster. This is the black lip oyster that actually produces your um, Tahitian pearls. Um, so I can skip through that. Because I want to go show the earrings at the end, just quickly. There's a blue marble, there's a blue South Sea pair of earrings just at the end. There, here we go, these. Go to first dibs, £1,358. Tiffany's & Co. Marble Pearl earrings, £2,800. Next one. Look at the, look in the bottom right. Platinum Sapphire Marbe Pearls. See the bluish colour? Oh, yeah. £9,374. Because they're blue. It's because they're blue. Oh. Three thousand eight hundred and forty-six pounds. Look at the blue colour. You're getting a beautiful connector, or pendant, or earrings, or as our, our viewer created that beautiful piece in the Wall of Fame, used it on a multi-strand, didn't they? Yeah, they did. It, it was a multi-strand necklace. Gorgeous. Again, encrusted with sterling silver. For the Marbe Pearl alone, that's an amazing price. Yeah, that is. 
Look at the blue compared to that other blue. That's yeah. really blue. Yeah. We go lower, believe it or not, for the Marbe Pearl alone. But let's not forget the fact that you do also have your beautiful colourless topaz. You've got all that sterling silver grand weight in this as well. You have multiple connection points. Can you see that? So two here, two at either side um, as well. But if you don't want to use them, just cut them away and give yep. them a little polish down. Mm -hmm. But what an amazing piece of jewellery that was going to sit as our as our viewer did, created the most amazing um, sort of asymmetric long line necklace. Um, extremely limited. The rarity of your Marbe Pearl is, is uh, accelerated because it is blue. We don't stop there. And it's naturally blue. That's unbelievable, isn't it? You're going to get comments when you wear that, aren't you? Yeah. I mean, it's stunning. And you've got all the connotation there of a feather. A peacock feather. Mm. Oh, goodness, we're back at that conversation again, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> it's the peacock feather, too, which are so beautiful, aren't they? Peacock's feathers. They're absolutely amazing. You have that cobalt blue in oh, the centre. Amazing. So I get why the team, when they designed this, they wanted it to be not just a Marbe Pearl, but yeah, a blue, blue Marbe Pearl. Um, there's only a couple of them available, though, jewellery makers at £129 for the gram weight of silver. These are all individual topaz as well, by the way, that are set within the silver. Um, it could be a pendant if you wanted. It's very easy to sort of, uh, or even that way, uh, transform it into a beautiful uh, necklace pendant. Uh, you could use them in earrings if you wanted to. If you do want multiples, then make sure you are checking out your basket, everybody. But again, this is the lowest price that it has been to, yeah? But time's against us. Are you taking it lower? Today, how many is available? Yeah. Shall we? Shall yeah. we make? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Oh my goodness me! Look at that. Ooh. That would make the most incredible pair of earrings. Shall we make it a bit more affordable so people can potentially make those pairs of earrings? Yes. <laughs> Haley, don't worry. Just say we told you to. <laughs> Just say L said. Drop it. $99.99 when we have just literally shown you blue Marbe pearls on first dibs for thousands. Mm. Were any of them three figures? No. Were any of them two figures? Definitely. But they weren't even as blue as this. No, exactly. Exactly. The phone lines have got... Ah! Oh! Oh, Lauren. She's... You're good, you are, Lauren. <laughs> That's you why are she's good, my you favourite, are, Lauren. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Here we go. She, she's like, she just casually plucks the most amazing necklace from, from the, oh. you know, the back of the studio. Look at that. Oh, that's absolutely incredible, isn't it? Oh, my goodness. That's gorgeous. A casual, Lauren. Yeah, yeah, yeah look, look, Al. Here you go. Look at that. She had to create that beautiful graduation, mm. that multi uh, strand. Lowest ever price, jewelry makers. Lowest ever price. Never been anywhere near 99.99. So make sure you are checking out your baskets. June's got hers. Justin in Yorkshire, well done. Sally, Kerry, June, Tracy, Maker. Um, I've got London getting involved as well. Um, I have got a limited quantity, so I can see multi buyers. Are you thinking about those earrings? That would be amazing. I would be, imagine, and okay, I know it would be £300, but imagine the suite. Oh, come on. Yeah, but you say that, but you're, okay, £300, but it'd be worth thousands. Oh, Elle, look, you shall go to the ball. <laughs> look at her. Oh, you look lovely. Thanks. It would be. Maybe you need a neck. <laughs> <laughs> I look like I'm wearing a roll neck, don't I? Like a yeah, you do. A you polo look, top. You look very <laughs> important. <laughs> oh, that, at that price is the best time to make it, isn't it? Anyway, um, coming up, jewelry makers. After the break, we have got a brand new tool. Um, I've also 
Well, right, yeah, Hayley has checked if there is any of the red jade out that we had yesterday. Those carvings are insane. If there's any of those left, so if there is, then we're going to replay those. Ooh. We'll give you an update on the deal of the day as well, I think. Yeah, an update on the deal of the day quantity of pearls that remain. Um, hopefully you haven't got yours still in your basket because I can't guarantee success. So um, brand new tool coming your way, though. This is a jewellery maker commission tool, um, which means... You'll get the quality, so you'll get the quality. Yeah, yeah. And it has been amazingly road tested by yours truly. Who's oh, absolutely. Talk us through it. Um, but also, it means you get your amazing jewelry maker tools affordably. Yeah. yeah you know, yeah. Dremels cost hundreds, don't they? Oh, and yes. they're great, don't get me oh, wrong. Oh, they're fabulous. But, you know, not everybody spends enough time to justify a Dremel or has the funds for a Dremel or even a Ford and pendant motor. Yeah. Um, so this is a great little tool. I had fun using this. I bet you did. So it, there's 150 though. There's not going to be enough. I can tell you that for certain because the, the deal, the price is incredible. Don't go anywhere as I make my way over to our lovely Debs for our masterclass. Um, we'll see you after this. Did you know that you can shop for pre-show deals on Jewelry Maker? Head over to jewelrymaker.com every day between 7 a.m. and 8 a.m. Click on Watch Live. Scroll down for brilliant products, last of stock items and amazing deals. But these deals are only available for one hour and once they're gone, they're gone. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Shopping with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.jewelrymaker.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website, from your jewellery room essentials to gemstones, tools, precious metals and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Jewellery Maker app. Simply head over to your app store and search Jewellery Maker. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 644 655. Shopping made easy at Jewellery Maker. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Jewelry Maker app. Head over to your app store now and search Jewelry Maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured on today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's best sellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click on the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching On The Go with Jewelry Maker. Ah, oh, I tell you what, Deb's just had a little razz of the engraver <laughs> pen. <now. laughs> it's so cool. It's not noisy, is it? Not at all. Look at the little screwdriver you get with this. A little mini screwdriver. 
Okay, okay. Let, I tell you, before we do anything, because I reckon we're just going to get literally lost in this demo. And you can ask me questions, please do. Text in, text in. Do I need to be the most accomplished jewellery maker to work with this tool? <laughs> I'm not the most accomplished. Yes, you are. <laughs> Don't stop it. Okay, I am. But yeah, look, you get. I go stop. That, that's the that's the cutest thing I've ever seen. I know. <laughs> that oh, is a mini screwdriver. It's too young to be taken away from its mother. Oh, look that's at a it, baby. It's so cute. I never thought I would ever say that about a screwdriver. Little screwdriver, hello. <laughs> <laughs> never did I think I'd say those words. Hello, what a screwdriver. cute screwdriver. Well, you What's need that? That's a <laughs> that is an extra tip. An extra tip? Yep, a diamond coated burr. A burr. A burr. Right, okay. A burr. <laughs> then you get all of these now i had these already because i use them all the time so these are epic i can i can attest to that these does are, this come with it yeah, yeah it comes with it yeah <laughs> so these you get all that selection yeah and they fit in this yeah no way they do and that's what you need your little baby screwdriver for so that you can just change out whichever ones so there's a mini screwdriver and then you weren't kidding it is literally like a yeah. like, like a nice quality pen you know they've got a nice weight yeah it's it's really um you know, if it's heavy, it's hard to, to write. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, mm. you know, one of the things that I would really struggle... I've got a Dremel tool, and I'll be honest, I'm scared of it. Loads of people say that. I'm really scared of it. Because you've got the electricity, you've got the um, cord that can get tangled. Yeah. You know, this is portable, um, really I, easy. I actually bought my Dremel tool to sand my, my stair banisters. And did you do it? I did. I got it out, yeah, and then went... <laughs> and took the biggest chunk out of my banisters. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> and I was like, who? Oh. And, and honestly, it's never seen the d light of day since. It's not seen the light of day since. Because I'm a little bit scared of a Dremel. I've got a picture in my head now of you doing that. I can imagine ah. you. Ah. And like, it was while Tom was out, so I was like, quick, fill it before he can... <laughs> before he can take the mickey out of me. Oh, um, okay. But this is not scary at all. <coughs> Some tools are quite scary, aren't they? This is, I mean, it just, it's not noisy, is it? So, so some people live in a flat, don't they, where they can't make it, I mean, bang in and make a big noisy sound. True. You know, and this is, it's not, it's not noisy. Oh, well, you could do that with, while well, the, the kids are sleeping, couldn't you? Yeah, exactly. It's not going to wake them no, up. No, no. So, ah, is it literally battery operated then? It's battery operated. Oh, it's battery operated. You need um, two triple A batteries. Okay, is that in there? Yeah, you just unscrew the top. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I've just literally, <laughs> I've just pressed the button and I haven't had an injury yet. We've put <laughs> we've put batteries in. I probably should have told you that that one's got batteries in. <laughs> okay, so you unscrew. Oh, we unscrew this unscrew bit. Unscrew that bit. Yeah. Right. Um, the batteries go obviously in the centre there. You could say jewelry maker. Yeah. And then you've got. Your little red button. You hold it down, yeah, I'll show you that. You keep holding it. So the minute you take, you know what's not scary about this? You know, if you've got a Dremel without a handpiece, you know, I've got a foot pedal on my rotary tool. But if you haven't, you turn it on and it's on. Straight so away, yeah. if you're going like this, you know, to turn it off, you've got to reach over and turn it off. Mm. With this, you just take your finger off and it stops. So there's nothing scary about it whatsoever. It is brilliant. Yeah. I've had a real, you know, and I've got a, I've got a pendant drill. I've got a rotor foot pedal and the whole nine yards. But I thought, right, let's see what this little thing can do because not everybody can afford um, a rotary tool. It's no. just not at that point in their journey. They, they can't justify it because they didn't do enough metal work. Mm. Um, and I thought, right, let's see what this can do. So I've even had um, polishing mops in here. You know, like when you put um, your polishing mop in and then you pop it on the rouge and then you polish up your jewelry. I mean, obviously, it's not as powerful as a rotary tool, but it will do the job. Could I? Could I? You know, sometimes we we gem set pearls. Oh yeah, uh, drill. That's drilling. I don't know. I haven't drilled. Probably because give it a whirl. A pearl is soft. 
Yeah. It wouldn't go through jade or anything No, no, like no. That, but you could have maybe have a try with something softer. Yeah. So anyway, this is our first ever jewellery maker's engraving tool. It's so cool. Um, and again, I'm going to emphasize, re-emphasise what, what Deb's just said. It's super affordable. Super affordable. All super. you need is batteries. All you need is batteries. It can do um, wood. It can do glass. <gasps> Do you know what I, the first thing I no. do? I've got a glass jar with my files in, and I thought, I wonder if this works on glass. So I just picked it up, and the, you know, a jar, and went and wrote files. And I was like, oh, that's good. Get all the jars right, so, you know. So you can do that. You can do your hammer. You can do your hammer handle. You know, like if you if you go to a class and you don't want someone else to nick your hammers because hammers are very important. You can put your name on the initials on the bottom of your tools. You can do it, it on glass. I've got sea glass with me because I thought, let's have a go on sea glass. Look, oh I've, written, my goodness. I've written Make a Wish on this little blanks. These are from literally back in the day, Jewelry Maker, these little. Oh, little I mean, you could, you're going to be engraving all sorts, aren't you? And personalization is huge. So, like, can I just tell you, Jewelry Makers, loads of you have already shopped ahead. $79.99 is nowhere near your price. No way near your price. Because. We've manufactured it, so we haven't got to pay the costs and the, and, and the, the margins to other companies. <coughs> we can bring it to you at truly an amazing price. And I think we need to not beat around the bush with this, because there's 150. Let's go straight down. Oh, really? Okay. Let's do it. <coughs> you, remember, you got all the extras. <gasps> what? Sir? I'd be happy for just... Those. These at nineteen nine. These nineteen ninety nine. I'd be happy with the little, mid, the cutest little dro yeah, screwdriver I'd, that I'd I've ever seen at nineteen nine. Just because it's Hello. really cute. Hello, I'm your friend. <laughs> oh look! You go home and you're like, look what I've got for today. He little. But he he works with that. He does. You need him. So that's for uh, swapping these you. out. Yeah, I'll show you. Oh, the phone lines have gone crazy. The web's gone crazy. <laughs> Now, we will get more as soon as we can because I do think it's going to sell out today. So you can still do it right now, though. Don't let it put, it off, put you off. Debs, and if you have any questions for Debs, do text in. Um, okay. Debs, I, take it away. I need to make something really clear that it's not just for writing things because I'm not a big writer. Of, I, I don't like my handwriting. But actually, when I got into the flow of it, I was like, wow. Now, I have done you some instructions and they are, let me find them. I've even done photographs. Oh, wait, you get instructions with this too? Now, it's basically, I'll put it, shall I put it on the overhead or do you want? Yeah. Overhead. Um, <laughs> so, I've actually shown you how to put the batteries in, how to change the tips, yeah. tips and tricks on how to use it. And then, you know, obviously that's a little charm, just how to make the charm. But it's basically a how-to on how to use this tool that you'll get when you look, it's gone absolutely crazy. I'm Do not you know surprised why? though. That's the price. The price is incredible on this tool. Wow. Now, I just need to point out that I'm not yeah. one that tends to write a lot of things, but what I do do is I texture and add detail to a lot of things. Like I meant to wear them this morning, but forgive me, it was four o'clock in the morning and I forgot to put them on. I've got some whale earrings. They're my favorite earrings. I made them from scratch. Um, and I, I pierced out the whale, but then I needed his eyes, I needed his gills, I needed all the bits. And I used my rotary tool to do that. Um, and then at home, I thought, what can I do quickly? So if you have a look at this necklace, and um, specifically the flower, and I don't know how well this is going to show up in the studio because it's very, very um, light. But can you see all the detail oh, just yeah, yeah. by that? That's all been done with this tool because, you know, all of those marks have been done with this tool because that's what I tend to use a tool like this for is to make my metal pieces more realistic. So say I'm doing a fox and I want to do the hairs on his tail, you could use this tool. Now, another example of that is the ring. So this ring, there was always something about it that annoyed me that was wrong. And what I didn't like was it had no texture around the gemstone. So oh, you see okay. those little sun rays, they've been done with the they tool as well. They look like they've been folded. So they've been done with the tool. So you can basically add detail and texture with this tool, as well as all of the traditional engraving slogans, names, dates, and all of that. So just to make that clear first, now, I need to tell you, before you do anything with this tool, 
whatever you engrave into will throw off dust mm. you do not want that dust in your lungs you do not so you must have a mask before you work with it and we've both got a mask here because we just mine's checked. particularly clean <laughs> because i was going to make elsa over there because we couldn't find another one <laughs> but yeah has this got tea on it or something nice lovely. but i think that's possibly just because it's been on the shelf and it's got spilled onto it yeah probably um so good you do not want to be breathing anything into your lungs and it's not going to come up in a large amount just, just a little fine dust so always work in a well ventilated room it's really small <laughs> i'm actually going to work myself because i need the lid <laughs> you're making me laugh <laughs> it's really small <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay, it's okay, I'm in. I've never I, seen you look so gorgeous. Don't ask me to put this off and on again. Oh. Uh, I barely breathe. I'll be quick. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to go over there? You can take it off. <laughs> I've got so many pictures of us in masks like this over the years, and I will send it to them uh, after the show. Oh, we've... Tra we've it now, so I'm going to talk first and then I'll start. So actually, you didn't need to put it on yet. Oh, for goodness sake. I ain't taking it off again. Oh, it's very hot in here. Carry oh, on. Lord. This is giving me a flush now. Yeah, just ignore me. Don't right, so I've got here some... If you're going to do a bangle, I did this flat and then I, um, I formed it around my bangle mandrel. So it says in there, all my kids' names. I was just playing, really. I didn't really intend to show this. I was seeing what if it would work. Um, and I've just put blessed on the outside. But this might be something that, you know, you've bought. Maybe that beautiful, like, Elsa Peretti-inspired bangle from earlier. Um, these are just little sewn out charms. I've written make a wish. Actually, look how neat that is, my handwriting. And that's just, <laughs> not that you all know what my handwriting looks like. You definitely need to practice on this, and this is what I'm going to show you um, when we first start. And in the instructions, I tell you what to do before you start. Oh, it's sold out, Deb. It's sold out? Yeah. Oh, good grief. Okay. Mm. So you get this little screwdriver, and you've got a little screw just in there. Could we come in and look at it? Is that all right? Oh, thank you. So can you see that you've got the little the little um, screw there and then this little screwdriver so I'm not going to do it and take up the time but what you do is you pop that in you unscrew and it will open out the top and you can just pop this out and then any of the tips that come with it you can pop in there and then you just use your little screwdriver you know how to use a screwdriver and you just tighten it up and you can do that as many times as you want now I found that I managed to do everything that I did with the attachment if you want your attachments to last longer and you've got some cut lube then you just want to pop the um, end on the cut lube um, wax beeswax also works for this as well right so you need to practice before you do anything so i'm going to move this out of the way now let me give you a couple of tips that i'm not going to do here because of the way i'm demoing what i found it's best to put your elbow on your table so that your hand is steady and then if you've got anything fiddly you can use some tape and actually tape it down to a metal block or a rubber block or anything at all um, I'm going to try and do it on here just because it's easier for you to see but you want to anchor your elbow on the desk so that your dominant hand has got that support and then hold it like a pen now you are going to press this button and then when you take your finger off that's when the button uh, stops it from working and now I'm going to put my mask on now so I hope you can hear me <laughs> but if it yeah these aren't if you look better in your mask than I do oh yes yeah, so you like like hello I think mine's too small <laughs> oh and then when you put your glasses on you look really stupid. oh yeah there you go that's right you look because as silly as me now. I would also recommend <laughs> We've got a couple of these masks. Oh, good. By Can the you? Way. Yeah, because people will need these. And also protect your eyes. If you, if, if we sell out, you can get these from your DIY shop. Oh yeah, yeah. any little ventilator mask um, from your DIY shop. Get a bigger size. Um, you know why? Because that's just that's been too tight. Someone's it's really that. tight. Yeah. Okay. Can you please please be able to breathe? <laughs> I can breathe. It's alright. Good. Fine. 
Well, you get 10 for 99 Oh, OK, cents. that's really good. They'll last you. And, or if you've got one that you use for metal smithing, use that. Yeah. Um, I haven't brought mine because you can't understand what I'm saying when I've got that on. Um, yeah, so you need this on. I wear glasses, so I'm OK. But if you've got some goggles just to protect your eyes from the dust as well. <laughs> I'm just looking at yours. You look like you're going... Hello. <laughs> little mouse <laughs> little mm. right so you get it mm -hmm. get a piece of metal mm. what does that say you two just make the sun shine <laughs> <laughs> we really like this as well <laughs> yeah no no this is this is, this this is, is what totally we like normal all the time behavior. yeah mm. so, yeah okay Look, so let's be serious <laughs> okay. that never happens does it i'd have a go as well oh actually. yeah can you yes yeah. so Hold on, I'll give you this bit after I've done it. Okay. So basically, get a scrap piece of copper or old metal or whatever, because it's not going to be great, first of all. Now, the main bit of advice I can say to you is don't press too hard. If you push too hard into the metal, it will skid. So you need to learn exactly how much pressure to put on. Now, usually I would anchor my elbow to the bench, but um, I can't do it because I'm on the bead mat. So let's see what happens. Okay, so I'm going to write... Oh, so there's L. I've oh, written yeah. L. My glasses are steaming up. So that's on metal. What L? Do you want to go? On? No, don't do it on the rule here. Okay, here. I'll have a little go. But L's gonna have a go. <laughs> <laughs> I look like a mole. You apparently. do look a little. That's the little, little, little like, like the little oh, nose. I, I love see moles. That. That's all right. I like moles as I well. I love Very moles. Very cute. But I'll try and write Debs then. Okay, go on then. No, so. Oh, you do need to practice. Yeah, don't press too hard. That's it, you can do it all in one go, or just imagine you're writing with a pen in your handwriting. <laughs> Let's see. All right, so you can see where I was oh, like, <laughs> That is so much better than my first well, go. Uh, Look at that. It's a bit wobbly. <laughs> Oh, and you know, you can also um, fill it in. So let's fill in there. And remember, you've got all the different tips so that you can do different. Yeah, so have tip, a practice. What tip do you use? Just trial and error. Okay. So, you know, have a look. It will give you a good indication of what they're going to do when you actually have a look in there. Because you can see at the top, you've got like pointed ones and then you've got wider ones. So if you want to fill something in, okay, the larger yeah. bulba is we'll a good one. Yeah, you can yeah. go to different depths. You can I guess. go to different depths. You can do different. So it's it really is trial and error. I can't I can't um, sort of uh, stress that enough. But like I've got wood here, so let's do a little eye for the bird. My glasses are actually steaming up. Okay, so Holy money. this is only MDF. It actually shows up much better on on actual wood. So. You're in effect, you're drawing, aren't so you? So you're drawing. So he's got a little eye. Yeah. And then I obviously I wrote on um, on here make a wish. Um, but then when it comes, this is what I really use things like this for. Um, and I'll try and do it on here, but it um, I will usually would take that down to a metal block. So okay. if I want to add some detail to my finished piece, look at that. Can you see that's what I did on the finished flower? Now, if you want that to show up even more, you can add some patina, liver of sulfur or whatever. And what I'm really doing is I am really pressing my elbow down. That gives my hand. And that's just from practice. I, my, uh, my actual first attempt wasn't as good as Elle's. Are you joking? No, mine was rubbish. Because I pressed too hard, you see. And but it was just trial and error. So that has turned that from... A flower, it, you know, into a an actual flower you with have details. So much fun. And the fact that these are literally just battery operated. Battery operated. You've got no um, wires to be scared of. Here's a bit of sea glass. No, you can't engrave sea you glass. You can. Uh, what should we write on sea, the sea glass? C. Uh, <laughs> love. Oh, you, that is so weird because I wrote love on the other piece of sea glass. Oh, did you? I'm going to write love. Now, this is where it's hard to keep hold of because it's little. So this is where you might want to. If you think about, you know, when you do your metal stamping and you get a piece of tape and you tape it down to your metal block. So I'll try and do this. Right, let's go. So there's love. And then, see, so can you see this dust? This is what I'm talking about. You don't want to breathe in. 
Actually, you don't have to wear a mask. I just wanted Elle to put one on. Yeah. You just want That's me a to joke. Like, you do need I'm to wear a mask. I'm going to have this imprint, imprinted onto my face because I'm not even funny. It's so tight, I can barely move my mouth. So, look, so we've done it on... <laughs> 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 Can I, I need to do the screenshot so, so afterwards we have to do a screenshot and then I have to send it to Elle. We have to do it every time yeah, we look every silly. Time. Every time. Yeah. And um, yeah, so you've seen it on wood. Yeah. You've seen it on the flower, which has added detail. So imagine that you'd made a little fox and you wanted to do his eye and you wanted to make his tail more realistic and just do some little hairs on his tail. Um, you can more than do that. This is one of our blanks that I had with one of our cool tools. So that is a blank that you turn into a ring. You must have seen that oh, cool, yeah. you know, pu punching tool. Um, so you could write on this, you could make a pattern on this. Um, I've written make a wish. When it comes to a bangle, you could actually write a whole um, sentence. So maybe, you know, you wanted to write an inspirational You could quote. put like coordinates and Coordinates, like you know, like... Oh, can we right, let's the do blanks? that. Yeah, should we take the mask off the, now? Oh God, hang on a minute. Oh. Like, do you know you just get, you, you get trapped Look in how something. red I've gone. You know, like when you try something on in the shop and it's a bit too small and then you go into that oh, mild panic. panic. Oh, yeah. That's me right now. I've got that mild panic going on. Oh, it's still ping it back in my help? face. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've never looked so beautiful as when we have those on now. Had a workout. <laughs> Sheesh, can we have some fans on? <laughs> did you enjoy that? Can you see I yourself did. having some fun with that? I did, yeah. <laughs> well, it's sold out. Sold so, out, yeah. Um, I'm not surprised. It is really it's, cool. It's so cool. And also, just to just to touch upon what, uh, slightly what I touched on earlier, we it's not in this um, in this kit, but. If you get your mandrels with the polishing mops on, mm. you can polish with this as well. It works like That's a little. It's not going to be as good as you know a rotary tool, mm. but it's going to help. It's so do, it's, it, yeah, it's a great little thing. Love, we love it when it's sold out, Debs. We will tell the team to get more. Um, and you're going to need things blanks to engrave. You are. Don't go straight onto the sterling silver unless you've engraved no. before. And even if you've engraved before, this is a different tool. It behaves in a different way. Um, so you've got two adjustable rings. And we have one sterling silver pendant as well to bring you. So here's the ring that Debs has created. That's lovely, Debs. So I just put mum on there just because I thought that's probably some of the things that people would write. How cool is that? So you can put a little a little uh, saying on there, or a date, or coordinates, or what about like a fingerprint? A fingerprint. Um, if you do like an an ink. Yeah, if you get an ink fingerprint, and then you would have to um, put it down onto the metal, sort of trace it on, or you, what, however. Um, I get sort of this, the stickers, and I stick them on. I just take them off after, mm. and then you can actually engrave a fingerprint. Yeah, that's cool. That's very cool. Very, very cool. Um, we do not have enough of these to go around. You do get two. They are adjustable as well. So it's one size uh, fits all. Um, from the response of the engraver tool, then I think this is going to be equally as, uh, um, as, as popular. Going straight down to it. Oh, they're silver. Yeah, they're sterling silver. They're oh, really wait. Good. No, I didn't realise they were silver. You get two for nine ninety nine. So can I just say, don't be scared of this silver because the first time I did this ring, it was rubbish. It was really rubbish. So I got my. If you've got sandpaper, you can sandpaper that off if you haven't done it too deeply. So is that what you had to do? I sandpapered it off. I used my rotary tool, um, polished it up, and then just did it again because it's sterling silver. If you want to um, solder on a, a ring. Uh, gemstone mount mm. and then write around it you could do that you know because it's silver you can do anything that you can do with silver so it's very um adaptable this i'm loving this you can make a hole in the bottom and hang a pearl off it like i did with the oh. bracelet you know there's so much you can do with this oh yeah oh yeah so lovely debs 
So that says, Mum, that's double-sided. It needs a polish, which I didn't notice when I send it off to be photographed, but um, I must have scuffed it on my metal block, but um, that's easy, easily polished out. So just be mindful that if you are using a metal block, and these are really highly polished, then you could you can scuff it, so maybe okay. a rubber block would be better. Yeah, OK. Um, that's basically £5 per sterling silver ring, which it's is crazy. It's so amazing. It's so good for them for the money, because that is sterling silver, highly polished as well. It's finished sterling silver. I'm just thinking, if you do things like your artisanal markets and yeah. stuff like that, you so, and, and well. you offer this engraving mm -hmm. service, normally people, and I, I, look, I, I'm so, it's been a long time since I worked in the jewellers, so I don't actually know the current price, but it used to be per letter. Yes. Per letter, rather than per word. So, yeah, so if you wanted something like, I don't know, with love, or you paid per and letter. Exactly, and when, when you stamp, you distort the metal. So it's not always possible to stamp something on the back of something. Like if you've made a pendant, I made a mm. heart pendant once for somebody, and they wanted like a sentence on the back, but I couldn't stamp on it because it would show on the front. Yeah. So it's things like commissions like that or presents like that that you can do with this as well. Yeah. Because it won't show on the front. What a lovely idea. I love that, and it's and it's it's gentle enough to be able to to do that without damaging the actual ring itself. Yeah. Ah, oh, incredible. Here we go. Uh, Haley's just had a little look. So if you go to Ernest Jones, um, how, how much is it? Twenty-five, twenty-one pounds for engraving the inside of a ring. Uh. Products include watch backs or class um, as a good, okay. Oh, that, so they're not doing it per letter then? It's 21 pounds, that's not bad. Yeah, but also they've done, they've done that, but this is your handwriting. So another thing you can do, we were talking about this earlier with the tattoos, is if you have a child's drawing, you can actually reduce it on the computer and then you can transfer it onto the metal and you can engrave your child's drawing onto your drawing. I really need to so bring in Tiggy's drawing. If you bring a drawing, you? because imagine, you know, like the ingot pendant, Yeah. you could have a draw, if you were giving that to dad for Father's Day or for Christmas, then you could put the child's handwriting, if they can write dad, if they're old enough, or their drawing, reduce it down, put it on tracing paper and put it onto the metal, and then you can um, engrave over the top so that it's their, it's their, yeah, it's through their um, their own hand. It's not yeah, it's not a faceless it. person engraving it. Mm, love it, love it, love it. Um, let's do the pendant as well, because this is gorgeous. Now, right? you could do this for animals if you put a split ring on it. Because uh, it is a legal re requirement for mm, your doggies and cats, and cats to have um, the or information on. Um, my dogs have a harness, but they still have to have a collar and all the information when we go out. Yeah. Um, so yeah, absolutely. So you can do it. I mean, a dog. I think my dog tags were like ten pounds. Yeah, each. they're expensive. Yeah, they're like, normally like little plastic ones yeah. or something like that, or so maybe steel. You can have these for. You can have these for your for your animals, and you can do it yourself. You know. Oh look at that! It's that perfect blank of precious metal. But can you see how that's a finished? Like yeah. Often we'll say that you get uh, sterling silver charms and then unfinished. This has been highly polished, so you don't. If you're careful, you don't even need a polishing equipment. No. Let's go straight down to it. All that sterling silver. That's gorgeous. And you get the jump ring as well, so you didn't need anything. Four pounds ninety nine. Ashley Clark do um, um, an engraving service as well. I know they're quite big into pers. You can personalise some yes. of their pieces too. I've got a. Um, charm bracelet with a locket on from them and it's got my kids names on it's teeny tiny yeah um literally teeny tiny and i bet that wasn't inexpensive it was a gift so yeah yeah i bet it wasn't yeah <laughs> ashley clark isn't inexpensive philippa herbert on instagram she does it too um yeah you can get lots of things there we go yeah, lots of things actually personalised, engraving, there you go. And they do it literally with a machine, but like you said, that's just, a, it's a machine. It's a machine. And don't go in to your favourite locket or your nana's favourite locket or, you know, your mum's or uh, before you've had a practice. Yeah. Um, and it doesn't take long, you know, and you can just write and you get used to how it feels in your hand, how much pressure to put on, your most comfortable position. But I would say if you just anchor your elbow when you're doing it, then that gives this hand more stability as well. If your elbow's up in the air, it's easy to kind of skid. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. So have stability actually before you actually yeah. put contact down. Four pounds and ninety nine pence only. Jewelry makers loving that. Um, how many have we got? One hundred and fifty in total, but everybody is multi bought. And I've got forty eight people on the phone lines right now. So yeah, it's they are going to sell out, much like the pen. The These are great. Pen. We've got a couple of things to um, recap. So we're going to recap your deal of the day. Okay. Um, and then we'll also recap, if we've got the quantity, your yesterday's deal of the day. Because, Deb, you won't have seen it, will you? No. You what was it? Oh, it's insane. I mean, today, cause this weekend, honestly, I wouldn't have wanted to be anywhere else. It's been absolutely amazing. We've had some lovely products set this weekend. You had super duos, didn't you? We Did had super duos yesterday. I with love Astazza. super duos. The Lee Tees. They're so good. You can do so many cool things with super duos. Yeah, they do look like oh, they do look like little Lee Tees, yes, don't they? they? Yeah. That's yours. Let's just wipe your bracelet away there. Okay, now um, if you weren't able, um, if you weren't able to tune in at ten o'clock this morning, we launched. Okay. We, we we launched the most amazing deal of the day, the, the largest near round pearls that we've ever brought to air, 14 millimeters. Um, and, and, and I did sort of introduce these at length really, didn't I? And, and I make no apology for that firstly. I make no apology because the quality of these pearls deserve that. You know, and it's, you know, when you go, think about it this way, I'm just going to bring them over a little bit. So if I, if, if you were to go into, um, uh, you know, Place Vendôme, any London boutique jewellers, and you were to find, here we go, Lauren, um, and you were to discuss a high-end pearl necklace, they'd sit you down, they'd most likely give you a glass of champagne, something like that. Ooh. And it certainly wouldn't be a rushed affair, would it? They wouldn't rush it. They would sit down and go, okay, well, this is the difference. They'll explain to you what's the difference between these pearls and that pearls, or this diamond and that diamond. Um, and that's why sort of uh, I wanted us to have that same experience together. We can bring you a pearl for a tenner. We can, but we can also bring you pearls that should be thousands yeah. of pounds. Yeah. And that's exactly what this is. We showed, you, um, we showed you a recording of Dave, literally at the beginning of this year over at Hong Kong. And by the way, if you want to buy, say, colour gemstones, you go to Tucson, yeah? If you want to buy jade or pearls, you go to Hong Kong. Yes. So we went for the first time ever this year knowing that we wouldn't buy any pearls. I know, isn't that sad? Yeah. In That's 20 really years sad. of Gemporia. You know, it's one if we not had Charlie Barron as well. Yeah. Oh, well, uh, yeah, great example. So Charlie, if you go onto his Instagram page, Charlie is a six-generational yeah. pearl harvester. Yeah six generations within his family he no longer deals in pearls he deals in emeralds sapphires rubies and that's not because he's lost the love for pearls quite the polar opposite it's because he doesn't have the access to them so anyway the quality of these i think are literally second to none and i showed oh, i they bought are, them as well yeah you did they're amazing they are amazing i'm very tempted you should you yeah. deserve it You've been poorly. Treat yourself. Okay. <laughs> Treat yourself. That didn't take much persuading, no. did it? See, I'm the I'm the I'm either the worst or the best person to go shopping with, by the way. Oh me too, I'm such an enabler. I yeah. go, oh, life's too short, get it. Do it, buy it. Yeah. Buy it. Plus, we also bring them to you at an unmissable yeah. price. Well point. that's the thing. No. And two thousand pounds wasn't the price. How many do we have available? We've got 15 left. Oh, not for long. You got a massive saving. Because I'll be honest, if these were, if the, if we'd have hold these, and I'm thinking jewelry maker pricing now. Yeah. Not outside these four walls. If these were on air at 999 pounds, it'd still be a great price. I know. It really would. Um, you know, we showed you a wholesaler that Dave was talking to that held up a, a bunch of seven strands of white pearls. Um, how much did she say? Wasn't it about 7,000 or something like that? Yeah. Uh, it was more than that, I think. Was it? It was something like, yeah. It was absolutely... High, and that's wholesale. Thousands. So it worked out at 26,000 or something right. yeah. like that, yeah, yeah. didn't it? Look at these from here. <gasps> oh, I love those. And I know I'm wearing a necklace, but look at those. Oh, they're gorgeous. 
is they're nothing short of perfection, are they? Oh, they're gorgeous. And I, you know, I took time to go through the five virtues. We spoke about the size, or they're colossal. That one in the centre is 14 mil. Um, if you are thinking about it, please can I, yeah, look, don't think for long. Because £349, we could have added zeros and it'd still yeah. be a great price. Um, don't think for long. They are irreplaceable at the price tag. The other suggestion that I had was please, please, please get them valued for your insurance purpose. Yes. Um, because you can't replace them at 349 Can I see them? Go for it. You, I think you should try them on. Okay. All right, then. Oh, yeah, you do need those, Debs. Oh, look at these babies. Debs, you do need those. How many pearls can you actually get on at once, do you think? All the pearls. Look at the... Oh, my goodness. They really suit you, Debs. <gasps> I love them so much. Hello, pearls. Would you like to come home with me? <laughs> See, oh, they said yes. They said yes. Yeah, they said yes. They did say yes. yes. They're absolutely breathtaking. And I'll say it again to the powers that be, we need 18 karat gold because of pearls of this caliber. Now, if you want to put in with silver, that's absolutely fine. I love silver, don't get me wrong. I love it, but pearls of this grade are, in my opinion, 18 karat or platinum. Um, hello, Margot. You should pay more than that for one pair of earrings. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Exactly. Exactly. Oh, they're so beautiful. We've, show, we've showed earrings at a jeweler's not far away from us now. I've yeah. got an itch, sorry. Um, about 20 miles away in, um, in Stratford upon Avon, a pair of stud earrings that are more than that. And they're like seven mil, maybe? Seven mil. Yeah, they were little, weren't they? Yeah, yeah. only little. Mm. And if you remember, Ross is like, oh, look at the state of the stand. It's a proper grubby stand. Do you know, I thought that as well. I thought they really need to do something with that stand. Yeah, because that doesn't send the right message, No, not does at it? all. Now, we're going to move on just because um, time is ticking. Yesterday, I was joined by the wonderful Dave Troth. And he launched his words, I'm quoting Dave, um, the best parcel of red jade that we've ever had. And I'm going to quickly recap the story of how we've got this. Because if you, re, if you spoke to us six months ago, I would have said, and have said, look, we're not buying any more Red Jade. We can't buy any more Red Jade. Um, the Red Jade, if, it, or if we do, it will be treated. Okay? As in died. Hmm. Heat treatment is not the same thing. Heat treatment does not change or alter the crystal formation. Hmm. Heat treatment can be done by the sun, quite literally, and it's not even sort of detectable, if you like. Mm. Um, they're looking for sort of uh, um, additions to the gemstone if, that, if they're testing for treatment. Oh, okay. Now, I want to tell you just quickly how, I've got three pieces, that's it. Did the dragon sell out? Yeah. Um, yeah, Dave managed to get hold of this parcel because, you know, look, he has David Harry Jewels. He doesn't de just deal with us here at Gemporian Jewelry Maker. He also has his own business separately as well. And a company, uh, sorry, a, a family um, in the Far East, in the Middle East, a big pardon, actually reached out to Dave and said, I hear you're the man to talk to about getting some red jade. And he was like, eh. Um, basically, I, I, yeah, we can't get hold of it at the moment. What you know, I, I can certainly ask around. Went to Stanley. Sorry, no, I've got none. Went to another family similar to Stanley's, I believe, who deal with the finest quality jade. No, um, sorry, we, 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 no, that's right. It was yes, we have got some. However, these are not inexpensive pieces of right. jewellery. But the family in the Middle East had an unlimited budget. And they were like, okay, that's fine. <gasps> So he showed us photographs, didn't he? It's actually one of the wealthiest families, apparently, oh, right. in the Middle East. So anyway, he sourced the red jade. Now, because the supplier, you uh, sort of with Dave, obviously made a good purchase, oh, didn't he? Good yeah. sale. Mm. So Dave then sort sort of thought, I'm going to seize this opportunity. Is there any chance we can buy some of your red jade? Um, and it was like, okay, almost like a thank you. Ah, oh, right, because you've done him a favour, right? Yes. This is the result of it. But as they said, it's some of the finest grade. Look at that red from a distance. <gasps> I mean, that's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. But wait, I'm about to blow your mind even oh, further, no. Debs. Ready? Ready? I'm ready. 
Oh, it moves. That's carved out of one piece. Bear in mind, red is the rarest colour because it only forms if the boulder oxidises. If the boulder oxidises. Oh, wow. Oh, so I this would that. have been the skin of the boulder, which can be like almost like the skin of an apple, yeah, um, that they have then carved. You know, during the presentation, and watch it back on YouTube, you know, if you go to Sotheby's, they sell bangles where there's 20% of it red, the rest of it's pure white, and they go, oh, it's a red bangle. They don't mention about the rest, the, eight, the other 80% that's white. No. Red bangle. There was a snuff bottle that sold, I think, back in um, 2002 for 20 grand. 2002, mind. Um, there's a proportion of red. They don't focus on the imperial green or the other green. It's a red snuff bottle. It's the rarest colour. So the reality is, 5,000 is not unrealistic. It's a double-sided carving. Oh, it's different as well. It's beautiful. And it spins. Oh. So you have that carving in the centre. Isn't that amazing? That That's carved amazing. out of one boulder. Have they even done that? I, I, I generally don't know. It was super busy yesterday and we took this to a crazy low price. You've got to look at the price, look at the carrot, wait, sorry, 90 carats of Burmese red jadeite. The mine is still closed. That's because it spins. 199? Yeah. That's huge. I know. It's big, isn't it? Oh, look at it. I love the red. I really do love the when red. When we first introduced red, though, Deb, do you it wasn't remember? It like this. No, and we had, like, literally a couple of beads. There was, like, three pumpkins, true, weren't there? True, true. Three sort of pumpkin styles. Have a look, at, a look at... That's a great photo. So if you look at Dave talking to Roland Schlussel, who's, like, a guru in the jade world, this is in Tucson. I was actually with Dave um, at this time. Look over his shoulder. Can you see any red? You can see yellows, can't you? Yeah. And this is pillar and stone. There's no red. It's all, you can see some of the yellows, you can see some lavenders, you can definitely see some imperial greens. No red. So for us to bring this to you, the best red jadeite that we've seen for 199 is absolutely unbelievable. Well done to all. Uh, 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 yeah, there you go, that's a great photo because you know we said it only forms if the boulder oxidizes Look how much of it oxidizes. And you've got a whole carving. A whole carving of solid red. Amazing, make sure you're checking out your baskets, everybody. They flew out the door yesterday and they're gonna do exactly the same today. The final few opportunities. Let's bring you the other master carving. Yeah, it's very cool. This is the landscape. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's amazing. Look at the sun or the moon. I mean, it can be whatever you want it to be, can't it? Yeah. I'm just grabbing. I mean, you've got the drill hole as well. I need to show you that. So you can easily just attach through the top. But then I want to show you this. And it is double-sided, as you said. I don't want to blind anyone, so one sec. This is the brightest torch ever, this is. Okay. Oh my goodness. It looks like a sunset. Doesn't it? Or a sunrise. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at the oranges in there as well. Oh, I love that, it's beautiful. Look at how beautiful that is. Now, So bright, that torch, it makes my eyes go funny. We didn't stop there, though, Debs. Oh, really? And I've only shown you 50% of the piece. Oh, is it double? Oh, wow, it's different on the other side. Oh, look at that. It's a double-sided piece. That wonderful story continues front and reverse. Now, we didn't launch this at 5,000. But these are heirlooms, aren't they? Yeah. You know, and we were talking about the fact that you know, so um, 
Stanley Chu, who's uh, again, like much like Roland, but he's got his own. Um, he's got. Um, I always forget the name of, the, uh, of his jewelers, but his family have got Italia, isn't it, or something like that. That b only deal in imperial, but he kicks himself that he didn't stockpile the red jadeite because he said he actually said to Dave in the conversation, I estimate that I've give uh, that we have not literally given away but tens of millions of pounds worth of red jade because the value of it now oh. um, because he they didn't they didn't, they didn't they see didn't, it then they didn't see it then absolutely um, at 179 pounds jewelry makers you can get you can easily get imperial jade easily it's not a problem that's been stockpiled for years red jade hasn't been stockpiled but furthermore than that it's even rarer um, we've got the final few opportunities of this jewelry maker so again make sure you are checking out your basket the beautiful landscape red and all the connections obviously with china yeah. we know it's a very poignant color it's a beautiful color and i think you know it really stands out and it, you can really see the carving you can see what it is I, i've got red jade uh, necklace and it goes, I would say this, but it goes with far more than I thought it would. Yeah. I think it's because it's got the warmth. Maybe. I just, I love it. And I just wear it far more than I thought I would. Yeah. Um, I bought it at the time because we did it at a price and I knew how rare red jade was and I wanted some. And it's a little flower in the beads. But I wear it all the time. I bet. I bet. Why wouldn't you? Now, keep on dialing through, jewelry makers. I've got one more available opportunity to bring you. It's the only strand. The only strand that we had, and again, this is very much an Ellism. I've said it so many times. Um, for me, top the finest quality red jade should look like a ripe cherry tomato. Ooh, there you go. Making me hungry. That is a beautiful colour, isn't it? Yeah, it's stunning. And that's under our lights. Yeah, exactly. It? I mean, wow, when you get it into sunlight. Under floodlights. Yeah. The most garish, awful <laughs> yes. lighting conditions ever. Um, but yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, and speaking of Charlie, he always used to, he used to kick off about our lighting. Yeah, we, well, di this was, I think I'm right in saying this was Dave's finale deal of, the, of yesterday. And he did like a, it was, wasn't it, Chris? He did like a crazy, I'm out of here, let's, let's, let's. <laughs> a Dave deal. Mic drop deal. A, a Dave deal. Yeah, Dave deal. <laughs> yeah. Want some of the best red jade in the world? Mic drop. This, we're going to match. We're going to match Dave's amazing exit deal yesterday. He likes to do that. He said, he, he, he said it's a bit desperate, really. It's so you like me. <laughs> I was like, we, how can we not like you, Dave? Um, 99.99. Wow. Goodness. Oh, that's me. it. Sorry. He wants to be remembered. Well, yeah. I think he's achieved that already. I'm going to say yeah. he's achieved that yeah. most definitely. We, we used to do, right, just, just to put it into perspective yeah. though, we used to do red jade by the 20 centimetre strand at more than what's on your screen. And sometimes you just do three, three little beads, wouldn't you? Yeah. They weren't this colour. You've got a full 38 centimetre strand today. Oh, it's gorgeous. And it, yeah, yeah, 24.99 on split pay. That's so good, huh? Let's do it again. <laughs> this will you deal a day? Oh. Oh, they look Look lovely. how that necklace layers nicely. You could put them together, couldn't, couldn't you? Couldn't you? We'll do a recap on that as well, just so you know. Um, how many of it are remaining within the vault jewelry makers? So, uh, Sandra and East Sussex, Melanie, good luck. Make sure you're checking out your basket, everybody, to guarantee your success. Um, hold those phone lines. Okay, the f uh, recapping your ingot. So, um, we launched this round about the 11 o'clock hour, wasn't it? A little bit later, it was about quarter past. Um, um, we spoke about what an ingot is. And we've gone straight down to that price point because we don't have that many of these available. I think we've all seen silver and gold bars, haven't we? Yeah, 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 yeah. If you're a James Bond fan, you definitely have. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, I've got 12 of these left. Oh, is that all? 12 of them left. So lots of people were thinking about lovely Christmas gifts. Yeah. We were saying how unisex they were. Yeah, really are. You can put them on a cord if you don't want the chain and keep the chain. It's a really substantial chain. Um, really lovely just I don't know there's a lot of sterling silver in that for the price I think yeah 10 grams with the actual chain 
10 grams of solid sterling yeah, silver. It's a nice weighty piece, isn't it? Yeah, lovely. And obviously you've got the, um, we discussed you know, what they all mean. So if you want to watch that back, so you've got the maker's mark. So jewelry maker, maker's mark. Um, the anchor obviously is the assay. Uh, Z is the year. The lion is the fineness. Um, and 925 obviously is the yeah. um, is the is the metal itself. So um, you've got now you, we all know. And I have to be honest, I have to jog my memory on that as well. So what does that mean again? So you can actually really sort of it tells the story of the piece. Yeah, that's a great great way of actually wording it. And um, this does come in a little bag as well, by the way. So perfect for your gifting on the 8 inch uh, 18 inch chain. Lovely. Really nice. $39.99 went way lower than I was expecting it to go, jewelry makers. The final few were running out of time. Um, sorry, Deb, are you back soon? 30th. 30th of this month. I'm back with you now on Wednesday. Back with you on Wednesday where I know we've got an amazing show. 30th, that's not that far away, is it? It's two weeks. It's a Monday. Yeah, I'm in a nice rest now for two weeks. Well, you know, when you've you got know, kids and animals and all the rest of it. Woman's work and all that. Yeah. Never done. Yeah. Never done. We love you, Debs. Oh, thank we you. We always a have a giggle. We do, don't we? Yeah, and, and your pieces of jewellery have been absolutely amazing as always. Thank you. Thank uh, you for having me. Oh, always a pleasure, never a chore. Um, have a lovely rest of the afternoon, jewellery makes. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, and I'll see you very, very soon. Take Bye. care.